Yo, what's up, guys? I am Dope as Yola, Thomas, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. I am here with Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? Oh, 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 getting going. All right. Sorry, I was thirsty. Oh, okay. <laughs> guys, are you ready? Are you ready? It's another episode, but this episode is the first guest of the year and fan favorite. I'm going to say it right now from just people talking and asking me nonstop. We need him back. Goblin, what's up, man? It's good to be here again. You Thank you for bringing me on. Go by Nick, or do you, would you ever go by anything else? I mean, Nick, Goblin, whatever works. You okay, know? I'm sorry. not a picky guy. I mean, you can call me whatever. So the reason I said that, for everyone else, that in case you're new, I told you before we started, mm-hmm. your episode is the biggest episode of our fucking year, uh-huh. right? And I'm not putting anything down, but Tommy Chung, yeah. Steve-O, and B-Real no, that's putting him combined. Up. Jesus Christ. Didn't touch the numbers on your episode. It's insane, honestly. It's insane. Bro. It's insane. It's awesome. Man. I love you guys out there. <laughs> That's, That's so insane. Sick. That's crazy, honestly. It just shows the community you built, man. For real, yeah. For, it, for real, it's sick. And when ours come together, we do some numbers. Yeah, it's That's dope. probably what really what's like. What was it? It's like the Family Guy crossovers. Yeah, because <laughs> even even before we did a podcast or anything, I have people come in all the time ask me if I know you or like stuff like that so it's like our communities i feel like already overlapped you know there's not i I feel like there's a lot of weed i guess you would call them personalities but none that i feel resonate with me just because i'm i'll listen to somebody i'm not like i said i'm not trying to put people down but i'll listen for five minutes go that shit sounded fake as fuck yeah and by the way you're talking and, and i feel like you just start smoking this year and i can't i just can't watch this yeah i feel that and I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to say, you haven't been smoking for more than a year, you're not cool. That's not what it is. But yeah. you know, you feel like the un- yeah. unauthenticity, like it's not real. <laughs> you could tell when someone's doing it for their job versus when they're doing it because they have been doing it and they love exactly. it, you know? Like, because you, you just, it's not like you were like, I'm going to do drugs and then, you know, one day I'll make videos. About yeah, I didn't decide to do drugs for a living, you know? <laughs> like, I, exactly. I decided to do drugs and then, eh. Might as well talk you know? about yeah, it. Yeah, might as well talk about it a yeah. little bit. And here we are, you know? So, from your last episode... Well, you came with Eric also. Yep. Are you still drug free? I am. Yeah. Good. I've I've been Congrats, trying my man. hardest to stay off that shit. Um I the only drug since last episode that I think I've still done that I've now stopped was I wouldn't do Xanax recreationally, but I take it before flights. Because that's I get, not doing drugs though. Yeah, I know, but I I, 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 get what you mean. I told myself I was like, I gotta stop doing that too, because I'm still technically doing it, you know? Mm. And like it's a slippery slope when you take one before a flight, because then what if I take it before something else when I'm feeling a little off, you know? Yeah. Um, you know yourself. So, so I stopped doing that, but now I fucking shit myself every plane I'm on, dude. I, <laughs> I hate I get flying. Shit-faced. I hate fl- Yeah, I try I to. It doesn't it. work anymore. Usually I get shit faced with the Xan, and then I'm like so barely conscious that I can't think about the plane, you know? I just, I can't, I just fucking hate it. I, I hate it too. I just like, fucking hate it. We had, um, so I just flew in here from Vegas. We had a 40, 45 minute flight. My legs were tapping Damn. the whole time. Oh, that's me too. Fantastic flight, but oh my God, dude. Plane bounces like two inches and I think we're nose diving. Okay. Do you watch Final Destination when you were a kid? Yes. Okay. Uh, not all of them, but I've seen quite a few. So one time, real quick. Uh-huh. I am fucking deathly afraid of planes. Mm-hmm. One time, Rosie and I were coming back from Denver. Okay. And you can see her face already. Yeah, she's already laughing about Bro, this. <laughs> we came back from Denver one time, and I was like, yeah, sick. There's only 10 people on the flight. Fuck yeah. yeah. fuck yeah. But everybody's in shorts. I'm like, oh, you're all from California. You don't know better. I'm like, where's all the Denver people? And the, have you ever been in a snowstorm in a plane? No, actually. Thank God. <sighs> so the guy's like, we're going to have a uh, delay. They're going to de-ice the wings. That scared the fuck out of me, first off. De-ice the wings. Yes. Meaning they can ice. Fuck. So as we're sitting there, the snow just starts filling our window on the outside. And uh-huh. they had to come with these big things and knock all the snow off. And then I'm thinking, should I be on this fucking plane? <laughs> yeah. if, and then as we take off, the pilot goes, good news, folks. We're the last uh, We're the last flight out. They just shut down the airport. Oh, perfect. Good, good news for you. And I looked at Rose. I'm like, is that fucking good news? <laughs> yeah, no. No, it's not. That's, That's, I shit we my should pants. have stayed. Yeah. Good news. We're the last flight out. Everybody else is stuck. Good for you. That's what he was like. Yeah, yeah clap. I'm like, no, this is fucking bullshit. There was an older Asian man. He was a stewardess. And he was real mean. 
Mm-hmm. It was real mean. Yeah. I can feel it. So we're going, and I, I say that because you'll see, as we're going, I look at Rosie and I'm just floating in my seat. My seatbelt's holding me down. I look at her, I'm like, what the fuck? And then we go, bah! And oh, crash. No. We dropped hundreds of feet in altitude and smacked in turbulence. And I was in the air for a second <laughs> with my seatbelt holding me down. It was like a dream. Dude, I get so anxious on fly. I couldn't imagine that. I get so anxious I have to put in like noise canceling ear and close my up. eyes. Oh, it's, it gets worse. You tell me that's not the worst. That's not the worst part. That's we fun. started shaking it's so worse than anything violent. I've ever experienced on no, a plane. The, the pilot started saying, "Put your uh, seatbelts on." If you're in the bathroom, you can hear it in his voice. He's like, "Sit down." <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, "Okay, as long as the stewardesses aren't freaking out." And then I saw the old Asian man sprint for his fucking life to the back and buckling. <laughs> and then I just held Rosie's hand like, "Are you fucking kidding me, dude?" <laughs> I would have just left tomorrow. And then that happened for an hour and a half. Just oh, us God. just. That's <laughs> brutal. And then we looked out the window. And the, did you know the plane wings bent like that? They really? Were like this. They were like that, dude. Oh, I just. They were bending like this. <laughs> Fuck and, that. And we dude. had the windows. Uh, I'm sweating right now. Oh, God. Thinking about how scary. Yeah, was. no, I, <laughs> I see it on you. Bro, it you was terrifying. I thought we were going to die for real. For, I was like, yo, yeah. you said we're going to die? Are you fucking kidding? I was just getting high. This yeah, morning. what a shit way to go out, dude. I'm so upset. Did the plane have Wi-Fi at least? You could like tell people you were gonna die. I wasn't even looking at my phone. Oh, I don't blame you. I was fucking I don't blame losing you. it, dude. Yeah, I don't fucking blame you. I was so I'm fucking sweating. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. I'm take the shit off from me. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it all over again. I scared the fuck out of you. You got PTSD, dude. You got to talk I'm to someone. Afraid like you for real got to talk to someone, dog. Whew, just scared the fuck out of me. Damn, I legitimately my whole shirt just got wet. Mm. Yeah, all I, right. could, I couldn't do that shit. There we go. Let me get back on track. Whew. Fuck. I okay. couldn't do that shit, dude. I get mad anxious on the smallest bouncy flights. Like even the so smoothest scared. flight of my life, I'm still shitting myself. Have you been on a small jet? A few times, yeah. Like regional jets and shit. That's the yeah, worst shit ever. they are terrible. You get there fast. You do. You can take yeah. pounds if you want. Yeah. You don't check your bag. So the the flight, because uh, a lot of times for court, when I have to go up for court, when I have my license suspended, I would just fly up to Chicago and then Uber to like the town I have court in, right? Because uh, I live further south in Illinois now. And those little regional jets are fucked, dude. There was one time I was on one where... Uh, not nearly as bad as the one you were just talking about, but terrible for me because any bounce will make me cry. So like, that it, it's starting to get real bouncy, and it like it was clear when we took off, but it started like getting really rainy and really Ugh. bad as we were going, and it was only like a 25, 30 minute flight. It was literally in Illinois to Illinois, you know. But on the flight, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I have no one to talk to, so I'm looking out the window, but the window's scaring me because it's Ugh. raining and it's cloudy. So I close that shit, and I'm like, yo, I really want to talk to this girl next to me but i have a girlfriend so like she might be mad but also like if i'm about to die i want to like talk confide to somebody. some things in someone before i die you know so i'm sitting there and i'm like fuck dude and like i was like so focused on just like closing my eyes and tapping my legs that by the time that like i had thought like i decided like yo i'm gonna tell like my deepest secret to this woman before i die the plane was like coming down like landing and i was like fuck yeah dude I don't, I, I don't have one. to confide my darkest secrets, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Not dying today. You know? That's the fucking the last episode of Seinfeld. For, that was literally you just described I it. love Seinfeld, dude. Do you? I fucking love Good. Seinfeld, yeah. I was watching I, it all day today. Again. I love it, dude. I remember when I was a kid, that was like the only thing my mom would have on the TV. So my I grew grandma. up, yeah, I grew Same. up loving that show. I love it so It's so fucking, fire, dude. You watch Kirby Enthusiasm? No, actually. Never seen it. Never you seen it. You know what Kirby Enthusiasm is? Seinfeld R rated. Really? Larry David, the creator of Seinfeld, that's his show. See, I, I know it's good if you're comparing it to Seinfeld. Well, like, he's the creator of Seinfeld. Really? Larry David's creator with Jerry Seinfeld. He wrote all the episodes. So this is his version of Ah! It's Seinfeld, same exact scenarios, except R rated. Just adult. It's fucking great. That's fire. It's so tight. He's my favorite person. That's fire. You gotta watch it. Um I, t- I talked about it last time, but I was on mushrooms the other day and I kind of got nervous. And I just watched Seinfeld for hours in a blanket, and I was fine. Dude, I told you about how I took that um, that chocolate bar when we were at the airport, yeah? No. Oh. Really? Wait, the one we gave you? Yeah. Or OG? Yeah, last, OG? The OG gave it to me last time I was out here. Oh, uh, you uh, tell me what No, yeah, so so Emily and I were at the airport, and we had missed our initial flights. Wait, so, the day after? Yeah, the day oh, after. Shit. So we had, we had a bunch of time to blow, right? We were like, fuck, we were, how long were we at the airport? Like a good, like, longer. It was like three, oh, I think, God. yeah. So we were sitting now. there drinking... And, like, we ended up splitting up that chocolate bar, and she took, like, 
she didn't take as much as me because she flew out before me. So I had the rest of it. Hell yeah. Um, but I had the rest of it with me. Can I crack that brewski too? Go for it. We'll Beautiful. do it together. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Let's fucking what is go. this? What is this? A Miller Lite? Uh, my favorite. Ping. Miller Lite ad read start today, guys. Hey. <laughs> Cheers. Perfect. That just reminds me of campfires. Mm -hmm. What better way to bring this motherfucker in than like this, though? For real. When I heard you got a beer sponsorship, I was like, dude, I'm... Fuck yeah, I'm an Camp. alcoholic. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, this, this is, is great. straight campfire nostalgia. Seriously. So, do they just like send you a bunch of Miller Lite, or like, do, you, do they like give you some money and be like, go to the store? <laughs> like, what, like, you know what, man? I don't know. Yeah. We need to talk. Really? Like, yo, you guys want a fridge in here? Uh -huh. <laughs> Put a fucking fun. dude. Fridge in get here. him to throw a little Miller Lite fridge in the Ooh. back. That would be crazy. Yeah, that would be kind of tight. That would be. I know or a someone's got to be. Uh -huh. Someone at Miller Lite's got to be watching this, probably right. For sure. I yeah. Mean, all right. They hey. want to make sure we didn't fuck it up. <laughs> Miller Lite guys, get a fridge and call me. There we go. You know, it'd be sick. If you could press a button and one would roll, oh, do you get like a tube coming down? Like some like, yeah. Herman shit. Like you know, the, you know those tubes at the bank when like you drive up. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Like a fucking bank, like a Miller Lite comes down, Let's dude. Go. That would be sick. Or a button under here, like a fucking boss. Yeah, like a seat, like a big red. Like yo, don't tell people what it does though. Like have a guest on and be like, yo, just whatever you do, like press the button when you feel ready. You know, <laughs> but like don't fucking tell. They think it's like some big deal. We're gonna have it's Tyrese just, on one day. It's gonna be an ejection <laughs> seat. So like a fucking beer drops down. Like oh, that'd be fuck sick. Yeah. Just like the bank. You're right. That'd you, be sick. Did you ever watch the movie Blank Check? No, actually. Uh, damn, it's a Disney movie. You ever seen Blank Check? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. That fool definitely had more than a million dollars. Sorry, I didn't brought that up, but his slide setup was so bomb. When I get older, I'm running what, older. What's this movie about? <laughs> Blank check. This kid gets hit by, or his bike gets run over. He gets hit by a car, and the guy's like, here, here's a fucking check. Just go. Get out of my way. And the kid's like, a mill. Finesse the fuck out of this <laughs> dude and gets it. Because the banker is a dirty, crooked guy. was waiting for a guy to come in. He goes, you sent a kid? Good thinking. And he leaves like, that wasn't the kid. Really? He goes, that kid's got a mill. Fuck it. And he cashes it. Oddly enough, goes on a date with a grown woman, which was really weird. That's what you do. She was in the FBI, though. Pedophile bitch. Yeah, but you got a bill to your name. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I know. But in the oh, movie, yeah. he <laughs> definitely had about six. That oh. shit's not a mill. The shit he bought's not a mill. Yeah. But the reason I say it is when I get our house one day, I want to put in. I saw this thing on TikTok, bro. The only reason okay. I have TikTok is it's Vine. Dude, I love TikTok. It's honestly. just like Vine to it's me. It's not as good as Vine, but like, it's but a good. My algorithm or my page is awesome. I've actually the craziest shit. This bitch opened up her refrigerator and it was a slide that slides down into her game room. And it wasn't even a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I need that. That's sick. Sick. That's sick. So, speaking of the button press, that's what I thought of. Yeah. No, that's fucking dope, dude. You need something like that. Yeah, that'd be Are sick. Are you planning to get a house soon? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're looking. Nice, we're looking. Yeah, nice. It's just California is expensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I that's fucked. All, all I say is I pray for you. Yeah. How's the market out here right now? Fucked, fucked. The house I want to buy here is times ten of what it would be in my hometown. Maybe a little more, which is fucked up. Yeah, I mean the market out here is absolutely oh, insane. It's good if you're trying to sell your house. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once you buy the house and you're on the flip side of it one day, you'll be feeling good. Yeah, I'd be but. sick, but. Dude, a million five house here is like in the ghetto. Yeah, yeah, it's Sucks. crazy. Because like all the all the areas where you could get like a crazy nice house for a million five have all been yeah they're all upgraded. jacked up yeah, yeah they're all jacked up. It's all been bought out by like yeah. companies and shit and upgraded and all that. Yeah, exactly. Yo, we went on straight Rand City chocolate here. mushroom bar. Let's go. Really? Let's what go. happened? No, what happened? Oh. So, <laughs> I, can't believe you remember that I don't shit. know, dude. I, yeah, You're listen, dude. This. I sparked yes. a joint and went to a different world. Rosie, but, real um, quick. Rosie, sorry, real quick. Can you get my hat? These lights, the beanie doesn't work. I'm dying over here. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, and I'm fucking just. <laughs> <laughs> we've not tested these out with a beanie. So, um, we had some downtime, and I was like, oh, I think I just lost the cherry. Oh, shit. What a brutality right there. It's okay. Right. Rosie, right. so oh, Rosie tends to pack them hella hard at the end. I've been trying to tell her, hey, there's too much weed on the I end. I do the same thing with my joints. I do the same damn thing. But, um, now, so we were at the airport, we had some downtime, and I got this chocolate bar through TSA. I just took the label off, you know? Perfect. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're not going to, whatever, you know? Sample it. Yeah, exactly. They're not going to, like, take Could a little cube and be like, you know, <laughs> I kind of taste the psilocybin in this. Like, you're, you're going downtown, you know? So <laughs> You're going downtown. Fucking, um. Let's throw it. I ate, I didn't eat, like, a ton of it, but prior. Thank you. That was a nice toss. Thank you. Let's nice go. Toss. But, um. 
prior to to this day, I'd only done shrooms once, and it was in high school. Oh, because you like acid only. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an acid guy, That's so this is right. my second time doing shrooms. So I only ate probably the equivalent of like. 1.5 or 2 grams, it was still enough to make me feel it, you know? Because I didn't want to have, like, a full-on, out-of-my-mind trip on a fucking airplane oh, for my no. second time. But also, like, I was so bored, I was like, dude, I kind of want to see what happens here, you know? <laughs> so I remember I took that shit, and, like, I didn't have any really insane visual effects, but I remember when I got on the plane is when it really started to hit me. And the plane just looked super fucking long the whole time. And, like, no matter how many lights were on, it felt like it was dim in there. And it was, like, really... It was really strange. I didn't, like... I remember my first time doing shrooms, I did a way bigger dose, and I got way more intense visuals where, like, shit was pulsing. And, like, mm. I was walking by houses, and they looked like they were jello cues. They were, like, wiggling and shit, you know? And I was like, this is fucked. I didn't have anything that crazy. But, like, I almost had this, like, tunnel vision effect in the plane. And, like, I just, like... Weirdly enough, it actually calmed me down. Like, I was, like, more chill and less anxious about flying oh, when really? I was on the, like, small dose of shrooms as opposed to when I'm drunk or, like, really anything else besides Zans. Zans do the trick, but that's because they're Zans, you know? Um, but I, I had a really nice time, and I ended up, for most of the flight, just dicking around on my phone playing YouTube videos and shit. Because I had, um, so, a while ago, I had made the discovery that there's this app um, this app called like Musi or something, Musely, where you could download YouTube videos like Watch them when without you YouTube Red. You know, I probably shouldn't be saying this as a YouTuber, but uh, pardon me, I hypothetically downloaded it. Um, but I, I would download a bunch of shit on this app and like play it on my flight. So I was like on my phone just dicking around, watching like music videos and shit. You know, just anything I could get my hands on. I listened to the same fucking song like eight times in a row just to watch the video. You know, it was an ASAP Rocky song, uh, LSD actually. I love, I love the video on that. Yeah, it's so dope. Sometimes you just gotta listen to music for the video. Like videos make that shit, you know? Well, I always say a good song can have a trash video and then nobody cares, but an okay song have a dope video and everybody loves it. Absolutely. Do you but, listen to hip hop mainly? Oh, so real quick, that was my next question. Oh shit! Yes. Oh, what kind of music do you listen to? I never Pretty much. I never even so, thought of it. Um, almost exclusively hip hop. Oh, the really? only exceptions are being I like Young Lean a lot, and I don't consider him necessarily a rapper. Really rap and yeah, he kind of, he does rap, but he does like it's a lot of different genres. I like it's a lot Sweden, of Young right? Lean. Um, Stockholm. Yeah, he's from Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. Uh, but I like him a lot. Uh, other than that, yeah, pretty much all rap. Like, I, I need to hit this more. Did, did, you, re, did you guys see that story? I'm sorry to go off track here. That's just when you said Sweden or whatever the fuck those dudes from. Did you guys read that story about the rapper from like, he's like from fucking Belgium or whatever. He's a white dude. His girl got, his girl caught him fucking a fan. She killed him and dismembered him with a hacksaw and fed him to rats. What? And allegedly did sexual things to his dismembered body. I was watching this shit on World Star. That could be a fucking troll. That is a World Star ass moment. Holy uh, fuck! Yeah, I'm assuming you that, guys haven't heard about this. No, show. I've yeah, never heard anyway, about this. Go ahead and World Star that one. Jesus Christ! She looked just like this, uh, the bitches on the thumbnail, just looking regular as fuck, dismembering this fool, a la Dexter. Whoa! And that fed him to rats. Sucks. And fed him to the some local rats. I don't fucking know. First of all, she should have been like, "He's an artist. He, I, it's probably not gonna work out." <laughs> yeah. First off, for real, she's been like, it's, "It's probably gonna happen." Yeah. Like, do you just have that in you? Like, do you know that that's in you before you do it? You talking about banging a fan or killing? I'm, ca I'm talking about killing and dismembering well, okay. your fucking yeah, boyfriend. I, she as bad snapped. as killing is, I feel like killing. And then dismembering are two different like tiers yes. of oh, things. For, you know, sure, yes. you got to be a psychotic like, motherfucker. You have to, to be body up. absolutely deranged to dismember someone after you kill yes. them. You know, that's beyond some heat of the moment. I don't even like killing shit. bugs. I couldn't chop a leg off. I know. I apologize to a bee this morning. Or, or my little Emery was screaming, crying at this fucking. <laughs> like, sorry, fuck. Yeah. Oh, because you had to kill it. Yeah. Uh, I always say sorry when I have threat. to kill a spider too. Yeah. Fuck, it feels. Oh, so bad. dude, I'm terrified of spiders. I don't feel bad. I, I do what I have to do. Time. <laughs> I, I, feel bad. I fucking I can't do spiders, man. I I try to sometimes watch YouTube videos of like tarantulas and shit to like you know accustom me. Oh, yeah, no, no it's never doesn't, gonna doesn't fly. Doesn't no, fly. Never gonna I'm still terrified every time I see one in person. I don't like them. Like the tiniest little spider could crawl. Like if a daddy long legs. It's not even that. That bitch right my ear. 
Oh, don't get that don't even get me thinking me. about that, oh, that's bro. What I thought you were talking about. Oh, fuck. About, I was, I'm sorry. I got this on film not that long ago. I was out in the backyard fucking smoking. A little lizard. I'm high as fuck. A lizard gets caught in a spider web. Spider starts inching towards it, about to kill this fucking oh, lizard. Did you save a lizard. I did. I threw okay. a basketball at How it. How big was the spider where it could kill a lizard? It was like as big as the little baby lizard. Oh my god. Yeah, it was horrifying. The spider was fucking pissed. Oh hell no. Fuck that spider. I, I know no, that's yeah, what I said. I made the decision. Hell no. Fuck that thing. <laughs> fuck Spiders that are shit. horrifying. Spiders are so terrifying. Hell no. Fuck scared. that shit. I can't do it. Regular natural animal death can happen when I'm not looking. Exactly. I know. Yeah. I had to play God there for yeah. a second. Yeah, we're a part of nature. We got to intervene, you know? Yeah, that's like, we're we're in this shit, too, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm high up on this fucking totem pole. I yeah, this like shit. we, I we you, decide this shit. We earned this. I want you guys to see something. Talk about what music you like. Somebody killed somebody in Sweden to spiders. What kind of music do you like? <laughs> we never <laughs> even got to it, dude. That's how bad so all of our good. brains just went. <laughs> you know, Three adults. Since, I will say, ever since I stopped taking Adderall, my brain's fucking pancakes, dude. Fried. When, wait, when did you start taking Adderall? When I was uh, in high school, early high school. When did you stop? Um, I took it on and off until about like a year ago. I fully just stopped. I didn't like Adderall. I tried it one time. It I have really bad ADHD and it helped when I was in school. But now that I'm out of school, it doesn't really do shit for me. It just makes me uncomfortable. But all right, rap music. Shit. Music. I already music. forgot. Let's go. Let's go. Music. Let's get this fucking question <laughs> answered. Yo, I already forgot. I Why does your talking going out? I don't know, bro. I think it's because I'm talking more than I'm hitting. And I think that's maybe a, and I got a little. I just got, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna revise my strategy here. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it done. No, I think they're a little. The, I don't think you, it's the pack. I don't. You think saw how sticky that shit was. Maybe yeah, it's that, just that. It's clogging. We're smoking murder. Ooh. It's very strong. It's ridiculous, actually. Mm -hmm. It's like a piece of art. The shit looks like it's got diamonds on it. No, like, it's out. It's, it's one of the best OG nugs I've ever seen in my entire existence. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but I listen to a lot of rap. I like um, I like a lot of Lil Uzi. You know, Playboy Cardi. That kind of stuff. I never got into. I just I've been listening to their music for a while. I like it. Um, future Chicago artists like Tierbo. I like Kanye. A Kanye bit. West. I like Kanye West. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. Um, but not all of his projects. I like. I thought Donda was actually really good, and I thought College Dropout's like one of the best Thank rap you. albums ever. College Dropout. Is That's fantastic. the first one. Yes, That's his the first one. his first like real yeah. album. Yes, yeah. yeah. College died. Dropout is fantastic. I was listening to it and almost died. Remember. Oh My yeah! Grandpa almost drove over the cliff. Yeah. Was Ironically, because that's the one where he, he his first big song died. was talking about crashing and almost dying. Yeah. First time I ever heard the Through the Wire song, I was yeah. right in front of the Merced High Bear painted on the cafeteria with my headphones in, going to PE. And I remember going, "Crashed? Mm -hmm. Who is this?" Anthony he was Avila. A beast back then. He yeah. burned me an eight ball. I like um, <laughs> I like Lil Kiss. Wayne a lot. Lil Wayne is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I don't listen to mainstream music okay. ever until a couple years ago. I just listened to Lil Wayne for the first time last year. Really? Ever. What song? Ever. The whole discography. Oh, everything. Wow. You sat down and said, That's Lil like Wayne. That's like 30 years worth I of had music. To. I had wow. to. Wow. Yeah, that actually. It yeah. was It was an eight-hour road trip. We did through almost all of it. How'd you like it? Fucking amazing. Yeah. And I'm tripping. No, Lil Wayne is fantastic. Earlier. Lil Wayne is fantastic. I'm fucking, I'm dumb as fuck. I, if, I, if I knew you were on the radio, I'm like, nope. Nope. Because I was so un, like, in tune with underground. I'm like, this is some garbage. It's garbage. It's mainstream garbage. Lil Wayne really earned his his position. And then I remembered. Right? Like, he's amazing. Well, when I hit like 22, I told Rosie, 23, you had to be popping and dope to be able to get mainstream. So let me listen to your shit before. Yes. And I was just biased. I'm a bias. I was a hater, motherfucker. Yeah. And I'll always admit it. Like, when it came to music, I'm It I'm happens. Fucking, it happens. It happens. But this last year, fuck, man. And Kanye West. I only listened to that first album, never listened to him again. Until last year, and I listened to the whole fucking discography, too. Mm. Yeah, I've been missing out. Bro. To be yeah. fair, honestly, the only Kanye projects I do listen to are his first album and Donda. I That's really great. fuck with that uh, Pablo, Life of Pablo one. Mm. Life of Pablo has a few good Love that shit. Donna. Wait, is that the same one I'm thinking of? The orange one? Yes. Right? That's oh, Life of Pablo. I love that shit, That's bro. Life of Pablo, yeah. Pretty gospel-y, but dope. Yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah, I mean, he's a gospel guy. He dropped Jesus is King, for yeah. fuck's sake. I mean, yeah. So... So you listen to a lot of Chicago artists, basically? Yeah, yeah. Um, nowadays, my playlist, I feel, is a lot more, like, I'll listen to whatever comes on, honestly, as long as it's rap, just because, like, I like to hear new stuff. Do you listen to old rap? 
Yeah, if it comes on. I don't have any on my playlist, though. I gotcha. listen to mainly new musicians. Gotcha. Uh, the oldest I listen to is like those old, like, 2010, 2011 era Lil Wayne and Drake gotcha, songs. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I will say, oh, what was, what was the Drake album? There's one Drake album that's good. I don't know. One. I, I, people might get mad at me for saying that, honestly. But. His first one? Like when he no, was, it, I think it was... You was can't it, deny was that the motherfucker's same? a superstar, bro. It was... You can't say nothing else. It was like, it's the um, one with the blue cover, you know, with the, the clouds. Like the Simpsons? Yeah, yeah, the that's Simpsons the one that had Kate, 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 Kim and Jay-Z on yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. What was that album called? Do you remember? I don't know. I I'm forget. drawing a blank on it, too, but that was a great album. Yeah. I listen to that still. Um, How about the fact, man, Lil Wayne, first of all, was out when he was a fucking kid. You and then Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne was the shit I listened to in middle school, and then early high school I started listening to Young Lean a lot. Really? Um, yeah. My friend knows Young Lean. He told us like this kid's gonna be real pop, and it's like eight no, years he's ago. Some, he, I love his music. Remember, honestly, my homie Jerm. Shout out to Jerm Jilla. This motherfucker knows every artist before they start. He, what do you call it, Post Malone? Because he was like, "Oh, it's my homie. He's gonna be popping soon." I'm like, all right. He called Young Lean, uh, Future. He said this motherfucker has some R&B shit, Future's great. but he's going to be popping next year. Watch. And what happened? Drake and Future album came out. He was right. Who else? He's called every motherfucker. I've been in his house. So he'll be popping real hard next year. And they're all superstars. That's like, crazy. It's, it's insane when you, you, when you see people. Because I always tell you, like, I call motherfuckers. Jerem calls motherfuckers big time. Whatever happened? I'm sorry. We're getting off topic. Well, he's, he released an album and everything, too. What happened? Man. Imagine being Lil Wayne and putting on Drake and Mick, Nicki Minaj. For real. Though, like. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope as fuck. Eat off that the rest of your he, life. He's a true Hall of Famer. Jesus Honestly. Christ. Yeah. He really yeah. is. Um, okay, all right. What about you? Like, what are your what are some of your favorite I rappers? To, oh, are rappers? You, rap, yeah, let's start uh, with rappers. Who rap, have been listening to? God, I know Marty was like, that's surprising. One of my favorite rappers right now. I just love this guy so fucking much. I just love Kodak Black so much. Kodak's good. He is so fucking hilarious to me. But like Dude. in a dope way. I'm like, you are so fucking interesting to me. It's like you rhyme some of the dumbest shit, but it sounds yeah. dope. Yeah, I feel that. Kodak is good. It. It's like this. It's like when somebody knows they're saying something ridiculous and they go, you like it though, right? I'm like, I do. Right, and then shut the fuck up. I'm like, all right, fuck Kodak Black. He does right. say some funny ass shit. There's some shit. funny shit that makes me and laugh. And he's also like, just like, hard. he's just a funny motherfucker in general. He, like, he, he knows truly it. Is. Like, like, he exactly. He's so funny. He knows he's kind of funny, he so he knows plays it. to it. Yes. I don't know, bro. And Orange, the whole Orange thing, it's like, I don't know. When he came out, the first thing I ever saw World Star post, this kid with dookie braids and orange jeans dancing <laughs> on a car. And they're Kodak Black, the next rapper coming up. I go, who the fuck is that? His pants are sick. <laughs> and ever since then, I've been following Kodak Black's career, bro. I love that guy so much. That's a good pick, honestly. That's a really good pick. Yeah, but for music lately, I don't know. I'd have to go through my phone. I've been listening to, uh, you ever heard of Valley? V-A-L-E-E. -E? I think he's from. I think he I've heard a, the he name. He signed a good music. Kanye I think I might have heard the name. I don't know if I've ever heard any music. Uh, I've been listening to his shit a lot lately. Honestly, dude. You guys should put out playlists. It would take forever. Like a dozen at a time. It would take so long. <laughs> Give the people what you're listening to. Dude, for some reason, I feel like I'm drawing a blank. I have to pick up my phone and, and look <laughs> who the fuck I've been listening to lately. I mean, shit, you want to really... I mean... The first thing I, on here is 3.30 in Houston. Let's go. Yeah. You fuck with uh, Benny the Butcher? Griselda? He's good. He's good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I have any of <coughs> him on my playlist, but yeah, he's good. All the guys, it's just... It literally says, System of a Down, 50 Cent, Immortal Technique, Griselda, Freddie Gibbs, T. Grizzly, Maxo Cream, Emotional Zan. All over the place. Young Dolph. Yeah, that, that's like, Young Dolph is fire. Yeah. Young Stupid Dolph is Stupid Dolph. Fire. Super sad. Super fucking sad. Yeah, for real. Horrible. R.I.P. to that guy. So I, sad. I'd listen to a fair bit of him, too. <coughs> He's very good. Um, when Young Dolph came out, and he was rapping about getting peas from L.A., I remember I was... I won't say who I was with a certain friend. And the fool stood up, jumping, like, that's me! <laughs> and I go, what do you mean? He played it back, and he said, I go, that is you, motherfucker. <laughs> and then after he's just, after the next lyric was all, price too high, I went, <laughs> you bitch, that is you. Cause my friend taxes, but he sells big boxes and tons. And he goes, I know that. I was like, I know you chill with him. Like, he just shouted you out in a song. Without saying <laughs> your name, but kind of said, "Hey, by the way, cut, yeah. cut me some slack." Uh -huh. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> Did he ever cut him some slack? Uh, no, he stopped selling oh. weed to him. Like, she probably got another connect, man. <laughs> yeah, fools, fools buy a lot of weed. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's my. Pl- <laughs> that's one of my questions. I never asked. What kind of music do you listen? Do you listen to any oldies or anything? Um, not really much. No, honestly. That's cool. If you know what you're listening um, to, it's dope. Yeah, I mean, mainly, like I said, the oldest I'll really bump is like some 2010, 2011, Lil Wayne shit. Damn. Yeah. See. Go back to 04, 05. He was down near the best rapper alive for a stretch there for a minute. I will say I have not listened to his whole discography. The Carters? Go back to the Carter one. That shit is legendary. I have I haven't bought much of that. It's I need to dumb tight. I need to. That's where Rosie started me off when we were like, let me listen. Um Okay, okay. Real quick. Last time you were here, you talked about Miami debauchery trip. How'd that go? I've been to Miami quite a few times. Since then? Yeah. <laughs> How did it go? All those, awesome. was it's those, always fun down there. I well, mean, I don't do drugs anymore like that. Well, when you left, um, you still did drugs. Yes. So how so, was that trip? You know, bringing, bringing blow through TSA is always stressful. I'll Ugh. say that. Probably not the best idea. You were fucking fired up. You're like, I got my fucking Hawaiians ready. Dude, I, have, hell, I still wear yeah. those fuckers when oh, yeah. I'm in the right place. I have quite a few in my hotel room right now. <laughs> Fantastic. I love them. But um, no, it's always a fun time going down there. I mean... Uh, I go to a fair bit of bars, you know, we go to restaurants. The The thing about Miami is it's a place where you can just go do casual shit, but it's always nice, you know? Like, the vibe down there is just dope. There's always a bunch of shit you can Everybody's do. Everybody's wearing white. Everyone's chilling. The weather's fucking crazy. Like, it's December and it's still, like, 70 degrees, you know? It's, it's nice out there. So, I go down there. I will say I haven't done a ton of crazy shit down there. Uh, I've, I've kind of chilled out since then and since the last time i think even the last time we filmed i was pretty close to being done with doing most drugs like i didn't really do blow like that anymore at that point the only thing i did was a few zans here and there yeah your slight (laughs) smile as you say i mean i don't like pills bro yeah i'm glad i'm glad i feel you i feel you like like them i never got they're not they're not worth doing like they're really not you can just smoke some weed i just don't want to feel like (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, Zans make your fucking sleep. brain dead. Like I've, I they mean, just they I'm, turn your brain into oatmeal, in my opinion. I mean, I've like, seen some I'm people stupid off the uh, off the oxys and shit, mm. and that's that's the saddest shit when you, have, you know your friends normal, yep. and then when they're on pills, you're like, yo, this is horrible, bro. We can't do this. You're gonna die. Yeah, looking at somebody on pills is like. Like you said, oatmeal. It's like mush. Yeah, yeah. They're brain dead. Like zombies. They're fucking they're not biting dead. you and shit. Yeah. Bruh. Like by no gums and noises. shit. Yeah. It's the worst, man. Yeah. I only did oxys once. I, I was never big into opiates. I've done oxys. Like I've it. done perks, all that shit, narcos. But it's just none of that shit's very fun to me. Like, I never got super into it like that. Since you're you're in the gener- you're in a whole other generation than us because you're nine yeah. years younger than me. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday by the way! Thank happy, you. happy birthday! Thank you. His birthday just passed two days. Uh, yeah, January second. Yeah, birthday. happy birthday, man! Thank you. Well, Thank late you. birthday, but you have a different generation, so you're you've seen a lot, a lot. Like you just said, I don't really go past 2010. But yeah, that's what you're growing yeah. up with, motherfucker. Because that's that's, that's what, when I was your in music. Like middle school. Exactly, that's your music. Yeah. So, how do you feel about? The opiates just being cool in rap now. It's so I, prevalent. It's kind of fucking Opiates sad. are fucked, but I get that these people do it because they have money and shit, you know? Like, I, I get it. Yeah, like, rappers promote coke. the drugs they do because they got money to do drugs like that. And when you have money, it's a lot easier to maintain a drug addiction, you know? It's a lot easier. And a lot of these people come from areas where, like, everyone's doing drugs, you know? Like, if you're on the streets, like, you do drugs. Like, if it's you hang epidemic. out with the right people, or I guess the wrong people, yeah. you do drugs, you know? It's an epidemic. You, yeah, you don't even have to be on the streets or anything. If you just hang out with certain people, you do fucking drugs, uh, you know? Um, if I see a rapper not with pills, but I think, them, it's weird. I think people hearing it in rap does, pr- like, glorify it a lot, you know? More 100%. than anything else. Bro. And I feel like it, it is fucked that, that a lot of rappers just nonstop talk about that shit, you know? Um, personally... I don't know if, like, it's something that can really be stopped or anything, though, you know? Like, you can't just be like, yo, it's not fucking cool anymore. I don't see rappers ever shutting up about that shit. It's, like, popular. People don't really care about the lyrics. They care more about the beat and the rhythm of the song nowadays, I feel like. Of course. And you could say whatever, damn near whatever the fuck you want. And obviously, you know, you got a bunch of people who are drug addicts who are, like, also rappers nowadays. What are they going to rap about? Doing a bunch of fucking drugs, you know? And what we tell stories about. Yeah, yeah. I get it. It's kind of like... It's all they know. Yeah, exactly. I get it. It's just... It's so... Like I said, it's so odd when I see a rapper and they don't have, like, lean and pills. It's like... 
fucking rapper are you? Yeah. yeah. It's like new to me. Yeah. That should have still different. new to me. Mar- like do you know Marty's different. background or no? Not Marty much, used to be no. a rapper also, like an, really? actual, an actual artist. Yeah, I didn't know that. And that shit was not prevalent for you. No, that was like, the diff- to me, that's kind of like def- one of the defining things about the different like generations of hip hop was when the lean and all that shit. Because you, it there was nothing like that. It wasn't cool to do drugs nope. in my generation. Yeah. We looked at you crazy if you were doing fucking drugs. Really? Yeah. yeah. Big time. How are wow. you going to fucking get into the studio and not get shot? That's why motherfuckers get shot so fast now and get murked because like, yo, you're on drugs. You didn't see yeah. it coming. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I, I, cool I feel to be like it. off point. It's no, sad, I, I believe that for sure. All it's these people sad, are so high. Man. Like, man, only Everybody's fucked, not off weed. They're just off yeah. pills and lean. Of course they're No, I feel that for at. sure. I agree with that. Or get robbed. Or fucking post stacks on Instagram to look cool and they get robbed. To be fair, day. though, also, I feel sad, like rappers bro. in general just get like... It's always something where, like, they get killed because of their status in, like, the streets yes. or something like yes. that. Um, and a lot of those rappers don't stop, like, living that kind of life, yeah. you know? Even while they're rapping, even while they're doing shit. Like, they're still involved in all that shit. For sure. You know? But that's the difference between some gangbanger drug dealer that happens to yes. be like a good lyricist and then a lyricist rapping about gangbanger Yes. Shit. Yes. You know? Yes. Because those fools are real. And it's not like, I'm not going to just stop being me because I got yeah. a deal. <laughs> It's true, bro. It's fucking no, for sad. Real. Though. It's like, yo, you got an opportunity to just break off with those people, man. Mm-hmm. But it never happens and people get killed and it's sad as fuck. More for and real. more and more lately, I feel like. I've seen, like it's years, so like, much, so common, man. Absolutely. Even big stars. It's like, yo, these are major artists Dude, getting shot. so many artists have died in the past like few months. It's, it's been up. crazy. It's weird, man. It's been crazy. It's so fucked up. Mm-hmm. It's like the, the next day. Oh, next day. Next yeah, day. Yeah, it's insane. Bro, I've been seeing so many videos, like the video you show, I'm like, oh my god, fools getting shot. It's so mm-hmm. sad because there's a camera everywhere. Yeah, so people don't realize nowadays. Like, there's footage of everything, of everything, it's everything. Like, Yo, someone's gonna see their kid get killed on camera. You could get on Twitter and yeah. click the hashtag, and you'll find that shit in, in ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes probably a stretch, honestly. It's so sad. Yeah, bro. it's dangerous to be a fucking rapper. <laughs> Absolutely, it absolutely. Is. City to city, if you're out there, like, man, if you're not moving like a commercial production. Fuck and that. or just be a normal guy. You don't have to be a rapper. You don't have to yeah. be a fucking gangbanger. You yeah. could just be a rapper. Yeah, you could be a J. That. Cole. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm a yeah. rapper about life. Uh-huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure There's J. Cole's like that. impressed. Yeah, no, J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's moving with like a professional yeah. team yeah. and shit. I'm saying, I don't think he's yeah. that, that style of rapper is getting energy. impressed yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you're not provoking that shit That's for sure. Exactly, bro. For sure. Don't post guns and money unless you're not. Ready to get killed for it. Yeah, absolutely. It's scary as fuck. It's sad though. Absolutely. Almost every rapper I just named talks about guns and drugs. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> talking about the ninety percent of rappers nowadays do it. You know, I mean that's fine. That's fine. That's whatever. Thing. But you know what's kind of crazy? What? As a rapper can have pounds and pills and lean in their video with millions of views, never get in trouble. Me too. Because they're rapping. Yeah. So you need to do, you need to start lip syncing over some songs uh-huh. while you're doing a review. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, it's a rap song. Seriously. Just put official music video by every title. Uh-huh. Every video and I ever drop from now on. You start killing motherfuckers <laughs> in your videos. I mean, I did just get demonetized today, so. They, they don't get demonetized, right? They get paid. They, yeah, they still of put course. ads on my shit. I just don't get it. No, any no, I'm talking it. about the rappers with all the crazy Oh, videos. the rappers, you mean? You think so, right? Pro- I don't know. I feel like the, the label probably would get that. But I mean, saying YouTube's getting, still oh, okay with it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, monetized. yeah. In that sense, yeah, of course. YouTube's still going to run ads. I always get ads on rap videos. Some bullshit. I use, well, no, I shouldn't say that. YouTube hates yeah. it. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it at that. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't say that. No, yeah, I love watching We ads. pay YouTube Red and YouTube Premium every month. YouTube Red. I actually I do have it. I, I do. Have I do too. No. I don't even use it. And I, just I use it to download videos month. to watch. I just on, use on it like, hey, don't delete us. Fifteen bucks a month. That's why they I still do. demonetize me, man. Even after the fifteen a month, it's petty. What did I, I mean, do, dude? You, your your channel is pretty clean, exactly. And they still get you. Yeah, crazy. It's pretty fucked up. Um, what time are we at? Forty. Oh, not bad. Cool. I got a question for you. All right. Earlier, guys, I asked uh, Goblin to give me some titles. I wanted to throw some stories out. <coughs> I, want, I, want, I want you to throw some stories out. And I didn't want to give it away, so let me just, I'll say something, and then you tell the story. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's do that. With that. Let's do that. Let's do yeah. that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's arrange that. Are you ready? I'm down, yeah. What are you going to throw out first? I think I'm going to go. Revenge. 
Oh wow. You picked you picked a fiery one out the gates. So <laughs> Revenge. Picked a, okay, all right. So to preface this, this is one that a lot of my viewers have been asking me to tell for a while because I've gotten drunk a few times on streams and like alluded to it. So it's something that my viewers are aware of. But I had a friend when I was younger in high school who sold a fair bit of drugs. His name was Ashton. He actually overdosed. He passed away a while ago. Um, but when I still knew him and he lived in the area, I would hang out with him quite a lot. And we were at a party together at one point. And he said, it was literally just us and like a few other people there. And he was like, it wasn't a party yet. And he was like, oh, I have a serve coming through. We thought it was like three or four people. And I shit you not, three cars pulled up. There was like 20 people. They apparently, buy something? They apparently all left the party and came through here thinking this was like a new party. And like, he let them into the house. Mind you, this isn't our house. Like we went over to some girl that like we knew. She invited us over cause she wanted to buy some shit from him. So we're at her house and all of a sudden like 20 fucking people show up. So she's really oh, mad and like yelling at people trying to throw everyone out. Pissed. And they convinced my friend Ashton to go into the bathroom to serve them. And I'm like, dude, that's sketchy. Like why would you not just serve them out here? So he goes in the bathroom with these two dudes and they close the door and, like, all of a sudden, it gets real loud in there. And they, like, from what he told me, apparently they, like, pulled a gun out and, like, pistol whipped him and, like, took his shit. Like, they just kind of jumped him in there. But they locked the bathroom door. So, like, we were trying to get it open, but we couldn't get it open because they were, like, body blocking it and shit, you know? So, finally, they open the door and, like, dip out. And, obviously, none of us have guns or anything. They have a gun. So, we're, like, you know. We, like, follow him out. But I'm, I'm like, dude, I'm not going to go fist fight the guy with a gun. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck no. Like, all right. This is bad news. But, like, okay. So what they get in their car. I, I, I instead go over to, like, Ashton. I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck happened? Um, and he kind of says, he's like, dude, they fucking robbed me. But we knew who the kids were. It's not like these were strangers. But like, what were they buying? So... I believe they just wanted to buy Zans, but he had ketamine and Zans, and he had, like, I think it was acid. He had some other shit it's on not him. weed. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. He was on probation, so he couldn't smoke weed. Um, so he just sold a bunch of Yeah, so he just sold and did everything else. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so, um... He uh he told me he's like yeah they took everything and I'm like what the fuck like what did you have and he told me he had like forty zans two grams of ketamine which is a lot of fucking k um I, I don't remember he had something else I don't remember exactly what it was but we knew who the people were so you knew them yeah like we knew these kids they went to like our school and shit you guys were in high school at this time yeah we were in high school we were all high schoolers so. The girl, obviously, she's, like, screaming and shit. She's like, get the fuck out of my house. She's, like, freaking out. So we all leave, and we're like, I tell her, I'm like, yo, we are so sorry. <laughs> you know, like, well, I did not Armed expect robbery. someone to get, you know, robbed at gunpoint in your bathroom, you know? And we just came here to smoke weed. Like, you know, I, I brought some weed. And luckily, they didn't steal that. So... <laughs> They fucking take Ashton's shit and leave, but we knew who they were. So Ashton's like, yo, we got to get them back. And I'm like, okay. You was know? he wild as fuck? Yeah. He, um, so he was on probation because he stole a car, I guess. Uh, but he did it when he was like, he told me he was like 14 or 15 or some shit, like freshman year in high school. So he was on probation for a long ass time and he just didn't give a fuck. He was wild. He was crazy. Um, but that's kind of why him and I got along, because I was also pretty reckless in high school, and I was, like, down to do dumb shit as well. So Is your age? Yeah, yeah. So we became friends pretty quickly. But um, either way, we had hit up a few of my friends. Uh, I'm not going to name them all and everything, but we hit up a few of my friends um, and asked them to come help us. Like, we were like, yo, we know where this kid lives. Like, the one who had the gun, we knew where he lived. So we were like, Fuck, yo, man. let's just go, like fuck some shit up at his crib or something, you know? And obviously he lives at home so, too. So, yeah, yeah. He lives with his mom and we found out the car he was driving. It was kind of fucked. We didn't know this before or like while we did it, but we found out after, well, I, all right, we'll get to this. But either way, we hit up a few friends. We go pick them up. We don't have like access to a gun or anything. So we're like, oh, fuck, man. Like, what do we do? So we got like a two by four, like a hatchet from Walmart, you know, like a hammer. You just went and bought shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we were like, fuck, fuck it, bro. We're committing shit tonight. You know? You guys yeah. are serious. Yeah, no, we were really serious about it. Um, and we were like, fuck, man. We, we also got some shit, like, from a garage, you know? Like, we obviously, we had some stuff. New zombie apocalypse. We had, like, like, hats that we, like, made into masks, you know? Like, we cut little 
like holes in them and then like pulling down shit. But um, we drove over to like near his crib and his car was out there. And one of our friends in the car was like, yo, if you slash three tires, insurance won't cover it. Like, you have to cut four. Apparently, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he said. And we were like, okay. So we got out of the car, and we, like, started cutting his tires and smashing the windows and shit. And the car alarm somehow didn't go off. And <laughs> sorry, we just thought this was, like, his car because he was always driving it. We later, we felt really bad about it, and I still do, because we found out it was his mom's car, not his. And I was like, oh, that's shitty. Like, I didn't, I didn't really mean to mess with his mom, you know? Yeah. Like, I just kind of wanted to fuck him over so i felt really bad about that part but then we like threw something i think it was like i don't remember what the fuck we threw probably shouldn't say it either um at his like window of like his living room and then we just dipped we like jumped back in the car but we found out that like because of that i guess his mom like kicked him out of the house good. and he was like homeless we were like fuck good yeah. damn perfect we like, fuck even yeah. better than <laughs> ruining some yeah. shit yeah we felt a lot better about that fuck yeah but then no the one of the kids who was involved in it uh I, like, wasn't there for this, but I guess um, he, like, caught, like, my friend in the bathroom and, like, beat his ass or some shit because of that. It was very bad. After they robbed him? Yeah. Yeah, after they... I'm like, dude, why at that point? You already got some fucking shit. Like, why? You know? Like, why continue it, wrong, you know? Bro. Yeah. It wasn't even the guy whose, like, house we messed with, you know? So what the fuck was wrong with that? But one of our friends ended up, like, cutting himself on one of the windows and we thought he like left blood there. So we were freaking the fuck out. We were like, Oh my God. And we couldn't calm him down. He was like, dude, we're fucked. He was like, I'm going to jail. And I'm like, well, we're not, if you shut up, you know, like, <laughs> like you better chill out. So we just kept giving him like ketamine to calm down. So we were like, we can't, we were like, we can't take you to the hospital, bro. Like he was like, I think I might need to go to the hospital. This is a big cut. And we're like, you can't go right now, bro. We're fucked. You know, <laughs> like you can't go. So we just gave him a shitload of K until he like quieted down. That was, the cut not that bad but he oh. was he was tweaking he was fine he was fine did he want the k or you administered the shit to him i didn't have any part in it <laughs> okay. that's all i'm gonna say yeah, i hear you that's all i'm gonna say but he Four took some and he crazy. did actually at first he wanted it and throughout <laughs> <At> first <laughs> But after we held him down and <laughs> blew up his okay. nose, I don't know if he okay. wanted. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I understand. All I'm gonna say is I had no part in that shit. It just happened in my vicinity, uh -huh. and I had nothing to do with it. This whole situation is okay. fucking a hypothetical story you made up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This whole situation was like a what if moment. What if? What if it occurred? I did that. This is like, yeah. What if this happened? Yeah. This is like what I, you know. But yeah. Nice. Uh, we kind of chilled out, smoked some weed after that, and then dropped everyone off and went home. And did the guy go homeless? You guys ever see him again? No, we. So he like was supposed to go to the same school as us, but he just never went to school. He's like one of those kids, you know. He was just like fuck it, kind of like dropped out on his own, I guess. Just stopped attending. Um, so like we never really saw him after that. Well, no matter what. He he robbed somebody. He's in the wrong. I mean, to be fair, it's not like we tried to ever see him again. You know, we were like, all right. Let's just not kick it with anyone that knows him or anything. And that's just kind of how it went. You know? How shitty, though. Yeah. It was a shit. Like, I don't understand why you would do that shit. Why do you bring 20 people for it? Wait, they were all in on it? Yeah. No, not all of them were in on it, but they were all there, bro. And I'm like, why would you Maybe did it so it was a distraction. Maybe. Like, kind of a smart... And just, I mean, you come up in there with all those people, it's like intimidating. If you're just a regular, I guess, regular yeah. dude sitting in there, you just strong arm some shit and leave. But it's like, if they know where you live, what the fuck are you going to expect? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like, how stupid can you be? You think we're just going to be like, oh, thanks. What, what that's you know? us. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't fucking know, man. That, that was a terrible time. It's but all strung out and shit. Um, yeah, you know, last I heard, um, he's still not doing too great. He's still not doing too great. I don't, the other guy, uh, the one who, who beat up my friend in the bathroom, he went to jail for, like, burglary or some shit. Mm -hmm. Sounds about so, right. Yeah. That was great news. We actually celebrated that. Good. Yeah, what a we, fucking... actually, we actually were super happy to hear that. We were like, wow, this is Perfect. the best news of the year yeah. so far, honestly. Like, <laughs> fucking high schoolers with a gun. <laughs> Fools are wild, man. Yeah. Fools are tripping. I'm trying to grow up fast as fuck. I feel that. There's a lot of kids who are like that. I mean... I feel like most most people are like that in some way, though. Yeah, I never just had not that, to that something to prove in me. Yeah, I, I feel never that. Had that. That's probably I why I'm never went to jail over it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I probably would have gotten trouble. It makes you do stupid shit. Yeah, totally. yeah, illogical, for sure, for sure. Um, so that was the revenge story. 
Yeah, that was quite the uh, all right. quite the occurrence. I'll, I'll, I'm always going to take away. You went to Walmart to buy a hatchet. <laughs> That's crazy. In my we mind, were, you threw a flaming bag of dog shit out his window, too, just so we, you know. We were frustrated. It, it was it was something. I just don't want to necessarily say it on the podcast. Just let you know in my mind. We threw a dildo was, through his was, window. I, I used a dildo <laughs> through his window. I feel like after we get off, I hope it's not like we, we, we killed his dog and threw it through <laughs> no, the window. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, okay. no. No one, no one was that. harmed okay, in, good. in the making. Like, I hope it's not that bad. In the making of this theoretical. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, we told this story a while back, but uh, one of my friends, I don't know if I told you. I told the story. I'll tell, I'll tell it quick because you probably haven't heard it. Okay. One of my friends got his car broken into and this, somebody stole just a bunch of shit from his car and a box. But they were going through the whole parking lot, busting windows, taking whatever they could. Oh. My homie had packs in there and hella edibles. Oh, and they got it? They got it. Wow. The two dudes were sitting there smoking weed downstairs. Oh, no. The two dudes that in, a, in a building, they were looking down. We're like, yo, what the fuck? They saw these fools breaking windows. And they were in a car. So, like, three dudes pop out, pop, 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 get in the car and dip. So, they ran downstairs on the little scooters and called the cops. <laughs> and chased these fools through downtown. And, and you know how hard it is to get through downtown? Yeah, you better I go can imagine. You sidewalk if you don't want to wait. And they were on scooters, gave the cops a description, pulled them over. So my friend doesn't know that. He's just sitting there like, yo, my car, my packs, fuck. Then he runs into these dudes going back into the building. And they're like, yo, is that your car? Because my friend's making a report. Yeah. And they're like, yo, we chased him. They're getting arrested, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> my friend's like, oh, fuck. I can't go over there. And be like, that's my box. <laughs> Two days later, they call. And we're like, yo, these guys we arrested said that, you know, they stole something from your car. We look inside. It's marijuana, a lot of illegal edibles. Goes, oh, 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 oh. Not my box. And it's like, we didn't think so. Thank you. And hung up. Those fools stole a felony. That's so how I bet they got hella time too. Probably for all the shit. Added how much? On, how much? Are we talking like, like eight pounds and like oh. I don't know like. <laughs> but that's not a huge deal here oh, in California. So bad. I in oh, California. Yeah. But hell, hundreds of edibles. Oh, it's not a huge no. deal here. Eight pounds, but really on top of burglary. Yes, fucking breaking up into those cars. Charges, eight How many cars? Don't make every charge a big deal yep. when you've got that. Yeah. What What would just eight pounds be out here? Like, oh, my, my uncle got caught with 10 pounds here in, in LA. Got a fucking old ticket. Are you serious? You, go to, jail bro, you, you shit, go to jail bro. in Illinois for like probably jail. a while. You don't go to jail no more. No, you, yeah, you, you go to jail in Illinois for that. No, no, you just got a lawyer. Maybe, maybe Never fat, a fat probation. You wouldn't get no ticket, though. That's crazy. No, it's nothing over here. Anymore. Wow. Depending. Depending on what county, because some counties are like, nope, it's 2006. You're going to jail. Yeah, that's, if you're out, if you're really anywhere outside of like the northern, like really busy counties of Illinois, nothing's getting dropped, bro. They're not, they're not going to play. My, um, bored. So the reason I'm losing my license, actually, I was telling you about that earlier, is because the place I got pulled over, I was on the highway, and it's in like a really bumfuck nowhere area of Illinois, where they have nothing better to do. Exactly. They're bored as fuck. Yes. So I'm getting fucked on that shit. I'm going to get... I think it's like another 150 hours of community service. Goddamn. Yeah, I already have 250 to do. Oof. Yeah, so I'm going to have, have a... 400 total. Yeah. You should vlog that shit. The whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Just can't. 400 hours of community <laughs> so fucking much. service? That's a lot, man. That's so much. That's a lot. That's so much. And how much time do you have to do it? The 250 I have, like, the end of the year. Jesus, that's a fucking job. It's a job. Yeah, I got to work about 25 hours a month. Mm. That's not too crazy. That's not terrible, but, but at the same time, that's like something I got to go every week and do because I can't get an eight-hour shift volunteering. Anymore. Oh, you can't? I mean, I don't know where to go for that shit. Got you. And the thing is, I've been really busy lately. I haven't really been volunteering, but now what I think is ridiculous about it is I'm about to lose my license, so how the hell am I supposed to get, get there? there? Mm. How can you assign They're, the hours and then say, oh, by the way, you can't drive they there. They give you a pass. It's a work pass and like grocery store shit. Yeah, but do you know how long it takes to get that in Illinois? Fuck, and a long COVID time. Going on. A long time. Dude, I applied to get a FOID card over a year ago and I still haven't heard back. What's that mean? Uh, it's like a gun license, like a firearm owner's identification. So you have to get that and then a concealed carry in Illinois to concealed Oh, you can carry. get them like that out there? If you get both of those things, yes. Tight. But I don't think if I'm correct, I don't think a void comes with a concealed carry. I think you have to get that separately. 
It's like you can have a gun, but you have to have it like at your house, you know? Fuck. You can't like walk around with that shit. Yo, yo, chill out. Let me go to my house. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. But right I, I wanted store. to get something. I was like, you know, I want. I don't mind that because I just want to have something to have at my house. You know, like yeah. if someone breaks in my house, I want to have a gun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's really the only so, reason. Yeah, exactly. I still haven't heard shit. Ugh. It's been like a year. Pretty Illinois is so shit. slow with it. If yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Everything that channel. involves the state. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that could be. That could be. I hope not. Probably. State Department needs to leave me alone. We couldn't get a, uh, a warehouse for, to save our lives. As soon as I took my name, I'll put Mario's. We got the first one. Really? Yep. All because of like your channel? We, we assume. You think they Googled you? Probably. Yeah. It was under push trees. You know, ink. I don't think if you Google my name, my channel comes up. No, no, no. It so I think. I'm just. I'm just I was, as long. No, I, I know. But I'm saying I think as long as like. If I'm in that kind of scenario at some point, like when I move out of the place I'm in now, um, hopefully I'll be all right. Those charges you're catching, they're looking at your fucking shit. Yeah, hey, I who? Yeah, hey. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, man. Hey, we'll figure that out when time comes. Hey, give them a concealed carry. (laughs) I mean, none of my charges are violent. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, I mean, I'm not a violent criminal. I'm just a... You're not even a criminal. You just do drugs. Yeah, I'm just, just a druggie. drugs. Druggy, yeah. Which is not a crime. I did, when I was young, get a um, burglary charge that got exposed. Oh. I, I went into garages with my friends, and we, like... Did you guys tweak it? No, we, oh, okay. we were actually pretty much sober, uh, but we... I had just got in a car, and we were driving around and saw all these open garages, and we were just like, yo... Delinquents. That sounds oh. fire. So we, we pulled up to a few houses and just, like, hit the garages, Um but we got pretty much nothing good, except we got a really nice set of golf clubs out of one that was worth, like, we looked it up. I don't know if we maybe looked up the wrong thing, but from what we looked up based on what we got, that set was worth, like, well over a grand. And we were like, damn. At the time, that's a shitload of money to us. We were like, dude, that's going to last us the year. Like, that's so much fucking money. We could buy a pound. Like, we could, like... That's it, you know. This you is our, some badass kids. This bro. is our ticket. So, we ended up getting caught <laughs> because with the clubs in the car. Would, so not that <laughs> night. It's actually really fucked that we got caught. So we pulled up to this house and we didn't see this guy standing in his garage in the corner and it was open. And my friends got out of the car and I was the driver and they went in the garage and the guy was there. So he walked up. He was like, hey, what are you doing? And they were like, oh, we're at the wrong house, you know? So they come back out to the car and the guy, I guess, thought it was suspicious enough to call the cops and report it. So they had a, like a, a record of someone reporting our license plate and shit that night. So when people started realizing their shit went missing out of the garages, they obviously called the police and they put two and two together. So small town, not that small of a town. No. Population like hundred thousand, hundred ten. Oh, it's not that small. No, not small at all. Actually, pretty big, pretty big. But Damn, they did some real police work. On yeah, that. they did some goddamn police work. But um, we we hit like four garages about so. Enough to be a problem. We took, like, a leaf blower for some reason. I don't know why the fuck we did that. So you could pawn it. Yeah, yeah. We were like, fuck it, dude. We'll pawn it. And we also took, for some reason, one of my friends took this, like, kid's backpack. And I was like, bro, put that shit back. So, like, we drove back by and threw it on the driveway. Oh. We, like, turned around and, like, threw it back. straight pieces of shit. Yeah, we were like, yo, come on, bro. Throw that shit. Like, give that shit back, bro. So we we drove back and threw that on the driveway and then left. Also, why is the backpack in the garage? Yeah, it, it was just full of water bottles. We were like, bro, it's got door on it. You know, like, leave it. Oh. I don't know, man. It might be some kids. Like, who knows? Maybe they're I not using it. I hope it's some fucking kids. Maybe the kid's thirsty. I don't fucking Maybe know. Maybe this kid's thirsty. <laughs> it's the bitch <laughs> from Signs. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yo. So you weren't that bad. You threw, you threw it back. I was trying to be a decent person. I just did some Wait, bad things. Did we talk? Was it before the show? I we were talking about stealing shit. Yeah, I've never stolen anything. Yeah, that's crazy to me because I, I used to stole. steal a lot. I never stole shit. I um, my first like serious crime that I guess I got caught for. Besides, well, no, okay, the burglary is definitely <coughs> the first. But I guess the the first serious punishment I had to deal with was when I got caught stealing from Walmart because I had this game, uh, huh? more than like twenty games though. Yeah, games. How did I just, wait? So I, I would so. sell them at GameStop when I'd steal them. But what I do? You got twelve bucks. No, I used to get like a couple hundred at a time. Here's how I do it. Just listen to this. 
So I get a tote, one of those, you know, those plastic storage totes you can get. So I get one of those, take the lid off, put it in my cart. And I go to the discount games bin and just take like 20 or 30 games and throw them in the bin. Then I put the lid of the bin on and scan the bin and pay for it and just leave. And Best. it worked like three or four Best. times. I shit, I couldn't believe it. It kept working. And back in high school, I don't know why, but I just had, maybe it's because I did so many drugs when I was younger, but I just had no sense of like fear doing this. Like sometimes I get nervous, but I just, I just fucking do it. Did your mom ever punch you in the face? No, but she's, she has smacked me before. She, she, would she beat the fuck out of you? As Not like super was, aggressively, but you know, like a. That's you probably know. why. That's probably why you had no fear. Yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, well, my, par- get my parents did. I was my parents didn't that do that, bro. Dude. People, that's a weird concept to understand, right? Yeah, my mom would punch me so hard in the face if I got caught. That's probably really? why I never stole. Really? Yeah, I, I just fucking did it. You know, that's a, I mean, the concept um, you have is genius. But I made like 150, 200 bucks every time. It was enough for me to buy a bunch of weed. Some you liquor. go to GameStop and just cash them in. Go to GameStop. I go to a few different stores to sell it because I couldn't go sell five copies of Lego Batman at GameStop and have any sort of logical explanation of Lego as Batman. to why I could do maybe two. Would be like, yeah, one for me, one for my little brother. You know, like we played together. But I couldn't fucking sell five copies of that shit and have oh, any. Lego yeah, Batman. you know, it was discount games, bro. I had to take what I could get. You know. But GameStop's so trash with giving you money. Back. But I had like thirty games, so Maybe it added Uncle up. John used to do that. He take all his old games, buy let's get some. Weed. I could get six bucks a game and still make like damn near two hundred bucks. Six bucks, yeah. Oh, California GameStops are playing motherfuckers out here. Really? What? Do, look we for, had King Kong. You know the King Kong game came out like fifteen fucking years ago for PlayStation Two. Oh, bro. it came out the next week. We took it to GameStop. The guy gave us fourteen dollars. No, eleven dollars. Oh, no. And I looked at John with this is some fucking bullshit, dude. 11 cents one time they gave us for a Star Wars game. I brought cents. a I brought an Xbox 360 there one time and they gave me 50 bucks. Is that good? Terrible. That sounds like what you would get in Merced. Xbox 360 is a whole console. Yeah. Yo, Merced's... I tri- still got that shot. Okay, it's yeah. It's fantastic. GameStop, fantastic console. GameStop's where I'm from. They would just play... Well, at least back then. Now my homie... All Anthony, GameStops are fucked, that. though, to be fair, you know? Like somebody needs to make a cooler GameStop, and they'll put GameStop out of fucking business. Yeah, but I mean, physical stores are dying nowadays for oh, games. Oh, for sure, man. for sure. Everyone buys digital on games now, you know. But here in LA, LA would would always take off. It could thrive. Yeah, LA is just the spot for tangible yeah. shit, creative shit. Is Xbox still around, or is it really just it PS5 is. and the PC? Like, what no, do- people play Xbox still. Yeah. Uh, they just dropped the Series S and the Series X, the new ones. I've never even heard of that. They're, they're brand new. They came out recently. It's still super hard to get. You can't find it at stores yet. Like, Does it damn. rival the PS5? or like? I'd say so, but I prefer the PS5. It's like Apple and Windows, basically, right? That's like, funny. I was thinking about this more. Kind of. Yeah, you can make that comparison. I mean, the Xbox, I feel like, is more of a, a media machine. Like, if you want to watch videos or stream stuff, you buy an Xbox. If you want a game, I feel like you're probably going to buy a PlayStation. Got you. You know? But people that really game go on a PC. Yeah. Yeah. Never a Mac. crazy, dude. Yeah, not, not Macs. Macs are not built for gaming. So weird. My yeah. little brother has the Valve Index thing. Oh, that's... I was just talking right? to Attila about that thing. Uh, it's the, the VR shit? Yeah, the VR headset. Bro. But it can detect where your fingers are and my shit. My brother has a, this. He's a fucking gamer, and my little brother has the craziest setup in his room. All this crazy liquids going through his computers. And oh shit. yeah, and then the v, the VR tubes from the top. But he modded. He's like coding shit. He's Spider Man swinging from web, stabbing motherfuckers in the neck <laughs> in this warehouse he made up. It's fucking crazy. That's so sick. I, but I get sick off VR. I can only do like 10 minutes. Yeah, I, no, I can do like... I'm Spider-Man. So I used to have a I'm VR sick. headset. It's sick. When I was younger, I had one like a couple of years ago. Um, but I got rid of it because I... A, I couldn't play it for that long at a time. And B, like, I didn't like many of the games that were out back then. There's some dope new ones out now, though. Uh, I don't know what games there are. Do you ever trip on acid and go on? No, I've never done... too much. I've never done <laughs> VR on acid. I don't think that'd be fun. I could see it being pretty dope, but I feel like I'd get overwhelmed really quickly. That's what I'm like saying. I get a sensory overload. For you sure. know, you'd and have fall. to take you'd fall. You have to take In a small life. dose. You have to take like half a tab to enjoy that, like a, a lighter Ugh. dose to like mm-hmm. kind of not you know lose yeah. your fucking it's, mind in there. You know, it's realistic. The VR no, shit. yeah. I the guy talks to you. What's up, man? 
You, spa- <laughs> you press a button and a guy spawns up out of the ground. Dude, the Valve Index it's so sad. detects where your fingers are. Yeah, like. you could do this. Yeah, as Spider Man. You can flip people off. You can give them a thumbs up. You can yeah, just, it's crazy. You can slap them, punch them. Like, you get real close. You can see in someone's mouth. You can see their teeth. You can stick your finger in their mouth. Dude, I held this guy's fucking head. I, I told you, I think. <laughs> I held this guy's head and he goes, like, What's up, man? And I just shoved my knife so slow through his net, through his whole mouth, oh. and you can see, it. oh, oh, dude, and then VR's the blood crazy oh. the inside of his mouth. And I went, I, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> this is, it's kind of fucked was up. Was he like, what do you do? I thought you no. were dope as your what No, the fuck? I was Spider Man. Oh, yeah. VR is brutal, yeah, dude. Man. VR is brutal. It's brutal, bro. VR is serious. It was bad. I was, I was doing some. I, I was doing prison shit. I was like, "What's up, man?" <laughs> yeah, you're that straight up. What is this you're actually dies. killing people, dude. Like, it feels real. I don't know. Yeah, why it makes me like. That's the that Valve is Index evil. is brand new too. Jesus. It's, that thing's new. Is that all you do in that world? Is just walk around murking motherfuckers? Or no, is there my brother has some to be crazy doing? dope shit. But there's a warehouse. It's like the the loading. Where you just <laughs> how to practice on guns, how to swing. Dude, I'm sitting here in my brother's room doing. Fake Spider Man shit, dropping, grabbing a gun. Hey, what's up, man? Bah, 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 bah. Mm. And the thing is, it's so realistic. It makes me feel bad. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I feel that it does. I stab the man in the neck. He's, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> you probably had a bad dream about that at some point. I told Rosie that this morning. Really? I had a dream last night that I was trying to help my uncle hide a body. Oh, and then we lost the no. phone in the mud. I went, but that's on our property. They're going to fucking find the phone <laughs> pool. And I was digging through the mud. And I woke up like, oh. I, I, I have dreams that I accidentally kill somebody all the time. Oh, that's, that's my biggest fear. That's fucked, I hate dude. it. Like hurt somebody by accident. Oh, God. And so I had no that coming dream. back from there's it? No, there's nothing See, you can do to fix it. Do you dream a lot, though? Like, do you dream often? Because I Every don't. Every day, all day. Really? Every night, all day. Really? Until I met Rosie, I used to have a, what they call lucid dreams, where you can do whatever you want. Really? And then the second I started dating Rosie, it went away. How did you it's like, like lucid second? dreaming? Do I like lucid dreaming? Some I'd be a kid, like... and I'd be like, all right, where are we going to go? <laughs> all right, come on. As soon as I fall asleep, bam, and I'd be there. That's so dope, It'd be honestly. so fucking fun, but I know that I was dreaming. And I used to do this thing where i just grab the ground and start launching. Remember the first Hulk, the movie mm-hmm. where he jumps yeah. in the... Grand Canyon forever. Yes. That's what I would do. That's so Through the sick. cities and just grab the ground and throw myself. Oh, it was so fucking That's wild. so cool. Being able to run and fly was, was so fun I was as a never kid. able to lose a dream like that, and I feel like the more drugs I did, the less I dreamed. Yep. Interesting. Yep. A hundred In high school, it started not being as cool anymore. Like, I couldn't do it as strong when I started doing heavy yeah, drugs. Yeah, when I, I started just, like, not remembering anything from sleep by the time oh, I wake up and not sucks, dreaming. Man. I can remember my dreams like the more drugs it sucks. I can't. I usually lose them within like ten minutes of being up. Oh, no, I got the whole my whole dream last night, word for step by step. I hate really. It. That's I'm, crazy. Do I have the alien invasion one, the same one all the time? That shit sucks. <laughs> that shit sucks. Yeah, I see. I the only recurring dream I can ever remember having is when I was a kid. I used to dream that I was like trapped in a castle, and I would run like infinitely, and I could never get out. But that was the only recurring dream I ever remember having. Did you ever watch Goosebumps as a kid? No, actually. I was say I read the yeah. books. Though. Night and Terror Tower. I read the books. What but you just I didn't. said, Night and Terror Tower. Oh, they can't oh. fucking leave, dude. They're stuck shit. in the castle. I remember. I would. I would be in that dream, and I just. I. I remember. That's the Horrifying. only dream I probably remember vividly at all. But I remember being a kid, um, and I would just. I would wake up in the morning and be like, "Not again, bro!" Like after the dream, I would just be like, "Fucking." Shit, because like I'd always wake up in a cold sweat, you know, and like it would always feel like it lasted for ten years, you know, like it was just the longest fucking dream. Every current dream, you know, and like I always felt like I was being chased, you know. I was like running the whole time, and I was like, it was stressful, you know. Can you punch a motherfucker in your dream? I couldn't control myself like that, bro. It would just happen. It was like watching like a highlight reel, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm, That's a great way to put it. Yeah, outer body. Like I couldn't. Yeah, like I couldn't control it. I was just like, "Fuck, let's see what you know." I'll unload on somebody and and they'll go, "Ah, go, bitch." I could never control myself in a dream like that. Oh, really? Never. You died in one of your dreams. Um, I've like fallen like. I've died in the sky and shit. When I smack the ground, I'm dead. I get up as a ghost. I would, I would always wake up before I smack <gasps> the ground. I would never, I'd never, I'd actually never like wake up. Die. I always smack the fucking ground. Every time, actually. <laughs> what Every does it feel time. like to dream of, like, die in your It dream? hurt. Like you felt it? I mean, that's what I felt in my dream. I just remember, wow. like, when you hit your head as a kid and you get that, like, water up your nose feeling. Mm. That's how I felt mm. in my yeah. dreams. Damn. Yeah. 
Wow. It's weird. That's brutal. Yeah. That's terrible. It's kind of scary. Have you never had like a trip like that, like he's describing, like where you're able to like... He fucking died on acid. But I'm I mean, saying like we're drugs. Acid. There's got to be a drug that does that. I don't... I, all oh, right. oh, I, I haven't bad. done DMT, which I feel like is the biggest drug <laughs> that do that to you. Sorry, um, <laughs> which I'm kind, I'm kind of waiting to do that. I'm going to... I'm not ready yet. Remember, I'm going to definitely do some DMs at some point, but... Not anytime soon, <laughs> honestly. How straight edge are you playing it? Like, are you just like I'm, I'm just like, smoking weed and drinking nowadays. Nice. Um, That's amazing. Congratulations, man! Because last yeah, time awesome. you did not have those vibes last on your first episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. At that point, <laughs> I was I was going hard because I mean, I had, I was pretty, you know, coming off the peak of like a drug binge that had been going on for like years straight, mm. like. There was not really many points where I stopped doing at least one to two hard drugs like on a weekly basis, whether it was Coke and Zans or it was always Coke and something. I love cocaine, but I don't know. I just got tired of that shit. I like it got to the point where it wasn't fun anymore. Like, you I almost, to do it. I yeah, I did it because I my brain told me to. Mm -hmm. And like I felt so uncomfortable when I was on it. I was like, dude, this isn't even fun anymore. Damn. You know, so you just kind of just cut it out. Yeah, I just stopped doing it. Oh. I was like, fuck this shit, you know? Uh, I will say, I had a little on a plate, and I gummed it to stay awake like two months ago, a mm -hmm. month and a half. Does your but, mom know? What was that? Does your mom know? What, that I did that? No, that you've not been like doing hard drugs? I, don't, I tell her, but I don't think she believes me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think she believes me, which is fine. It's whatever. Um, Does your mom... Never watch any of your videos? She has. She doesn't anymore, but she has. She got so disappointed with oh god. She got sick of it. And she, she likes so to upset. she likes to argue about like minor facts in my videos with me. And I'm like, oh, Mom, like my mom too. It's so irritating. You have a horrible memory, yet you're over here telling me that was not how I have. Well, fuck out of here, mom. I feel you. You got another Miller Light in here? We got many. We got many oh, Miller Lights. Where's in all here. the Millers at? I got you right here. Really? Oh my! <sighs> wow! Shout out Miller Lite. For That's real. fucking awesome, honestly. So she don't believe you? No, she That's doesn't. Okay. I tell her all the time. I mean, recently, um, Emily and I were up there for a couple days before Christmas just to like see her and say hello. Um, she lives a couple hours from you. Yeah, she lives about like two and a half, three hours from me. So I drive up every now and then, um, pay a little visit, but. I, I told her even then, like, we were talking, and I was like, I don't really do thank shit you. anymore. That's I just kind of, uh, thank you. Thank I you, I just kind of do, like, you know, a oh, little you. bit of drinking, and I smoke some butt every, you know, pr pretty much every, every day. day. Yeah, yeah I smoke some all butt the time. every day. And she even tells me she wants me to stop smoking weed, and I just tell her, like, to, I'm like, Mom, that's never happening. What's your mom do for work? Why is she um, so straight edge? So it's actually kind of funny. She's a drug counselor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually she. Yeah, it's really it's really ironic actually. Yeah, um, poor lady. And she has me. Oh. I I feel like I could have driven her to her career, but also she started doing it before I started doing drugs. This was irony. Yeah, are you an only child? Yes. Fuck. Yes, I am. I'm an only child. I'm sorry. How did your mom listen? As a dad, how did your like? Did you have a horrible? Like, did you when mom, I was younger, I had a pretty bad relationship with both my parents. I still have a, I have basically no relationship with my dad, still to this day. Because of all how bad you were being, somewhat, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was also kind of an asshole, um, but it, it was in part because of how bad I was being, yeah. But when I was younger, I had a terrible relationship with my, you know, pretty much my whole family because. I would just do a shitload of drugs all day. Like I didn't, I didn't give a damn about anything else. And you know, as I got older, even when Were I would you nice though. Were you chilling? Were you a piece of shit? I could be a piece of shit sometimes. I would like dip on family events or like do drugs at family events and shit. It's different all the time. You're saying like you no, but I'd be coked up and then I'd kind of be an asshole. You know, that's the were you shitty that. before yeah. drugs though? No, no, no. So that's why they're pissed. But yeah, right. as I got older, I kind of realized like, oh, you know, I should I should keep my drug use away from my family. Like I should do it in my own time. You weren't hiding time. it and denying it. No, at first. no, not at all. Oh, I God. didn't give at a what shit. age? Uh, like 16. Oh, 17. Hell. 
That's crazy. Yeah. I so got fucking suplex. In the house, like, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. Like, Yeah, I would uh, I would wait till my mom went to sleep and, like, hotbox my bedroom and stuff. Mm. I did that once. Um, That's different. Oh, I did that a lot of times. Or, like, did she I, would, I would do coke in my, like, my room on my desk, and my mom would, like, find some of my blow sometimes. And she'd be really pissed about that. Bro, I would have killed you. I don't know how to react she, to that as a dad. Like, yeah, I feel like as a parent, your perspective on it's probably you ever a lot different wrestling? than mine. You guys ever yeah, watch? but yeah. from my perspective, Triple I mean, X. yeah, I know. With Triple H, pedigree, I would have did that to you. Oh shit! I found out you were doing cocaine in my house. There was a, child, a lot like, of times where like she just wouldn't Triple let me H. come home and shit. <sighs> Uh, and I, I either, so, bro. yeah, yeah, no, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Uh, I lived in my car at one point. I lived at my friend's house for a few days, multiple times. I lived in a hotel for two weeks. One time, uh, like she's booted me out for that shit plenty of times, but at the same time, she's a like, drug she didn't try to help yeah, you? but at this, well, it's kind of different when it's, it's, it's your own program? child. I feel like but in the program, I've been through programs of hers, not of hers. I feel like. So her, if you asked her, she's probably like, "You have no fucking idea everything I tried to do." But not that. It's if she's that's her profession. She wouldn't have brought you into her own. I circle? I saw a counselor like she saw her at her office. It's different when it's your parent. I guess no. It a hundred percent is. They can't. A third party is different than talking to your parent. A hundred percent. I will never be honest with my parent in a mm. therapy setting ever. No shot at that. Like, you can't get that from your parent. You can't go into your mom's <coughs> office and sit down and get yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like, because you need to be able to freely talk about mm. your parents, you know, yeah. and shit like that. You can't do that to them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's probably nothing stopping it, though, if it was just your addiction. Like, what could they have done? I mean, I get, yeah, yeah, 100%. But if she started punching you in the mouth at about 11, <laughs> yeah. you would have been yeah, real I scared. I should have probably gotten smacked a few more times, but it helps. I was not a great kid. But I feel like I've gotten better over the years, you know? Yeah. But that's crazy. I, she's a drug counselor. Yeah, it's really ironic, isn't it? Does she get fired for not? No, running? no. She's like one you know, of the. Like, you that's imagine. your kid? No, she's one of the like top counselors at her practice. Like, she does a great job. Like, she's like the lead fucking counselor. Great, great work. You're out here with a half a million fucking subs. <laughs> half a million subs, and I have a crack video, cocaine video galore, fucking rehab series, Coke Chronicles. All sorts of shit, you know? Informational viewing, man. Yeah. God damn. What the fuck? Yeah. It's insane. It is some irony. <coughs> Truly. It, it's it's funny to me, honestly. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious, actually. And as I've gotten older, she's grown to understand it and accept it a it's little like, more. It's like, that's your son? He's 600 pounds. What do you do? I'm a nutritionist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You should be fired. <laughs> but no, it's different when it's your son. You see what, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it's like... But yeah, for sure. But it's also like you're not really glor. I've I've went back and watched a bunch of your videos. No, now. yeah, you're never. You're just spitting facts sad. about life. You're not like yeah. Well, yeah I just Marty, kinda, I'll be hitting Marty up and just watching Goblin shit. Like, uh, yeah. So Marty been watching. I mean, I just kind of I just kind of talk about what happened. I don't really yeah, try to talking. try to be like, oh, you should do this. I might say I like something, but that's because I fucking yeah. did. Every you difference know? with my coke is I fucking love cocaine. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, it's bad for no, you. No, I fucking cocaine's amazing, but it's that's why I hate it. Like, cocaine is something that even when I felt like shit, I'd keep doing it. Of That's course. how bad it is. There's no other drug that got me like that. I have a bloody nose waiting for it to dry just so I can fucking try yes, it. Yes, I'd be in the bathroom stuffing wet Kleenex in my fucking nose to trying get to get the out. blood out so I could just do another line. And then it would just start bleeding more, you know? How many know? times you've been on the ground searching for Oh, that's not coke. Oh, all the time, dude. Yep. I had hey, this little this? I had this little knitted carpet that like the threads were really loose, so it would always get coke flakes oh. in it and flakes of other shit. So I'd be tripping on the floor, looking around with my flashlight, trying to find shit and decipher whether it was coke or I mean, something I I'd 16. eaten ten days ago. It was fucked. I was like sixteen searching on the floor too. When I was um, so I get it. When I was younger, I used Fun to times. When I was younger, I used to to like bring coke around to try to avoid like it being found by putting it in cinnamon capsules. I would take so what I'd do is I'd take Saran wrap and I'd roll up a little tube of coke and I'd seal the ends with a lighter uh, and then I'd put it in the middle of a cinnamon cap. That you're, an I'd have empty. you're an inmate. You're an inmate. I guess you could say, yeah. yeah. You're a fucking inmate. And I'd ride around with like four or five capsules. That's uh, I guess you could say TSA method too, but I don't do it anymore, so who cares? But either way, it's um, really the best one ever. It's fucking CBD powder jars and just dump them. Really? CBD powder's white. Just get CBD oh. powder branded from the fucking liquor store. Dump it out like it's CBD powder from 7-Eleven, asshole. 
Really, it's cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> my homie's like, you want to hit some CBD? I'm like, no. See, I never bring oh. that much around where I'm dumping a whole damn jar out. You know? Uh, like, well, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> the most I bring around is like maybe in a ball. You know? like That's what I'm saying. Like, you can fit in those little like, little jars they sell of CBD that's yeah. like 30 bucks at the liquor store. Yeah, it's I amazing. You, I guess you could fucking do that, yeah. Yeah, I'd be at some of my friend's <laughs> house would be hella CBD jars. I'm like, why do you guys have... Oh, there's cocaine in my time. <laughs> now I get it. Like, you guys just smoke CBD now, you fucking assholes. Coke's just a terrible fucking drug, man. It's the de- best and most terrible thing in the it's world. It's so bad for you, and it's just so... It eats up your insides. It ruins your life. For everything. But... Also, oh boy, probably my, the most fun drug of all time. Yeah, if I could be like, "Yo, would you smoke weed or coke forever?" Like, <sighs> Every, everyone's are we gonna gotta, die from it. <laughs> Am I gonna die? Cocaine's one of those drugs that really everyone's fucking done. Damn near, not mine. Really, I'm over here imagining. Good. Yeah, like, good. Yeah, no, I never good. Did. Honestly, uh, yeah. that's fucking good. I know a couple of people have never done it. I, I wish I'd never done it. And hyper and shit. I that told you my mean. first time was an accident, right? Marty's just doing this shit every time. He does <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> just writing lyrics. <laughs> you could probably write a banger, honestly, if you're tweaking hard enough. Write a banger, <laughs> fuck. In another language. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready for what? I got another uh, question for you. Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the mid-roll ad read. For those of you that don't know, uh, this year, for everyone out there, let me just say it right now, Marty and I uh, are now the brand ambassadors for 2022 for Miller Lite. Thank you guys for making this possible. Before we even get into the ad read, thank you. And from me to you, Miller Lite has always been one of my favorite beers. And if you've ever watched a story time, you know that's a fact. I'm not here to put down any other beers for tasting terrible, but I'm going to say this right now. This is not one of them. I've always loved Miller Lite because it tasted better than the others. And as I said earlier, if you've ever watched any of my story times, you know some of the best times in my entire life. Some of the best times in my life were with my Uncle John, and we were just, this was our go-to beer. Miller Lite, it was, this is what we used to drink. Being around a bonfire, just being slightly cold, but knowing that this beer is going to warm me up. I, you guys know that feeling. You know the feeling of, it's almost camaraderie. And if you're shaking your head, yeah, I know. Then you agree with me and you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm so excited that it's Miller Lite. Because it's, I, I, I told Marty, it's one of the only beers I can actually taste and actually drink. I love this beer since, I won't say how long, but I love this beer. And for everyone out there that's in great shape like me and cares about calories, just to let you know, Miller Lite, 96 calories. 3.2 grams of carbs for every 12 ounces. For all you fitness people out there, you know that's pretty damn low for some beer. Are you ready for the best part, guys? Right now, go to MillerLite.com forward slash Yola, and it'll show you all your delivery options to get this delivered right to your door. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> Sorry, man. This is our first ad read. It's still blowing my mind that we have Miller Lite right here as a sponsor. Let's go. That's pretty dope. So go to MillerLite.com forward slash Yola to find all your delivery options, or you can go to anywhere in the world that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Uh, celebrate responsibly Miller Brewing Company uh, Milwaukee Wisconsin don't drink and drive basically don't be stupid it's 2022 start the year off right never drink and drive have a dope ass day hey what's up guys we just want to take a quick break from this episode it is a long one so get ready we just want to say a special shout out to one of our sponsors this is FanDuel and you guys already know Wild Car Weekend is coming up the Super Bowl is not that far away and if one of your teams is in Wild Car Weekend I'm sorry because that sucks I know one team that's not in uh, Wild Card Weekend <laughs> <laughs> But in all honesty, most wildcard teams are really good teams that just lost a little too much. When you make a deposit for wildcard weekend, our fans are getting the opportunity to get 30 to 1 odds on wildcard weekend. You can bet five bucks, you know, five dollars and win $150 if your team wins. That's a 50-50 chance on losing five dollars or gaining 145. So come see why FanDuel is America's number one sports book. If you win in, in as little as two hours, you will get your money. So right now, go download FanDuel Sportsbook. Go get the app right now in the App Store or the Google Play Store. And if you use code DOPE as usual, all right, remember this, 
Dope as usual, our personal code for Wild Card Weekend, $5 bet can win you $150. It's the easiest, most transparent bet you're ever going to get. For everyone out there that's already betting, already knows what they're doing, and you have FanDuel app already, right now, go refer a friend. They get 50 bucks for signing up, and you get $50. It's the easiest thing you could do. Also, before I go, remember, make sure it's legal to bet in your state, all right? It's... It, Fandle tells you exactly what states are legal, and you got to be 21. So remember that, guys. Go use our code. Dope as usual. $5 can turn into $150. Back to the episode. Um, you smoked something synthetic, and you told me the story about yeah, it. Yeah, so... So what happened? When I was younger, uh, this involves the same friend I talked about earlier, actually. A lot of shit I did when I was younger was with this guy, Ashton, right? Very good friend of mine, but he, this guy was hella drugs this guy loved doing anything he could get his hands on and he got his hands on some shit that he at the time told me was just synthetics now still to this day i haven't literally like you know tested any of it or confirmed 100 percent what it is but after like making a video about it getting comments on that and like looking up what people had told me about it, i have a feeling i know what it is because it makes sense but I, I kind of freebased this shit, I guess you could say. I smoked it off tinfoil. And we were sitting in my car, and we were, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes away from our friend's house. We were going to go over there and, like, you drink a— it and then said, um, let's drive after? Yeah. You're reckless. I'm stupid, honestly. Right. Back, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. Back then, I was a complete dumbass. Smoked like I didn't mystery truck. No, no. For, <laughs> I, I didn't drive. think like that. Like, I was fucking dumb. I was reckless. I just figured, like, oh, nothing will happen to me every time I did something. I was stupid. I hadn't learned any lessons yet, you know? So, my buddy, he pulls this shit out, and he's like, yo, you want to try some? And he'd been smoking it around me, you know, fairly recently. This was the first time he'd gotten this shit. And I asked him, I remember I asked him at the time, I was like, what exactly is it? And he's like, well, I, I don't really know, you know? And I'm like, he's I'm synthetic. Like, yeah, he's just like synthetic. And I'm like, all right. And he was like, it gets you fucked up. So he passes me the tinfoil and he just tells me to light the bottom of it and hold a straw in my mouth over it, which of course this guy had plenty of straws on him. He, he was a bit of a tweaker himself, you know? He had plenty of equipment. So he gave me one and, you know, I, I inhale this and... I immediately just got this, like, first off, it tasted like death. Before we even like get chemical. into the effect, it, yeah, straight chemicals. It, it tasted like burning plastic almost. Like, like crack? It was bad. No, honestly, I only smoked crack once, and it was probably very impure. But, I mean, it still tasted awful, but not quite as bad as this, honestly. This was the worst tasting shit I think I've probably ever smoked. Ooh. Like, I... I think one of the worst tasting things is Xanax because it makes me puke. But even then. You mean smoking it? No, like if you leave it in your mouth for too long and it starts to melt, that taste is brutal. I used to have an ecstasy. I just let it dissolve. Oh, there. it's terrible. It's like oh, that gassy, so like, shit. it literally tastes like gasoline. It's so bad. It's brutal. It gave me yeah. chills on my spine. Yeah, it like almost yeah. stings. It's so bad. It almost stings. It almost stings it so if bad. Leave, if you leave pill in my hair longer. No, around. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly oh. what you're talking about. It's fucking brutal. But where the fuck did we leave off? You were smoking that shit. Oh, the synthetics. Straw. Okay, yeah. All right. So I took a hit of this shit, and I immediately got this head rush that felt like not your normal, like let's say you took a big dab of some sativa or something, head rush. That kind of head rush where it felt like someone took my fucking head and just started squeezing the shit. It was like this, almost this pressure on my head. And I was like... I was like, fuck, dude. Like, I don't feel like I don't know if I can drive, you know, like I don't fucking feel good. And I only took one hit of this shit. I was like, yeah, like I'm Ugh. I'm good on this. And after that, you know, luckily we weren't like super far from my friend's house, but I I was still I feel like I was gonna pass out. But I was still driving and I knew that Ashton was more fucked up than me. So I was like, Well, I'm driving. Here I go, you know. <laughs> Here we go. So we we managed to actually make it to her house, right? And we, we get in there, and luckily your parents aren't home or anything. And we, get, we go into her basement. She had a pretty big house, very nice neighborhood. We love going over there because parents were never home. She had a hell of liquor, and, and we could invite a people over. And pantry with dope, dope shit, I bet. Oh. Rich people always got the dope pantry. She had, like, charcuterie boards on the go. What's that mean? 
Dude, you know those boards are like the cheese and the meat and the crackers? Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, bro, on go. I'm talking money in this house. Yeah, that's so money. like, yeah, great time, you know? Like I'm like fantastic experience. Cocaine and eateries. Fuck yeah. yeah. Like what oh. better what more could you ask for? 80 inch no, like 70 inch TV in the basement. Giant, you know? In the basement? Oh. Yeah, bro. It was just flooded. Perfect. Yeah, but we could play Xbox on that shit, dude. It oh. was great. It was great. Her brother was like in college and left his Xbox there, so we just fucking play that shit all day. But we uh, we got there, and I'm sitting in the basement, and I'm like, yo, like, I don't feel good, you know? Like, I feel like shit. I went to the bathroom and threw up. I felt like shit. Was your bathroom in the basement? Yes. Fuck. Luckily. Crazy. They're crit. balling. No, bro, big money. They're balling. And the basement completely finished. Carpet, walls done, like, beautiful. Have you seen the finished garage before? No. Like, finished garage? Marty's got one now. Fucking yeah. garage. Made, like the, you fucking the you told floor. me about how much you got that bathroom done for, and I damn near shit myself. Let's go. This guy getting those player prices. Up. I have never seen a price <laughs> that good. I I worked in yeah. that industry. I have never seen a price that good. That blew my mind. You said it was how much? I think we're at like sixty five with it right now. Oh, dear God, and you probably got oh, nice shit in there. You probably yeah, got we're really getting some. What kind of like materials do you have? Like that's my wife's. That's it. Okay. <laughs> she does yeah. all that shit. Yeah, I don't. No, it's still sixty five is crazy. We yeah. like. We do fucking dog shit, you know, not even plastic, break into your materials for like eight, five minimum. Oh, yeah. shit. Like, yeah, that's crazy. She gets those, that's those crazy. realtor deals. She knows people. Fuck yeah. Shit. Yeah. Not like it's not fucking expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's bomb. Yeah, I know. No, that's fucking crazy yeah, yeah. still. So we're talking about drugs. When is this something adult shit? Yeah, yeah. Now we're back. She's got money. <laughs> she has a fucking bathroom in her basement. <laughs> you throw up. Yeah, so I throw up and... The effects went away really quickly. I What'd think it's just, just I the think pressure. It's just, yeah, I felt that pressure in my head, and I felt this real heaviness in me, where it almost felt like I had this G force on me the whole time. And I was like, I was sitting there, and I was like, when I, I got up, it was really before. hard to walk. And I like, I stayed pretty much glued to the couch down there the whole time. And like, I really noticed it most when I got out of my car when I first got there, because that was the first time I'd stood up since doing it. Yeah, I didn't realize how fucked up it was until I got out of my car, and I was like, oh shit. You know, like, I'm fucked right now. But we go down there, and I threw up. And after I threw up, I felt a little bit better. And it really was mainly just that G-force. And I did feel a little bit stoned, you know? Like, Ugh. it was it was a weird... I've smoked synthetic weed before. That was the worst voice crack ever. But I... <laughs> <laughs> I smoked synthetic weed. <laughs> I've smoked synthetic weed good. before quite a few times. Um, but it didn't feel like this. This was different. Uh, cause normally I get a headache from that shit, but this was different. I didn't get a headache. I got a pressure in my head and I got this G force almost like, I just kept feeling like I was about to pass out and puke at the same time. And I was like, dude, That's the worst, I'm going to shit my pants at this rate. Like this is fucked up. So finally it kind of went away and I made a video about this a few years ago and I got a bunch of comments from people who were like, oh, I think I know what it was. They they called it pink. It was like U4770 or something, 447 something. I don't know. A synthetic chemical. That's all I know. And when I went and looked it up, I was like, dude, this sounds exactly like what I fucking had. And apparently it's like synthetic heroin. And when I found that out, I was like, oh, wow. So you felt so shitty. Like, obviously, I didn't test the shit. I don't know for sure. But also, what the hell? Like, what else could it be? How many pink powders you got out there, you know? like, Have you seen the CBG shit? CGB pink powder shit? Have you seen that? No. What the fuck is that? My homies were doing it not too long ago. It's fucking wild. It's like Molly and Coke together. Oh no, bro. I used to, com I used to do that combo a lot. It's just this pink powder shit. No. Whew. Whoa! I've never heard of that show. Oh, always your fuck that. Whoa! Well, you, you know, know it's I bad do. when I haven't heard of this. Not show. even that. <laughs> I knew it. My homie's probably watching this. This stupid motherfucker comes to my house. And I go, <laughs> "You're doing that shit again all night, huh?" He goes, "No, I mean I just saw." I go, "How do you know?" I go, and I put my phone out. <laughs> There's this pink shit all <laughs> over his face, like a kid eating shit. Go, I didn't eat anything today. That's it. Was just pink powder stuck to his whole face. He drove 45 minutes to my house. Like that. Oh no. Shit face. I went full stop get driving fucked up. That's brutal. Stop. And I told him, You're doing that shit. I'm like, nah, man. Like it was <laughs> this is, it's like some Kramer shit when he goes and he moves his, that's the way he looked at me like, oh fuck. Yeah, maybe I was snorting fucking grams all night. Yeah, it's four in the morning, asshole. My friend was spending the night at my house. I know when he's fucked up, if he 
comes back like, yo, I'm about to be there. I'm like, yeah, I know it's four four forty. <laughs> yeah, I know you're about to be here. <laughs> um, so you smoke synthetic heroin? Cool. Yeah, pretty Not dead really. certain that's what it was. I mean, <laughs> I guess I, I'll never really actually know. It must be shitty though, right? Because heroin's supposed to be, feel like you got. It, it was really shit, different. Right? It was not puke what off I that expected. Shit, I didn't feel good at really any point. Oh. But the only reason that makes the only thing that makes me not say for sure I did it is because as as much as I could find saying like, yeah, people had similar experiences on like forums and shit, it also like I I felt like when you did, I just felt like you'd feel more of a bliss kind of feeling, like you said, you know? And that's also what I'd seen some people describe. And I was like, how come I got none of that? You know, I only got the negative effects. Like maybe yeah. it's just my body, synthetics, I guess. Have, you know, it's not like people are researching this shit. Uh, so there's not really any knowledge on, you know, I mean, it sounds effects. fun, but heroin, you die. Yeah, on paper it sounds fun, but not it's something just, I would ever do again. No, I'm talking about actual heroin. Oh, I mean, if it wasn't bad for you, like, yo, falling asleep, standing up, bro, I'm there. You know? <laughs> Can I get there? Where's it at? People who do heroin really talk it up. And they also live on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's the best shit ever. You got changed? <laughs> like, nah, Dude, uh, I don't. It, all I'm saying is if I found out something was severely wrong with me, like a terminal illness, opium I'm doing it. heroin. Well, I told him if I lived to 88, opium dens in China. Really? That's one of the things I've told Rosie, our whole relationship. <laughs> if I make it to 88, I'm going to opium den. Because if I make it to 88, damn, all right, you live wow. long enough. That's if a you good die, You die. I would love to visit an opium Could you dad. imagine accidentally dying at 88 off opium? Just the dopest shit of in all China. time. In China. In China. The coolest way to die ever. Oh, my he God. He LD'd off of bliss. Imagine the, oh, no imagine the technology they'd have in the opium dens by the time we are that old. Well, then again, maybe I'll live hella longer than that. Maybe I won't. Maybe 88's too Dude, you know, me. I saw this company. Oh, wow. Oh. I haven't even sparked this other one. Nice. This is great news. You, I was wondering what you were doing. You just looked at me like, Creep out like what a is ninja. That? He did. <laughs> Equally fucking through our joints. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Wow. What a great surprise, Bum. honestly. I didn't even spark my other one yet. I'm, I'm behind, actually. All right. So have you, like, passed on heroin, like, intentionally, or it's just not been around? Or you it's not really something I've surrounded myself with, luckily. Um I've known a few people who have done a lot of other stuff. I will say my friend Ashton did heroin here and there. I mean, he's the one that gave you the synthetic heroin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not He's not someone who ever offered it to me. He was like, yeah, that's something I do myself, you know? But he always liked to insist that he only did it on weekends. Hmm. I don't know if I believe that part. But so even the kids that do drugs look down on heroin users and yeah. shit, basically. Somewhat, yeah. I always tried to encourage him to stop doing it, but I also respected the fact that it's his decision at the end of the day. Yeah, you we know? smoke weed, we do our shit, like, somebody else's weed. I could try to stop at the end of the day, I'm his homie, and I'm not going to drill him with that shit every time I kick it with him, yeah. you know? Like, mm -hmm. no. I mean, obviously, I wish he stopped, but hey. Yeah. Sometimes you can't control that. I know. It sucks. For real. Yeah. For real. So, we got through synthetics. Synthetics, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm a little high. You ever done any synthetic stuff, anything like that? I don't think so. It's good, weed. honestly. He's a purist. Yeah, well, it's nice good you've to never touched any of that K2 bullshit or anything. I don't even know what that is. Synthetic weed. Like the Scooby K2. Snacks. You remember that shit? No. We had that shit in Buffalo. I, I caught pneumonia or some shit after doing it once and never it's again. It's fucked. Yeah. And it's not, even, it's not even good, is it? It feels terrible. Yeah, it was not. Like, there was nothing I had a pounding it. headache every time I did it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I only did it the one time. I got sick as fuck afterwards. Yeah, it's, like it's a so bad. That sounds. Awful. I never yeah, got a good effect off that shit ever. Not once. I I did it quite a few times, but it's because it was always told. You know, advertised to me as like something different. Like, oh, it's not the same as the last shit. And I'd be like, okay, you know, I do enough drugs last wrong. Time? No, fuck this it. one's better. Maybe it'll be good yeah. this time. But I learned my lesson eventually. Mm. Fuck that. Uh, all right, I got another one for you. Let's hear it. A PO box. Yeah, so we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Yeah. So Tell me when I was younger, uh, back in high school, I had a P.O. box. And I, so I was on probation at this point, actually. And I figured this was the best time of my life to sell shit because I couldn't do most of it. So you I, didn't smoke it. My P.O., I had a hunch knew my YouTube channel. I never really got like Wait, when did you have your channel? Uh, I've had this channel since like 2013, bro. But I was telling drug stories since 2015, 2016. Wait, you were like fucking 16 years old talking about all this shit online? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. 
Oh, how did you not get Some of my old videos are like five years old, six years old. Damn, I didn't realize that. No, I didn't realize that either. Oh, shit, you were talking about a current? Nin- yeah, current. Oh, hell no. Current events, yeah. A lot of my older videos from like 2016, 2017, current events. Like, I was mm. fucked up while making them. I have oh, one video shit. that I've never told anyone which one it is that I made while I was tripping on acid. Honestly, I don't even know if I remember anymore. It's been so long. But I did make a video while I was tripping, and I remember a while ago I did like some thing where I was like, yeah, if anyone names it, I'll fucking give you like 20 bucks or something. <laughs> and like no one got it. But back then I had like 100 <laughs> followers on Twitter, so I don't fucking, yeah. don't fucking guess it. I had like two people throwing out answers, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, now nah, the, uh, the P.O. box. So back when I was on probation, I figured this is the best, most opportune time for me to sell weed and some other stuff because I couldn't smoke weed. And I could never, like, I tried to sell weed plenty of times before, but I couldn't make any money because I just smoked smoke it too much. Yeah, yeah, I smoked too much of it. And I came to accept that after a while. I was like, you know what? That's fine. I'll just get smoke a job free. and spend all my money on weed and also smoke for free. Yep. You know, like, fuck yeah. Didn't work out that way. Usually I'd smoke more than I sold because I was, I was bad. I was mm-hmm. really bad. Me I too. was shit at selling weed. I was never fantastic. But... On probation is when I started picking up steam. Like, that's when I started really making a little bit of money. Never anything crazy, <laughs> but at one point, <coughs> I had had a P.O. box. I just totally ashed on myself. I do it every fucking episode. <coughs> it happens. But I had a P.O. box that I had to open, and I used to get fan mail to it, too. Uh, to, like, I, I'd order, like, normal shit from Amazon and magazines to it to, like, blend in with the, like, drug shit I'd get. <laughs> it was really funny because I only ever had two people who ever sent me any fan mail. <laughs> one guy sent me, like, a letter one time that's just like, hey, love your videos. Uh, it was literally just, like, a letter he wrote, right? Wow. The other I person. I love that. Old school fan yeah, mail. Yeah, just, a, just a, a, like, a little notebook paper. It's like, hey, love your videos, you know? Mm-hmm. And then the other guy sent me three separate packages, and they were all disassembled parts to build a bicycle like they were like gears and like chains and like a handlebar like parts to build a bike it's terrifying it was this no it was hilarious i found it so funny i was like (laughs) i i I made videos of it i think i privated them by now but i might still have them on my channel i i like opened these boxes i was like oh the bicycle guy's back and on the third episode the final box he sent me he sent me a bag full of thermite and a fuse and it's it's like an explosive powder it's like really flammable. Like you like you could set someone's house on fire with like a gram of this shit. Oh shit. He sent me a Ziploc full of it and instructions on how to use it. He was like, Hey goblin, don't know if you know what this is. This is thermite. Uh, here's how you use it safely. He said, <coughs> Step one, take it outside. Like don't use it indoors. I was like, Okay. I went out to my garage and dumped some of this shit on the floor and You used it? Hell yeah, bro. He sent it to me. I was gonna use that shit. The bike so, dude. The random bike part. This or different dude. No, same guy. The bike part guy sent me thermite at the end. I don't know why. He would send me like Lego figures and bike parts and like little toys and like thermite at the end. It was actually dope. Okay. He'd send me a letter and he'd be like, hey, here's some more random shit I have. Oh, you know? okay. Oh, okay. he told okay. you why. No, he wouldn't but, say like, why. In letters, he just, like, here's random he'd just shit. be like, hey, Here's some shit. Yeah, okay. I thought somebody just sent you yeah, a box full of stuff. As long as he stuff. acknowledged that it's, it's random. It was a, okay. He would, he would okay. just be, yeah, yeah. He would just be like, cool. hey, here's some shit. I was like, okay, the nice time, guy. Like, bro, cool. shut it and down. he wrote like detailed instructions on how to use the thermite safety. So you so said like, to fire. do what with? Just make Light a fire? On fire, yeah. Okay. Just to see how, it, see how it goes. So I did it in my garage. And it like scared the shit out he of me. He told you to just do it inside. First well, I opened the garage door and did it near the edge. So I thought it was good enough. So you're outside. Got you. Not good enough, though. Um, totally almost burned my fucking house down, dude. It was very flammable. Uh, I had I I did no research on it. I was just like, okay, bro, let's check this out. It was, like, terrifying. I, mean, I opened the door. I, I probably shouldn't have, but I threw it in the garbage. I threw the rest Jesus. of the thermite in the garbage. I mean, what'd you do? Did you make a little trail of gasoline and shoot it with a fucking BB No, gun so the, he, attached, <laughs> he, attached this little, he attached this little fucking fuse in there. He was like, oh, just light this and it'll, you know, oh, lead to the thermite. Shit. So I put the fuse down, lit the fuse, and fucking ran. Do you think you were, like, down with this? Did you ever do vi- videos of bicycle vigilante shit? No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Uh, if I'm being honest, I can barely ride a fucking bike. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you threw that in there. Damn. If I'm being honest, yeah. I can't even I really ride that. a bike. Did so. it explode? I mean, well, no, it just it was extremely flammable. What? You never rode a bike as a child? No, I, I, I like had a bike. I was just terrible at it always. I like, I'd fall very often. My coordination's bad. 
Really? Yeah, really bad. Barely ride a bike. Whoa. Did you yeah. play sports as a kid? I played football. Your coordination's not terrible. Yeah. I mean, it was good enough to play football. Were you a fucking guard? Uh, I was a lineman on offense and on defense. I was a nice yeah, guard. Were you a guard or a tackle? Uh, guard. Yeah, I think yeah. I figured I was like, you a guard? Yeah, yeah I figured. Yeah. Yeah, it was I, fun. I could see it. Guy played yeah. as a guard in the center and a nose tackle. It was fun. Hell yeah, but you got some coordination. Be doing three point stances and shit, dude. That shit was a blast. Honestly, fuck yeah, it's defense fun is very fun. Yeah, offense. Defense I is, love. I love being an offensive line. The most. Offense is fun because you can just block the shit out of the fuck. Yeah, out of like somebody. you can just be so aggressive with it. And it's like the ball's all the way over there, but this. Was yeah, like your only assignment is just <laughs> get this motherfucker. Smash this fool onto his back. Your only assignment, unless you're a receiver, is just get this fucker. Smack him onto you his know? back. <laughs> um, sorry, thermite. <laughs> Yeah, this dude sent me you some were thermite. Totally okay with it. What if it was like I thought it was. Or some I shit? thought it was dope. I was like, dude, this is fire. Yeah. Mustard gas. I've something. never gotten Literally. any other fan mail, so I was like, this is cool. You know, wait, like what age were you when this happened? I was young, bro. I just got out of rehab. I was like maybe 17, 18 oh, at this so, point. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I just turned eighteen. Damn, dude, I would never. Ex- Ooh, that's crazy. That, that was, was a crazy neck problem. crack. Holy, fuck. I did hear that through that. Wow. I heard it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I did hear it. God damn. You don't have a fan open fan mail box now, do you? No. Good. No. Thank you. Don't. No. Yeah, I know that my fans would send me drugs, and I'm not getting in trouble for that. That and people are creeps yeah. and dick dickheads and weirdos. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know? Like that. The thermite guy might be like, yo, yeah, you. Thermite guy's message. cool, though. No, yeah, I'm saying like one of those dudes, but the anti-thermite guy. Oh. Send you some shit without instructions. Send me and it just explodes. <laughs> yeah, just a bomb. Yeah, you ever seen Jingle All the Way? Jesus Christ. All right, just watch it the other no. day. No. There's bombs in the mail, okay? I don't want to get a fucking bomb in the mail, bro. Yeah, no. Don't. It's That's, not worth it. Yeah, yeah, no. It's not worth it at so all. So you almost burned your house down. I love it. Yeah, but back to the P.O. Box part. So uh, oh, yeah. I was also getting some... <laughs> I was also getting some um, some weed in there every now and then. And towards the end, I had ordered a few things. I ordered two pounds of some trash. Off the dark web. Yeah, like some dookie shit. <laughs> Terrible ass weed. And back at this point, this was right before a lot of these sites got shut down. Like Silk Road. Alpha Bay. No, this is more recent. Alpha Bay, Hansa, uh, newer sites that got shut down. And You can't just Google that. Uh, Not now. I mean. I mean. Whenever someone says dark web, I go, but how? So <laughs> where is it? You can't just go Google dark web stuff. You actually can. <laughs> can you? Yeah, bro. You can actually find links for like markets on. That's so Google. scary. Fuck that. Yeah. No, it. So a lot of them are like phishing links. You have to be careful of that. Phishing links. What does that mean? You can enter a link that's like a virus. You know, it'll like track your info or install something on your computer. Like you can enter a bad link that'll fuck you over, you know? Or, like, a link where, like, you enter it and you enter your login info and you get hacked because it's not the real site. It's, like, a duplicate. Ooh. You know? That kind of shit. Well, good thing I don't care about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds scary. Yeah. But yeah. you were on the dark web getting pounds. You got two pounds. I got two pounds of some swag. All shake. No nugs. Mm. Terrible. I paid about 400 500 a pound for this shit. So I paid total like a grand for this shit. And I was selling ounces for the low to my friends. Like I was doing, at first I was doing like, I was taxing, bro. I was doing like a hundred at first. And I got a few kids. I got a few kids for a hundred. And I was like, yes, <laughs> this is it. You know, five of these Fuck and I'm yeah. clear of the yeah. pee. You know, well, like yeah, this is it. Because I can't more. smoke none of this shit. Like, Did you I'm, know it was so shitty buying it? Oh, for sure. Uh, for sure. Yeah, they advertised it as lows. They were like, yeah, this is trash. Um, They're like, yeah, this is true. But I was like, you know what? That's what I want. Like, I don't have much money to, to play with, so I want to make as much as I can. So I sold all this shit to all my friends as quick as I could. Uh, Before they realized I was flipping was. ounces for any price. Like, you, if you said anything above, like, $40, I was probably going to take it, you know? Like, I didn't give a fuck. So I, I flipped, like, the first pound, like, Damn near the first night because I was just doing only ounces, like half o's and up. Like if you didn't want at least a half o, I'm not coming, you know, because I was willing to do a half for like fifty fucking. Bucks. Yeah, what? like why would you not do that, you know? Yeah. So I was doing like halves and like zips and all that shit, and I got rid of the first pee really quickly, and then the second one took me a little longer. It took me like a few more days, but still, I was doing zips for so low. Like other people I knew were flipping them for like profit for themselves so i was like fuck it go for it you know i don't care so i had a couple friends come back and take the rest of what i had left 
Um, and after that, I had a few more things I was still waiting on. Uh, I had a little bit of Molly coming in, and I had something else. I'm pretty stoned, so I, <laughs> I don't exactly honestly remember. But I had something else coming. But the Molly, I know I was really, really waiting on. And I got a letter from the post office uh, telling me that Wait, I needed... Your P.O. Box was at the post office? Yeah. That's what a P.O. Box is, bro. They're at the post office bro, most no. of the time. I've never had a P.O. Box at the post office. I used to have a regular post P.O. Box place. Oh, really? I've never gotten a P.O. Box at a post office. Ever. All the ones in my area are just at post Probably office. Probably a smaller town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Whoa, you are a ballsy motherfucker. Yeah, I, I just didn't give building. a shit. But those two pounds came in big coffee bags. They got shipped like that. Just these big, giant coffee ground bags. And in the bottom was just a bunch of shake. And they got put in a P.O. Box at the post office waiting for me in that condition. I couldn't believe I actually got them. But then I got told that I had to come in and sign for my next package. And I was like, yeah, that's how they get you. Fuck this. I'm done. You know? Yeah. They told me I had to sign for the like one that they had. And I have to sign for all future packages. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck this, I'm done. You know? Like, I'm not, like, fuck this P.O. Box. Was under your name? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I was pretty dumb. I was pretty Whoa. dumb when I was young. But I, I never, nothing ever really happened. It's because they fucking pocketed all that shit they found. And just yeah, oh, for they, sure. yeah, they had a good fucking time at that shit, Hell I bet, yeah, dude. They, did. <laughs> they had a good fucking time at that all shit. All day. So, that's how you get your P.O. Box shut down. You're ballsy motherfucker, man. Yeah, I... Looking back on it, probably one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever done in my life. Yeah, at least like, you know. At least that's the dumbest. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. One of them. One. <laughs> All right. So I I have, I have a list. Where, where are we at right now? 150. Oh, nice. shit. Two hours in? We're doing good. All right, real quick, We're real going quick. pretty hard. I have not eaten food today. I'm going to eat an edible, which is probably the dumbest thing nice. I can do. Nice. Nice. Do you want a shark? Hell yeah. All right, red or, red or blue? Ooh. Wait, you haven't got your package yet, huh? No. I haven't. Well, I, I've been away from home yeah, for you, like, yeah, so, so I... You haven't, even, you haven't even tried them. Goblin's doing a fucking uh, review on our shit. Nice. Now, I'm going to lay it out now. I'm going to be brutally honest in my review. That's fine. I'm going to be straight up. That's fine. I know you expect that of me, but... I wouldn't of course. expect anything. I just want to let the people know, you know? I just want to let the people I'm know. I'm biased. But I'm, I'm hyped for this. You've been talking about this to me for a while. Yes. Red or blue? Blue looks fire. I like I like the color blue. I don't know, man. I'm just... Uh, I was going to eat these anyway today during the show. And then oh, I realized, wow. like, yo, I should have just ate food before we started. <coughs> I got a salad sitting in the warehouse. Uh -huh. Oh, I got to really dig in here and grab it. <coughs> there we oh. go. Thank you. you oh, wow, are. that really is a shark. It's a shark. It's a fat fucking shark, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm fucking starving, though. Drinking beer, being hungry, yeah. totally reminds me of bonfires. Yeah. <laughs> These I know. taste fire. I know. <laughs> they don't even taste like an, like an edible. I know. I said they tasted like a. Remember slush puppies, the slushy with the dog on the side. Uh -huh. Tasted the blue. I one. love those. Mm -hmm. I fucking love those. It's different from a slurpee. Slurpees are bomb. Yeah, slush that actually shit. doesn't taste like an edible. I know. Like, it's scary. Yeah, that's just like some shit you just eat. I know. Like, yeah. It's like the blue. My favorite candies are the blue gummy sharks, dude. So yo, we gotta do blue gummy sharks. Wow. Yep. Wow. I eat some of those every fucking night when I'm feeding for candy and then I wake up in the middle of the night. Nice. Yep. Here we go. Are you ready? I am. <laughs> I love... <laughs> All right, it just says, girl had a breakdown. <laughs> girl had a breakdown. And you know what's funnier? I wrote it. Now I'm over here to laugh. Oh, it's funny. I wrote it dumb like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that little prompt. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just didn't want to give so, away too much. I've talked about this one on my channel. This is probably one of the most wild days of my life because it shit went south so quickly. I was with one of my really good friends named Kyle, right? And uh, he's been in plenty of my streams and stuff. 
um, you know, plenty of my videos. So people know him, so I can say his real name and all that. But um, I was with him, and we got invited to go to this girl's house, who I'm not going to name her and everything. But we got invited to go to her house. And she initially just said, like, oh, yeah, let's smoke some weed. And I had a little bit to match, so I was down, right? I think I had a little bit. Honestly, I don't remember. But she had weed. I remember that part. I had Coke, though. This was at the point where I was, like, peak Coke consumption. So I went over there. And my buddy Kyle and I were both pretty coked out. And she was like, she was acting way different than normal. I had met her through. A lot or no? Not really, but I'd been around her a bit because her boyfriend (coughs) sold me weed pretty often. So that's how I met her. That's how, like, I'd be around her. She invited me there and was like, oh, yeah, like, you know, come through. Let's smoke some weed. I didn't realize that she was, like, kind of having an episode, you know. Um, at least I believe so. A mental episode. Yeah, mental episode. And we got there, and she was just, like, going off about how, like, like men are, like, after her and shit and a bunch of crazy shit. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, whoa, we're men, you know? And I'm, I'm You invited us. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, bro, what, like, what should we even do right now, you know? But I just thought maybe, like, I, I asked her, I was like, did something happen, you know? And, like, she just wasn't making any fucking sense. You went over was, there, like, she was like that already? Yeah, so he smoked a little bit of weed, <coughs> and I asked, I offered, because Kyle and I did a little bit of coke, and I offered her some, I was like, hey, like, do you want some, you know, like, I mean, fuck it, maybe she wants to gum a little bit, I'm gonna be polite at least, like, whatever, um, and she, like, got fairly offended by that for some reason, even though I knew she did coke, and was like, it, it wasn't like I was trying to tell her, like, here, I was like, would you like some, you know, um, just offering, so... She, she kind of, like, got a little snappy with me, and I was like, okay, whatever. And eventually, I put my Coke down, and I had, like, changed the spot that I was sitting in, right? I, I had gone to cash the bowl out, and I had, like, gone and sat in a different spot when I came back, right? So when I came back, my Coke was, like, gone. I couldn't find it. I had put it down, but I couldn't find it. And Kyle and I were looking for it. We checked our pockets, checked my bag, looked around the garage, And I asked her if she could help me look for it. And I need to hit this joint more. It keeps going out. It's all good. But I asked her, I was like, yo, could you help me look for it? She like just snapped. Like she flipped the fuck out. She was like, are you accusing me of like stealing it? And she like flipped the fuck out. She's like, you're like, all men are fucking terrible. Like, why would you accuse me of that shit? I would never do that. I'm like, bro. She was waiting for you to do something. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, what is going on? And I was like, yo, I just want you to, like, help me look for it. I don't know where the fuck it is. And I was like, I don't think you took it. Like, you didn't even want to do something I offered. I don't think you fucking took it. She did, but we'll, we'll get to that. She she, yeah, she did, but we'll, we'll fucking was get a, to that. There was a, so, the Seinfeld episode with the raisins, when the fake Kramer applies, and he takes the raisins. Yeah, she so pulled she Kramer. flipped the fuck out, and we were like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> And I, I went and kept looking for my blow, and she was just yelling at us. And Kyle started to get, like, irritated. He was like, you got to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, you can, like, why'd you invite us here if you hate, like, we're men, you know? Because she just kept saying this crazy shit. <coughs> I don't know what the hell happened, but I was, like, not really about to ask. This is, know? like, uh, what, like a 16-year-old girl? Sorry. What was that? She's, like, 16. <laughs> yeah, she was, like, our age at this point. We were all teenagers at this point, like, 16, 17. So... Apparently, I think she had just broken up with her boyfriend and she was just having an episode or something. <laughs> but um, as I, like, came back, she just, like, started an argument with me. And I was like, you know, like, I don't think you took it, but the way you're acting is making me, like, think you fucking took it. You uh-huh. know, like, why are you acting like this? Like, if you didn't do anything, you would just fucking help me find it. Yeah. You know? Uh, and she got really mad at that and, like, literally, like, screamed, like, roared. Like, let out, like, a... Just like a fucking screech. Jesus. And she came at me with like a like a toothbrush. And my friend Kyle with a toothbrush? Yeah, like the end of a toothbrush, bro. But not was the sharpened? No. It was okay. just a, it's a regular toothbrush, toothbrush. bro. It was she just had it a in her hand? Tooth- Yeah, I don't know where the fuck she got oh. it. I don't know. Her. But she had a toothbrush. <sighs> so she came at me, my friend Kyle grabbed me and he kinda clutched up. He like moved me out of the way. He actually he was really, really situationally aware there, right? Like, he really clutched up. Yeah. So 
It kind of moved me out of the way a little bit. She went to stab you with it? Yeah, and like smacked it out of her hand, you know? And she was like screaming. She's like, get out. So we opened the garage door, right? Because you can kind of like pull it, you know? Uh -huh. You can pull it or press the button. So we opened the garage door and leave. And she slams it shut, but she's screaming so loud we can still hear her from the end of the driveway. And I'm running my pockets and I realize I don't have my car keys. So I'm like, oh my fucking God, bro. Like, what are we gonna do? I'm looking through my bag, don't have my car keys. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? So her dad ends up like coming outside and we're standing at the end of this driveway and he's like, hey, what's going on? And I kind of explained, I'm like, yeah, listen, she invited us over here, she's being fucking wild right now like we are just trying to leave but i don't know where my keys are you know and like he was like oh like what what did you guys do and like i was like we just smoked some weed like you know that's it he was pretty cool about it honestly he helped me find my keys actually in but, the garage yeah he actually was he was understood he was like screaming? he said to me he was like oh she gets like this sometimes and i was like oh what the fuck bro like that's like i don't yeah i was like bro i don't want to be like here you know like i just want to leave but my i don't have my keys you know so he ends up finding my keys for me i don't know where the fuck they were bro but he found them somehow um i i don't know what happened to him why they were away maybe they fell out of my pocket i don't fucking know but he found them and we fucking ended up leaving like an hour and a half later. And it was just the craziest thing ever. You waited outside for an hour and a half? Wait. No, no. It took like an hour and a half for us to like him to both calm her down and find the keys for us. Because we were looking. You but were he, standing outside the whole time? Yes. We were just standing. And he was like in there trying to calm her down and look for our keys. And he couldn't do it. So we were just standing there forever. We were like, we couldn't do it, dude. Like we were like, yo, this is fucked. Like. She's freaking the fuck out. She's screaming like the neighbors are going to wake up at this point. The sun is coming up, you know? At this point, we went over there when the sun was down. It was like 3.30 a.m. It was now like sunny time. Like It was like 5.30, you know? It was like 6. So the sun's coming up. So we're like, this is fucked, you know? We got to go. And yeah, we, we ended up getting our keys a while later from her dad, luckily. And we dipped the fuck out of there after that. Fuck. Yeah. It, it was crazy, dude. It was, I don't know, like, that was, she was really, like, coming at me, dude. Like, she tried to hit me with the toothbrush, and then she tried to, like, hit me and shit. And she, like, she you got find me out like, she was just weird? I never talked to her again. I just, like, blocked her on Snapchat. I was like, okay, I don't really. I'm over it. Yeah, I was like, I'm, you know, I'm just not going to deal with this again. You know, like, whatever. When her boyfriend sold weed, did you ever buy weed from him again? Yeah, yeah, I actually did. I talked to him, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? He was like, yo, like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. He actually, I think they broke up for a while. I don't know about now, but I haven't talked to the kid in years. But uh, they broke up for a while last time I talked to him. I would have to ask. Sorry, sorry. Last question on that. Was her freak out just to steal your coke? I don't know because he told me she had the blow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, did she do that just to get you the fuck out? Doubt it. She could have just did lines with you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was for because I didn't, like, expect her to be that kind of person or anything. Yeah. But. How weird. Of course, Very she stole weird. that shit. Yeah, I Your mean, boyfriend told you that he stole. She stole yeah, him. yeah. He told him. She psycho. told him. Yeah. She's crazy <sighs> as hell. Yeah, she's crazy. Yeah. She didn't do it to be sneaky. She did it just because her brain says, "Grab it." Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now, what the fuck? Out. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's some. That's some next level. I'll murder this motherfucker. To get him yeah. Out. And then Stab shank him with a toothbrush. Stab him with a toothbrush. Find the nearest object. Would she have connected propel. with the brush? <laughs> if he didn't like. Yes. Yes. She would have connected there with that brush. Damn. That would have went into your body. Yeah. That would have been fucked. That would have hurt. Yeah. That would have been really brutal. Man, that's some. That's some psychotic shit. Well, I love yeah. that story from. Girl had a breakdown. That's a true breakdown. Yeah, yeah, complete break. The fact that her dad was like, "Wait, wait, wait. It was two boys." No, her dad was so cool. Basement at three thirty. That's not the first thing he asked. The first thing was, hey, "What's going on?" Man? Yeah, he was Why like, "Why is she screaming?" Yeah, he checked on you guys first. Yeah, he came out to. Well, I don't know if he she checked on her because we. Fuck. She closed the garage and then he. You know, so I don't gotcha, know if he checked gotcha. on her or us. I'm not sure, but he came out to us pretty quickly after we realized we didn't have our keys. Um, because we were in our, our, you know, the driveway for a few minutes just fumbling for our keys in our pockets and shit and looking around on the ground and all that. Um, Seinfeld. Yeah, and he came out, and he was he was really cool about it. He was like, I understand. 
it happens. And I'm she like, gets oh, like this. Yeah. Every time we do coke together, she throws a she fucking She didn't even fan. touch the coke. She did none of it until she, she stole, stole it. it. I don't know. She did go inside at one point, so maybe that's when she stashed it. But I, I, I That has to be. That has to be. Yeah. I think about it. 100%. No, that has to be. But. Well... You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what a dickhead chick to just invite two dudes over to steal their yeah. drugs. Yeah, and they kick them out. I, I mean, she was, to be fair, having a real mental episode. She you probably know? was. She, no, we she never, absolutely was because she actually, um, from what I heard, ended up in a like a, a treatment facility oh, this, because this of this. Really incident. was a mental thing. Yeah, no, oh, no, this really was. You so throw it. I actually don't really know what the fuck happened, but nice catch. Oh, this is a white. Wow. Girl? What Stockton Malone over here. Yeah. That's fantastic. Stockton Malone over here. Get out of here. Um, I love it. So she really did have a mental episode. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I was talking shit. I just thought she was So, rich. yeah, I don't really know what... She could have... Inten- I mean, she did take it. She did steal it. Let's be clear on that. Wow, I don't have any... I, I don't stayed know how to away from crazy her. motherfuckers when I was a kid. Yeah. Wow, I don't have any stories of, like, about... I would have just left immediately. I think is why I'm like, oh, I'm fucking out of here. What did yeah. she say? What did she say? Oh, she's weird. I'm out. Yeah, I feel that. I don't have any stories. Like I'm just thinking, like, have I ever been in a situation like? I don't think I have. I mean, you hung around the right people. I did. I was I, I was didn't. much more lenient when I was younger about who I'll hang around. Now no, I hung out with delinquents. I kick it with like the same people. I try to keep my yeah. my circle of friends as small as I can. You know. Yeah. I don't like you know I don't go out of my way to meet a bunch of new people because I feel like yeah. I know enough people. You know, like yeah. I'm not going out places like I don't do that shit anymore. Yeah, that much. I don't ever. But you live far away from where you grew up from. Yeah, that, that, that's probably people, a big right? factor in it too. Like, yeah, I live nowhere near where I grew up. And not having a license really cuts me off from that area too, you know. Ugh. Now that I'm about to lose my L's. So, what's keeping you there? Like, couldn't you? I mean, like, it, honestly, it's cheap, mm-hmm. and I have good internet. <laughs> Get <laughs> out of here! Uh, you guys got legal weed now. I guess if you're comfortable, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm chilling. I mean, fuck yeah, it. it. I don't really <laughs> give a shit. I, I do. I work from home. You it's know, true. Mm, it's true. Like, yeah, that's a fair fucking point. So you're not you're not wrong. I mean, if I can save some money while I'm young, hell yeah. But I do want to move. Uh, I am planning on moving out fairly soon. Yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna move to Chicago. Bigger spot, man. Yeah, yeah. More opportunities, I feel, especially if it's a hundred percent. I mean, I just feel like it's it's a really nice city because people are leaving, so rent prices aren't going up like that. But I still love the city. I don't give a shit if people are leaving. You know, so. Yeah. People are leaving because it's known as being so fucking violent. Is that what you're saying? I mean, crime is getting pretty bad, but I feel like that's fucking everywhere right now. You know, that's not a, a you know Chicago exclusive thing. You're like, you know, I've heard LA's been getting fairly bad. You know, it's always shitty. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it, have it, you lived in Chicago before? In the city when I was very young, like a baby, mm-hmm. not. I've never really experienced living in the city city. I always lived outside in the suburbs, you know, somewhere around. Um, You'll be getting into all kinds of shit. Like, that's a whole different direction. Yeah, for the yeah, channel exactly. A hundred percent. I mean, the extent of my time in the city was just... One time I lived in my car in the city. Cause, uh, in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. So I had a friend who was really wealthy. And his family had a boat at this fucking harbor. And we couldn't get on the boat, but he let us park at the parking lot. And it was gated and shit. And we could park there for free. So we just take his pass and go sleep in the car there. Me and my friend Bob. Um, because I got kicked out of my house. And my friend Bob just, like, wanted to get drunk all the time. So he was like, hell yeah, bro. I'll sleep in shoddy. You know? So sleep like, shoddy. <laughs> so Damn, this fool's so we, got nothing to do no, with we fucking, You're homeless? I'll be homeless with you, man. Yeah, no, no, literally, that's how it went. He was like, "Yeah, I'll be homeless with you." So, like, is that a good friend or a bad friend? He was—he's a great friend of okay, mine. Actually. Okay, okay, he's a great friend like, of mine. Yo, I got the friend that will do just sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we want him around. Those are some cool guys, though. Those, I'm saying, is people... he cool? Like, that's oh what I'm yeah, like, yeah, great yeah. friend of mine. But um, <laughs> no, he—he was just down to be homeless with me, and I was like, "Fuck, that's man, insane." Man. How old were you? We were like 16. We just turned 16. Oh, he was 16 also? Yeah. Yeah, oh, we were the same age. Oh, shit. Okay. And um, it was summer. We were Bob out of school. Bob is not selling a teenager's name, bro. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever met a teenager named Bob, but I've met a lot of <laughs> adults named Bob, and I don't think they were ever teenagers before. Well, this is the first one you've this met. This is the first one. But um, either way, he um, when I met him, he was just kind of down to do whatever the fuck, you know? So we uh, we lived in my car for a little bit at this, this harbor, and we'd go to McDonald's and, like, just grab some food and live off that shit, you know? Because yep. we didn't have much money to spend. Like, you know, we'd have a budget of, like, $30, but... Back in the day, they used to make money by cleaning people's boats. I did this, like, a couple times with them, but they'd go to the harbor and find those rich motherfuckers at the boats. And since we had a pass, we could get in and, like, go up to the, you know, all, yeah. this, all the spots and stuff. So we'd, like, wax people's boats and shit. Not we. Like, I wasn't... I was only there once or twice for it, but they'd go wax people's boats, and that's how they made money for, like, weed and shit back then. And these motherfuckers would tip, like, a $100 bill for every person there. So, like, because they're so rich, dude. Yeah. They're sitting on a fucking yacht. They don't give a shit, dude. Yeah. Like, they have fuck you money, you know? If, if you have money to park a boat at a yacht in a major, or park a park a boat at a, a harbor uh, in a major city, like, you have fuck you money, I feel like, you know? That's expensive. Yeah. That's so much money. Um, So they just make money like that, and that's how Bob had some of the money he had on him, and we were just smoking off that shit. But... I mean, we kind of lived uh, pretty nicely because there's this hot dog place kind of close by, <laughs> which is so fire. No, I shit you not, bro. How long did this go on for? Uh, so he lived in my car for like a couple nights, like two, three days. Um, I lived in my car for like about a week because at this point I was already kicked out of my mom's house. So I was living with my dad. Dad was an asshole, so I didn't want to be there. So I was like, you know what? The whip is fine. So that's what I did. Regretted it pretty quickly, but it was fun. This is the same car that flooded water? No, no, no. Okay. I bought that much more recently, actually. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I bought that uh, right before I got my... So a little over two years ago, about two and a half years ago, I got that car. It was only $3,000, which explains it. I mean, nowadays, I probably could have sold that for more with the current car market, honestly. Yeah, you probably could have. Current market's fucked, dude. I just bought a Kia, right? Um, I was telling you about this earlier. It's got 130,000 miles on it. Guess how much I paid? 2012. Oh. It's got options. It's got remote start, all type of shit. But $7,000. Way. Way higher? Way up. 120,000 miles. Oh, a 2013? 2012. 2012, uh, you paid 14. 13. Yeah, I would say. It was like 13, three. Damn, that's yeah. too expensive. Yeah, that's fucked, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not the kind of person who... 13. If I buy a flashy car, I feel like it's got to be something really high end. That you, you know? want. Yeah, and like, I don't want to spend that much on a car at this point, you know? I just want to whip something that's average and will get me point A to point B. Key is that motherfucker, you know? Key is Kia's that dude. Dope as fuck. Key is that dude. Mm -hmm. It's great, dude. It's comfy. New Key Optimus are dope. Dude, I used I'm to have one of those. I fucking loved it. Honestly, I, I love this car. The more I drive it, I'm like, damn, this thing's fire, dude. 2012 Kia Sportage. Great pickup. That's literally my sister's car. 2012 Kia Sportage. She's, she's got the new version of it. Dude, they're fire as fuck. <laughs> they're honestly decent, dude. My seats are coming. I already uh, ruined one of the seats, though. I ashed on it, and the cherry just completely mm. torched uh, it. Yeah. It's all right. It's really not though, man. It's, <laughs> right. it. it's, it's like not. One time, All this, right. one time this Mexican gangbanger, old Mick, is bad. It looks like a gangbanger dropped an entire QP cherry on my seat in my brand new car. Oh, his name is OG, cherry. and he said he was going to fix my seat <laughs> four years ago, and he still hasn't fixed it. I sold the car mm. before With because that. he works at Honda, bro. I got you four years, fool. <laughs> now I got. I sold it to my dad for my little sister. We just put seat car seat covers on it. I'm surprised yeah. OG didn't Fucking take care OG. of that for you. That's petty. No, it's, it was it was Years it was ago? his fault completely. <laughs> How long? It's ago actually was on this? camera. It's on camera. It's about really? three or four years ago. Yeah, it's called uh, three ounce hot air pump hot box. Oh, you made a video of this. Yeah, we we uh, attached a bed pump. Okay. We were at the house and we were smoking weed. I go, yo, dude, I, I fucking bet done. you you could fucking put weed on top. This is like four or five years ago, and it would blow weed out, right? Because I used to have this little machine I bought at the smoke shop. Dude, I, I did that it. on a stream one time. 
It worked. Yes. It worked good. We did it with like tin foil. We poked. That's holes exactly in it. what yes. I did. Yes. 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 It yes. worked so good. It works great. What I did is I rolled a heat, or I had OG roll like a three ounce. I rolled it a three ounce joint, and we attached it to it. Okay. Right over the hole, so when you light it, and the machine would just. That's fire. But what happened is OG couldn't see because you couldn't see in the car anymore in daylight. I couldn't even see. <laughs> couldn't breathe. And he just, oh, got out and dropped the whole chair, bam, right on my seat. And I didn't notice for like 15 seconds because you can't see. Dude, I've been in a hot box. I had everyone had died to take my damn shirt off, bro. I couldn't do it. That's too much. There's a lot of those hot boxes, man. We only last like three minutes. Yeah, I'm, dude. There was one where I rolled this blunt with my friend in high school. We called it the assault rifle. We put, I, I don't remember if it was five or six swishers, like back to back mega extendo, right? It was like probably damn near. Six this wishes long. is right here. Yeah. yeah, Probably right here. But you get um, like four or five. But we smoked it in my car because you couldn't smoke it in his house. My car was a two-seater. It was a two-door. Um, so we le- I leaned the seat all the way back. And my first hit, my nose started bleeding. So <laughs> oh. I've been shotgun ripping pages out of my owner's manual, putting them in my nose. Oh. To stop <laughs> yeah, because like, I, I don't have any tissue. I'm like, you fuck, might be the man. first person that's we, ever said that. We didn't have any money. So I was like, man, we can't get no tissue. Yeah. Like. No. I got a fucking, you know, like, I'm not going to put toilet paper from the gas station up there. I'll use the owner's manual, you know, like, fuck it. So I ripped out a good, like, 10 pages out of that bitch. Um, did what I had to do. And we smoked this blunt for probably a total of, like, two and a half hours of just straight smoking. And we drove around picking up different friends of mine and letting them hit it and, like, dropping them off and shit. It was, we were like a traveling blunt, but we tried to keep the, the windows up as long as we could, but we like couldn't do it while we were driving because we were driving on main ass roads and yeah. shit. Oh my we could like, God. Yeah, we could like barely, we were like, fuck this, dude. Like we got to stick to the neighborhoods, you know, like, we're, like <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this, truth. this isn't going to work. And I let my friend drive my car because oh I was like, God. I don't know. I didn't feel like driving. You know, I was like, you can, you can whip <laughs> this bitch, you know, like go for it. He actually broke out my taillight one time. That was bad. Doing backing up? Yeah, we were backing out of a driveway because, um, all right, kind of a terrible thing to do, but I don't admit to being a good person in high school. Um, we used to steal packages, but uh, porch pirates. Yeah, but we would. All right, so there was one time we accidentally stole like some kid's birthday shit and we put it back. We were like, okay, that's fucked up. But um, well, you opened it and saw it was birthday stuff. Yeah, we were like, yo, we gotta go put this back. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have gone back. Yeah. Like we just threw it some child's life, you know? Sure. So like we went and like threw it back. But um we used to fucking go hit porches and one time he pulled to this really nice house that had this stone mailbox. Like it was like encased in wow. stone at the end of the, yeah, beautiful. And they had a they had a package and I got out of the car and I ran up and grabbed it. Um and we were leaving and he backs into their stone mailbox frame and breaks my tail light. And he's like, shit, he's like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, bro, just leave. Like, now we have to leave. Like, like. <coughs> the mailbox was fine. Huh? Yeah, you can't. Yo, mailbox? A-okay. Like, it never happened. They probably didn't know. Uh, this is before ring cameras were in everyone's fucking door, you know? So we thought that, you know, we, we had just maybe gotten a little scratch on the bumper. So we drove out of the neighborhood, and we stopped in this parking lot, and we get out of the car, and I, I noticed that my whole taillight is just smashed out. Like, the glass is gone almost. Like, there's you could just see the exposed bulb. The bulb wasn't broken, luckily, but, like, the, the outer casing thing was fucked. And there was also a huge dent on my bumper. So I was like, yo, this is karma. This is terrible. Like, wow, karma really hit me right there. Instantly. Yeah. Yeah, I will say I never got anything good except for one time out of, out of taking packages. I got a, a Samsung Gear, like the VR headset. They sell for like 100 bucks, and I took it to my plug, and he gave me weed for it. That was the best thing? Yeah. it's Not everyone orders like some crazy some boozy cool shit. shit. You know, everyone just orders dumb shit <laughs> yeah, sometimes. That's what I would you know? think. Like, yeah, you're, you're not going to get something you can really get money for like that. Like we were... We were under 18, too, so our limitations were, what's our plug going to give us weed for? Yeah. You know? So it's like, can we get a goddamn video game or something? Like, yeah. can, we get a, can we get a PlayStation? You know? Never happened. But we, there was one time we got, like, some pictures, like, some paintings. But they were, like, you know, copies not real, like, literally on, like, paper. Just, like, regular-ass paper. Those were, those were shitty. Never got anything good. 
Damn. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Now you I know. know. I know. We were terrible. I, I feel awful about it now. I only did it like to do drugs. Yeah. I mean, I, I was it. fiending, dude. I, I was like, it. I was like, fuck, I got to get some money, you know? Totally I was an, I, I didn't give a shit how I did it at that time, you know. And I feel like that's how a lot of people are with drugs. Like when you're really into it, you don't give yeah, a shit how you, you don't get give the money a for fuck it. Fuck when you're on drugs and no. the drugs are gone. You don't give a shit how you get the money for it. Nope. It's sad. It's wild. Um I don't know how we got into that whole story. I don't know either. But I have another uh one written down. Okay. Damn, we're we're getting into it. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It just says K-hole at girl's house. So there's this one time. A lot of these stories involve the same buddy of mine. It's really funny, actually. Um, my friend asked him. We went to this girl's house. Who? Um, so <laughs> we had a nickname for her. For her? We called her Zanielle because nice. she did a lot of Zans. So uh, <laughs> we went to her house, and we had ketamine, and she invited a few of her friends over, and Ashton was like... You know, kind of into one of them. He's like, oh, you know, that girl's pretty cute. Like, you know, let's give him some ketamine. And I'm like, do they, you know, like, sure, I'm down. I'll do some K too, you know, like, let's do some K. So he asked him, he's like, yo, do you guys want to do some K? Uh, I feel like the way I said that sounded kind of wrong, actually. He he offered, <laughs> he <laughs> said, really let's like, offer them some K. <laughs> it wasn't all like, I didn't get nothing no, it, from it, it wasn't no. like, okay. Um, he said like a villain. some shit yeah. in their drinks. <laughs> you know, he was like, let's, you know, let's do some K with him, maybe. You know, so he offers them some K and they all oblige. And we come to find out that none of them have ever done it before. <laughs> mm. And Ashton's definition of a line of K is so different from mine, right? Uh, or like, a, not a line, but a fair amount for like a starter. For me, I always say like the very end of a credit card, you, you put it in the bag and you scoop maybe the corner out and that's your bump, just a little pinch. This guy thinks a line is a first timer dose. Mm. A line of ketamine is enough to knock you the fuck out if you've never done it. Like... That's a shitload. You have to have an extreme tolerance for that. But at the time, I was doing lines. I didn't really pay attention to it. I still figured, like, oh, maybe he'd tell them, you know, to do half or some shit. But they just got right into it. And my friend Zanielle, uh, she did a fair amount and got super K-hole, and so did her, front, her so, friends. So K-hole means you just can't think or move? So K-hole is... Oh, some people like getting K hold, and I couldn't imagine that. But it's one person you lose like almost total control of you know what you're doing, and speaking is really difficult when you're K hold. It's kind of weird. Like you you try to talk, but you don't know what words are coming out of your mouth. It's really strange. It's really strange. Are you like in slow motion? Somewhat, yeah, yeah. You could say that. I would say slow motion is actually a pretty fair description, but it's slow motion and. You can't really feel or control many of your movements Oof. or what you're saying. And it can get almost frustrating, in my opinion, because you, you're trying to communicate, but you feel like you can't. So it's like sleep paralysis. Yeah. I mean, ketamine is literally a tranquilizer, right? Vets use it. The shit so. from fucking old school where you shoot this fucking darkness. <laughs> you're cool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ketamine is, is fucked, but... She did like a whole line of this shit along with all of her friends, and they got so fucking k hold. They were like, they had to sit at the table, and we were like, yo, we gotta like fucking take care of them, dude. Like, this is fun. So they're just zonked out, drooling they're zonked on themselves. Out. Just we had a much higher tolerance because we would do this shit at school together. We go, we had the same lunch period. So we go in oh the uh, stalls that were next to each other and pass K under the stall together and like do it. He'd bring a baggie and like pass me a debit card and I'd do a line and then pass him some money back under. Nice. Uh, and that's how we do it, you know? And I do a lot of lines at lunch. So our tolerance was way higher where even I didn't think a gram was too much, you know, or not a gram, but a line. I was like, I didn't even think that was too much. I thought that was okay. So when I saw them super fucked up on it, I was like, yo, I like, we got to stay here for a little bit, you know? And he was like, yeah, for sure. So we were kind of chilling there for a little bit, hanging out. And 
one of the one of the girls just like sleeping on the couch, not sleeping, but like laying on the couch, like knocked the fuck out, like super slump. Uh, the other girl was like sitting at the the dining room table, and then Zanielle was chilling in the kitchen with us. You know, she was she was hanging out with us, but still so fucked up. She was making no sense. Oh, I never seen that before. I had another friend there who. I was talking to him, and I was even borderline k hold because this shit was so fire. It was so pure. I remember looking at him, and he looked like he was almost nine feet tall. And I looked at him, and I, I remember I kept asking him if he was good to drive. I was like, are you good to drive, bro? And he was like, are you, dude? Because I drove him there. <laughs> and he, I was like, are you fucking good to drive? And he was like, I'll drive your car, you know? Like, like I'll, I'll whip home. Because he rode, like, it was really funny, actually. He had this little, like, tricycle. That he would like ride places. It was like a bike, but it had three wheels, and it was kind of actually just literally a tricycle. Like it wasn't a cool three wheel bike. A giant tricycle. <laughs> it was not. Yeah, no, it was just a big ass tricycle. Did he sit up and he like a bike, or did he sit down? Like no, a he sat tricycle? up, bro. Okay, okay. Up. And this thing, it was so funny watching ride around on this. But it was it was small enough to fit in my trunk because I, I at this point I drove a Honda CRV to the function. Uh, it was my mom's car. I fucked it up. I feel bad. I'm sorry to my mother, but um. <laughs> I did hella damage. I let my friend drive it. He backed into an S class. It was bad. Ugh. Yeah. Wait, same night? No, not the same night. But we, that was a hit in Rome. He just left. Oh. Oh. The S class, too. Oh, that I feel terrible pissed. about that. But I wasn't driving, and I was like, bro, I'm not doing Like, that's a fucking $100,000 car, probably. Like, I'm not doing Over. this, you know? Yeah. But um, they were all K-holding fucked up. And I was so fucked up that one of my friends who had gotten there... He offered to drive my car back. So I was like, are you good to drive? I like, kept asking him. I did a little more K with Ashton. Um, I did another like. So is he fine? Ashton? Or is he fucked His up? His tolerance is higher than he was there. He was totally fine. He was like probably the most collected out of most people there. Uh, but I did a little bit more. And Ashton did a little bit more. And he was, he was even fucked up. At this point, because he did more than me when we when we like read those did he I remember he chopped up quite a few lines and I only did like one of them one and a half more. Uh, but even then, that was enough to almost completely K hole me at that point. And when you do a lot, I feel like ketamine takes a little bit to set in because everything is slow mode. So no matter how quick it sets in, it feels like it's taking a while almost. And I remember my buddy Don, uh, the one who I kept asking if he was good to drive when he, I guess he was, he drove the car back. Um, was he doing it too with you guys? Yeah, he did a little bit, but he, had, he insisted he was good to drive and I trusted him. I was like, you know what? Drive my damn car. I can't drive. And it was snowing out and shit. It was like the worst driving conditions. Ever. Oh, bad. It was like snowing out. It was brutal, dude. Classic <laughs> Illinois weather. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we're like, we're, we leave this house eventually because uh, after a few hours, you can kind of come out of the K-hole uh, enough to be coherent. And obviously, the, those girls didn't drive there. I don't know how the fuck they got there. Um, her friends were there when we got there. I didn't ask questions about that. I was just like, all right, you people are standing. We're heading out of here, right? So they leave. I'm pretty sure one of them bought more ketamine from Ashton. Yeah. I don't know why he sold it to him, but that's not my business, you know? Uh but it happened, you know, I think one of them bought a little more because they liked it. And then we left, and I just remember getting back to my house and trying to get up my stairs. And at this point, I had, you know, when, when you're on K, it's almost like your thoughts don't connect with your actions. It's like you're thinking you want to do something, but your body isn't doing that. Like, you're like, Ooh. okay, I want to go up the stairs, but your legs aren't fucking going. Or you're like... Oh, I want to uh, get out of bed, but you're fucking stuck. Like, truly, truly stuck. You're glued to the bed. You you almost can't function normally. And when you try to speak, you're going to fuck it up pretty much every time. That's kind of how K is. And even I, with my tolerance at this point, was completely k hole. So I went into my room, and this is before, luckily, my mom got home from work. So I just, like, laid in my room and tried to go to sleep. And I was like, yeah... My mom doesn't come in and talk to me and hear my fucking absolutely k hold like, <laughs> like <laughs> demeanor <laughs> right now. Yeah, then I'm good. I'm a drug counselor. So I'm laying in yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, la I'm laying in my fucking room and I'm like, oh my fucking god, man, I can't let her come in. I turn my lights off trying to act like I'm asleep and shit, you know, uh, just doing whatever I can, and it actually worked. She didn't come in, so I was like. 
totally unable to sleep at first. And the girl, Zanielle, she called me on FaceTime and she was like, I can't see. Can you tell me if my room is clean? She can't see. Yeah, she was like so K'd up that she couldn't see, I guess. She like, I, th- I believe she could because she FaceTimed me somehow. But like she was so K'd up, her, her thoughts weren't connecting with what was happening. She convinced herself she couldn't fucking see at all. Which, I mean, to be fair, everything looks fucked up in your own case. So I believe it. I believe it. You you don't really process what you're seeing. Like, your brain doesn't look at something and say, that's clothes or that's dirty or clean. You don't, you know? Whoa. Your brain works super Sounds different. Fun yeah. Fuck, it, it is. It's fun in light doses because it's a different drug. It's almost like being uh, really, really crossfaded and, like, lit. Uh, it's got like a little bit of that serotonin, like that that Molly feeling, combined with being drunk and stoned at the same time. In small doses, it's fun, but in high doses, it's a completely different drug. And there's a very thin line that you cross to get to that like K hole phase. Ugh, it's it's kind of fucked. Ugh, so she can't see. Yeah, so she called and she was like, "I can't fucking see my room. Can you tell me if it's clean?" And she's pointing her camera like all around on the fucking walls on the ceiling and shit. And I'm like, yeah, looks reasonably clean in there, you know? Like, fuck yeah. Can I try one of those red ones? Yeah, fuck yeah. Bat. Bomb as fuck. Oh, God. Oh, I've got a... There we go. Did she see if her room was clean? It was clean. So I didn't know that. That was it? She fucking... No, so... She hung up. And I guess her parents came home, and there's still a few people over there who were, like, completely K-holed at her house. So her parents came home, and she's, like, freaking the fuck out. And she's, like, texting me about it and shit. And I'm, like, so K-holed that I can't type back. I'm, like, processing what's on my lock screen, but, like, I, I don't understand how to respond to it. My fucking mom comes home, like, in the middle of me laying on the bed. And... I was, like, so terrified she was going to come in. So I'm laying there, and it was the worst K experience ever because I'm sitting there, and I'm like, dude, if she comes in, I can't even say hello. Like, I'm brutalized. So I had to sit there, like, not making any noise for the longest time. And I'm like, dude, I just want to talk to some homies or something because, like, I was so K-hold, I was freaking out a little bit. I was, like, scared, man. I was scared, bro. I was sitting there and I was like, dude, I need to take my mind off this because I was, I'd never been that fucked up on K before. Like, it hit so slowly. Over time, I started to really get K hold and I was like, bro, this is fucked. Because at first it was so light and I was like, oh, whatever. But K is one of those things where it hits you slowly, you know? Whoa. Like, it just like smacks you. So, like, I can imagine that feeling and I fucking hate I it. I did like two and a half lines that day, which is so much ketamine. Like, that's enough to fucking knock your ass out. And I slept like a baby that night, you know? But it was brutal, dude. It sounds horrible. It was brutal, dude. It was. I, I ended up throwing up later into the night. But, like, I couldn't go to the bathroom because I didn't want to wake my mom up. So I had to, like, do it in a trash bin. And then later I snuck out onto my lawn. And I threw the trash bin into, like, my neighbor's garbage bin in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> my mom actually was like Where the fuck is the trash bin I was like I have no damn idea Like that's honestly crazy I was in the same show I threw in the name of trash Yeah I was of like course. That's honestly I have no clue But their kid fucking <laughs> He threw up I was like still a little Like I had recovered somewhat From the K-hole And I like woke up And I was like dude So I was like Yeah I can this fucking room You know And I was like Oh my god I puked in the garbage bin earlier You know So I like I grabbed it And I just snuck out of my house And fucking Threw it in the neighbor's garbage bin It was fucked Exactly what I would have done Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I, I I had to leave my room eventually, and then I I recouped. But yeah, bad night. I've never done it. It sounds kind of fun. It's small. I mean, it does sound kind of fun, know. but I don't. I don't think I'm good. I had too much shit to do to feel like that. Yeah, I ate mushrooms the other day. My whole day's over. You know, the more I think about it, that that little bike my friend rode over, it might have even been motorized because I remember you would talk about how you like would modify it. A motorized tricycle. I don't remember if it was motorized or not. I just know he rode that shit all the time, and he he kept insisting on how it was better than a skateboard. He would ride a skateboard sometimes too, but I I I just remember him riding this stupid fucking thing. I'd be like, bro, tell me. <laughs> you gotta try one of these fuckers. I'm fucking like, what is it? And he's like, dude, I, I kind of made it. <laughs> he's the inventor of one wheel. He yeah. just didn't let us know. 
Yo. Oh. So, I'm pretty high. I'm pretty baked, bro. I'm pretty damn high. Marty, what time are we at right now? 2.30. 2.30. Doing pretty good. We are. We're actually killing it right now. Yeah, we're doing pretty oh, good. Yeah. We're doing little... fantastic. You ready? I got two. I got two more things left. For okay. Out there, I got two things left. Two more this, things on this list. Actually, three. But okay. Two stories that I wanted to hear from. Wow. You, you ready? Wow. All it says. I'm just gonna say it. Undercover. I don't want to say too much. Oh about the list. man. So this is. Oh, this was a bad one, man. I got arrested on my birthday. Which uh, my 17th I believe yeah it was my 17th um, I had lost my phone in a forest preserve were you smoking uh, weed out there yeah I was walking with a couple friends uh, I was smoking weed uh, and I lost my phone like in the snow it was really bad but somehow it still worked I had a case on it so I guess maybe that's how but back when I was younger I was dumb and like I, I was talking to you about earlier I sold a little bit of weed here and there to like maintain my habit um, and I had sold, you know, enough to have people like text me, you know, fairly often asking if I had like any bud or like a cart or something. So when I lost my phone, I guess a forest like ranger found it or something. And I had text cause I didn't, I didn't have like the, you know, hide the preview setting you on. See what yeah. Texts. So you could see what someone texted me when I was younger and they saw that like, you know, I was fucking getting weed. I don't know how they did this, though. So I texted. Um, well, actually, I, I know how. I didn't have the previews on. Uh, but they texted me back. I texted my own number from my friend Kyle's phone. I was like, yeah, let me let me hit them up. So uh, I texted their number, and I was like, hey, does anyone have this phone? And it delivered. So I was like, oh, shit, bro. Like, someone's got to have this fucking thing. And I got a response from a different number that was like, hey, I have your phone. You know? And they, they said, like, some name, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, I found your phone, like, on the forest preserve. And I was like, oh, I was there. You know, like, that makes sense. That must be where I lost it. That's where I thought I lost it, because when I realized it was missing, I fucking went back and, like, looked for it that same day. Um, couldn't find it, though. They texted me. They were like, oh, like, uh, I found your phone. They were like, we can meet up, like, at the forest preserve or something, and... You Let's know. be back at the place. Yeah, so I was like... Federal okay. grounds. Well, I was like, okay, whatever. They just want to give me... I was like, whatever. At first, it was fine. They asked me, they're like, oh, by the way, I don't mean to be weird, but I saw a text about you selling weed. Uh, can I get some? And I was like, I, I don't know, man. And then a new friend. I was like, maybe, yeah. I mean, maybe, dude. I just want my phone back first. Then we can, you know, do whatever. But, like, I just that's the main thing I said. I was like, I just want my phone back first. But then it got really sketchy, and he asked for Coke. And I was like, no, I can't. Like, I can't really. That's when I kind of knew it was fucked. I was like, no, I can't do that. I can't do weed either. I just want my phone, actually. Uh, that's what I said. But at this point, I was still really dumb about it. Still didn't, like. How many days later did they hit you up? No, so. This you is, lost it? And when did they hit you up? Like, yo. Oh, oh, it was like probably a week. Oh, shit. Probably a week. Pretty pretty soon after. But um, this, this happened about a week later. And. They, uh, I, I was talking, I was like, no, I can't do that shit. I don't have any of that. I'm just going to meet up with you uh, and get my phone. So I got a ride because my friend Kyle didn't have a car. So I got picked up by these two other kids that I knew back in high school. Uh, and I didn't realize all the shit they had in their car. I knew they had a little bit of weed, but I didn't realize how, like, much other illegal, they had, like, open liquor and shit. I didn't realize they had all this in their car. And they dropped you there. Yeah, they drove me there. Uh, and I was like, yo, I don't even have anything on me. So what are they going to do, bro? You know, like, I don't even have anything. Like, I just need my fucking phone back because literally I don't have money for anyone. Like, I was going, I was literally using, like, a TextNow app on my computer at home to, like, hit people up. And I needed a cell phone. You know, like, I, I don't know. I was dumb. I was, I should have just waited to buy a new one. But I was desperate because, like, this shit belonged to my mom. So, like, I was like, bro, she's going to beat my fucking ass if I don't get this shit back. So I go there. And I'm like walking and this cop pulls in and they pull up and get stopped the car. And one of them walks up to me and he's like, hey, he at first he says some shit. He's like, hey, we're we're looking for a lost dog. And I, like he's trying to talk to me to like, I don't know, I guess like see what I'm there for. And I'm like, oh, I fucking saw it, dog. It was this way. I'm trying to like get him to go away so I can just fucking leave. I was like, bro, I'm going to like run at this point, you know, Um 
and he walks up to me and they go up to the car. I guess they watched us come in, right? Because I texted the number off another one of my friend's phones. I was like, yo, like, I'm coming in, right? They watched the car come in. So they came up to the car and they, like, stopped us. Like, I don't know what reason they gave to, like, look through the shit in the car. I don't remember what the fuck it was. But they searched the car and found, like, weed in there, alcohol, uh I guess, like, there was some speed trap set up, like, some little park ranger waiting for us, you know? And the person we were texting was obviously a same person because the cops did have my phone. Um, my mom had to, like, apply to get it back and still never got it back. Um, but I got, like, arrested on my... Not, like, fully arrested. Like, I didn't go to fucking jail and shit, you know? That's what they do. But um, they, they ticketed all of us. They, like... Since I was a minor, it was much different than if it would have happened, like, when I was adult. Uh, if I didn't have anyone to pick me up, they would have had to, like, actually arrest me. But when my mom picked me up, so they just gave me a bunch of tickets. But I didn't realize the shit my friends had in the car. I thought I was riding, like, clean, you know? I was like, bro, who cares? What can they even do, you know? Like, I just want to get my phone. But they searched the car... And they found all that shit. And then I never got my phone. And after that, it was like, I literally only, I I don't know exactly what I got because I never got my phone back. But I'd imagine I only got a few texts for weed because I wasn't selling any other shit at that point, you know? They were so, so bored. I, w- I imagine I only got maybe two or three texts for weed. I didn't even sell much. I would buy like a zip at a time, you know? I'd sell fucking eight. They did a sting operation. They for did a sting zip. op. They did a sting op for eight. They did a sting up for a, a zip. Teenagers and an ounce. Yes. They did a sting up for a zip, bro. Oh, they told me, up. bro, as soon when I was walking to the car, the most fucked up part, they like, so I had my friend's phone, right? They were like, yeah, like, you know, bring it with to like text them. And they said they were in a fucking black suburban. And I was like, oh, I'm going to prison. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> as federal soon as he, I was like, what car are you in? They, they said black suburban. I was like, oh, shit. God. And there was one parked there. One Like, they had a bunch of cops for some reason, bro. They thought I was like, like, I don't know who the hell they thought I was, bro. But they never gave my, they never gave my phone back. And, like, soon after this, um, a couple months later, cops came to my house And they were asking me about, like, someone I knew, right? One of my friends. And they were, like, my mom brought up the phone thing. And I was like, Mom, why did you even let him in the fucking house, you know? Like, why did you, like, let them in? She's like, ah, you know. My my mom used to, like, really do that shit. Like, she'd, like, if cops came, she'd always tell them everything and let them in. You know? She was like that. So I was like, I could never get away with shit if cops were involved, you know? Like, it was brutal. Like, my PO fucked, knew everything. Knew everything. So, um, like, after this happened, cops came to my house a few months later. My mom brought up the phone thing. And they were, like, asking me. Because, like, the person they were asking me about sold a lot of weed. Like, a shitload of weed. So, they asked me. They were like, oh, do you, like, sell drugs and stuff? And, like. That's what they asked you? Yeah. They admit to some crimes. They were in my dining room, bro. And I was like, no, dude. I actually did a live stream where I read a lot of my arrest reports. I, like, blurred them out. Because um, I submitted one of those, like information request you know uh for the county that i grew up in and they sent me originally i only requested my mugshot for my dui because i wanted to put it on my merch yeah they gave me every single piece of paper and mugshot and picture affiliated with any time i've ever encountered police even like police reports all that shit police like officers different perspectives and like notes on like the same event everything i have 85 pages from one county bomb yeah they gave you me find everything out? Um, so one of the things I found out from that is I found out that one of my friends told on me when I, I never uh, knew about it when I was younger. One, uh, so remember when I told you about that burglary thing earlier? So how we got caught on that? Did I talk about that? You got that in trouble all? off that? Yeah. Oh, wait, the, wait, wait, the garage wait. Oh, thing? Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about when your friend got robbed in no, the bathroom. No, no, the garage thing. The yes, garage thing. Yes, the, the garage thing with yeah. your, your license plate. So... When we got in trouble, originally I just thought like, oh, they they traced my plate, which they did. But the reason that they knew I was like for sure involved in what really happened is because after the cops came to my house, I called my friend, right? I One of my friends was in the car and I told him, hey, the cops came to my house, you know, like what should, what do you think we should do? We discussed it a little bit and he was like obviously nervous And he hung up on me, and he claimed what happened was his mom overheard our conversation on Skype, right? 
because uh, I called him on Skype. He claimed his mom overheard it, which he used speakers. I knew that. He didn't have a headset. So I, I kind of believed it. But what he claimed was his mom overheard it on Skype and called the cops. At the time, I'd been friends with this guy since kindergarten. Like, we were five years old. So I believed it. I was like, okay, that's my homie. So later, when I got this report, I found out that what really happened was he got nervous. Like, he got scared after hearing that. He was like, oh, I don't want to go to jail. And he told his parents, and they brought him to the police station. And that's that's why they were, like, on me. And they called my phone number. They gave them my phone number. So they called me, and they are like, yo, bring this shit. <laughs> like... That you stole, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Like, I, I, at first, I was like, "No shot, bro." Like, this has got to be some like gamer. Like, fuck this, you know? I was like, "What are you talking about?" Uh, and then finally, my friend called me, and he was like, "Hey, like, bring this shit," you know? Like, and it turned out when I read the arrest report, he like he got scared and told them everything. Like, he went to the police station and told them everything that happened. <sighs> So that's the only reason that any of us got caught. And that blew me because for the longest time, I just believed him. Looking back at it, I shouldn't have. It was stupid, his explanation. Yeah. It made no sense. But he was just my friend for so long that I felt like I had to believe him. How much longer it. until you found out that he was lying when you got the reports? Um, a good four or five years. <sighs> you used to hang out with him when you do that? Sometimes, yeah. No, I, I, I honestly, it's been so long, I'm not that mad about it because I was so young. It was actually my first ever criminal offense. So I got off really easy. I got like some court supervision shit and some community service. That's it. Um, I did what, 14, 15? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like 16 just freshly turned i'm pretty sure but um yeah no i got off pretty easy on that so when i found out about that i wasn't as mad because it had been a long time but i was still pretty pissed and i did bring it up to him you did yeah oh shit yeah what i brought saying? it up yeah uh, we were we were actually playing the game tonight and I, was like, down and I was like talked. so you, i heard you told on me i was like so i found out you told on me and he's like what are you talking about you know and i was like dude i got our arrest reports for a video um and I found out that she told on me. And at first he kind of denied it. And he was like, yeah, like, we were young, dude. I'm sorry. You know, like, all that kind of shit. And I was like, you know, I didn't go to fucking jail. Like, it's not like he got probation. I don't really, it's not like he got a felony even. Like, whatever. It got expunged off my record when I did the service. So it wasn't the end of the world. So I wasn't that upset about it. It's but still, like, oh, you it still blew me, dude. I was so mad about it. I was so mad about that shit. Like, I wasn't mad at him, but I was more, I was more just mad that he would do that to me. Like, I wasn't mad at current him. I was just like, I was blown more. Yeah, I was I like, get it. I was in disbelief, you know? I was like, fuck. Dude, that's so fucking wild. Uh, did you ever watch, did you ever watch WWF or WWE when you were a kid? Yeah, actually, I loved that shit. Okay. So I played all the games, Steve too. Austin. Yeah, of you course. Know the Austin 360 Stone Cold Stunner. Yeah, yeah. So you kick a motherfucker in the stomach, <laughs> you bam, you yeah. stole the stunner him. Yeah. You know, in the sixth grade, I started doing that to all the kids in my class. And oh, that's we were on recess. I had this kid named Chad, and he would distract them. <laughs> and they'd turn around, I'd go, bam. And I'd, I'd really do it all the way to the ground. i sit down. It hurt myself. You'd was smash it on the nice. ground. Nice. But we like, and we'd get up like, yeah. Like, it was just wrestling. That's fire, though. And I got in trouble. I got called in the principal's office one day. And somebody told on us that we were doing this. Really? And I didn't lie. I go, yeah, I did. And he was just like, what the fuck? He didn't <laughs> lie to me? He's like, Chad didn't lie to me either. Like, so you guys just like wrestling. I'm like, yeah, we're not hurting people. I got in-house <laughs> suspension all that shit. I didn't find out till seven years later who told on us. The way you talking about it? Yeah. Seven How'd years How'd you find later, out? We were talking to one of my friends, and he brings it up that it was one of our good friends. Really? His older sister thought we were fucking beating up her little brother. It's his older sister saw it and went, nah, and went and snitched on us because we were just fucking around. Wow. But I found out years, and he knew, and he never said shit. Wow. For years. I never even brought it up to him, but wow. he never said nothing. Not as serious as that's yours. That's fucked up. <laughs> it no, yeah, that's so, that's so fucked. It just what, did you bring it up it. to him? Like, did you? I didn't really hang out with him as, uh, as okay. I was like in 12th grade okay. when I found out. Yeah, it was the last week of school, and I found out. It's like, bro, this was in sixth <laughs> fucking grade. Still, sometimes that shit just blows you, no matter how oh long ago mind, it was, dude. dude. It just changes everything. Like you're like, yep. holy fuck, past six years have been a lie. Yep, you know? it changes everything. Like for real. 
It truly does. Um, so you're a homie fe- uh, confessed, and you guys are still friends? Um, Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty good friends still. Cool. I mean, it, it wasn't really the end of the world, but it, it just blew me that he'd do that because I was like, damn, dude. I get it. I don't think. I mean, I get it too. Like, I get you were nervous. It was we've never done something like that. We were kids, you know, and that's why. Like, we're still friends. Like, yeah, you're little kids. Yeah, like whatever. We were stupid, dude. It's I like mean, you were our stronger on robbery. And shit. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect this to be like a bank robbery to your team, you know. Like, <laughs> we were we were fucking fifteen, sixteen. Um, I I did so much goon shit because I was one of the first of my friends to get a car. So like I everything. Yeah, I was doing some fuck shit. I got oh. this this little two door Honda Accord. Doing the worst and shit. And I did any and everything. The first day I got it, I backed into a car at the mall. Yeah, and, and dipped. Cause like <sighs> I couldn't say I was like, fuck this. This is the first day I got it. So I went oh. to the, I went to Walmart <clears throat> and I got tape. And I put it on my bumper, thinking that would, like, kind of mask it or something, Wait, if you know? Wait, your bumper fell? My bumper got, like, a, a good indent in it. It didn't fall down, but I got a good indent. And so you tried to cover it with I, tape? I tried to cover it with black duct tape because my car was black. I was like, dude, if we just tape it, it'll look straight from an angle, you know? Like, it won't look <laughs> indented. We just yeah. have to put tape over the, the little indent, you know? Yeah. So we fucking did that. And, of course, my parents found that shit, and they were super pissed. But, like, I still had the car until eventually I crashed that thing into a tree. I, uh, I bent it around a tree when I was racing through a neighborhood with a friend of mine. Uh, you put like 50 bucks on like who could race through this neighborhood faster. And I came around a corner when it was raining and I slid sideways. I kind of fishtailed and slid to a tree, like bent my car around it. And I had a friend Ooh. in shotgun. He had his girlfriend in his lap, actually. But they were okay, actually. No one was really hurt. But you wrapped the car? Yeah, I fucked You the weren't car, hurt yeah. either? Oh, I, I was hurt emotionally. I totaled the car. <laughs> but no, I was fine physically somehow because the car was fucked where the windshield was like all cracked. The car was bent. It was like a, it was shaped like a boomerang the way it slid into the tree. And you guys were fine? Yeah, you were completely fine. They climbed out of the car, caught my friend's car, and they took all the weed and left. They were Fuck like, yeah. yeah, you know, they got my friend's car and left. And I was like, I'll stay here. You know, it's my car. Obviously, I got to fucking stay here. Uh, and I like called my mom and I was like, mom, I crashed the whip, you know? Because at that point, it's like, dude, I can't not tell her, you, can't you know? Say I'm anything. like, you it's know, like, there's, yeah, I can't bad. hide this, bro. Like, how do I come home with no car? Like, how do I explain <sighs> this? Like, yeah, the keep paying the bill, but yeah, the car's gone, you know? Like, oh. There's no way to explain that. No, there's not. None. That's another fear. So, that's another fear. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they took me to the hospital, like, because it was a requirement because I was a minor. Uh, and I Were you fucked like up? A, no, not really. I mean, like, Drunk or anything? I was a little buzzed, not drunk at all, though. So they didn't even question um, you? No, they didn't question me at all. They didn't breathalyze me or anything. They didn't think I was fucked up. Because yeah. I, I really wasn't. I was just a dumbass. Uh, like, it was raining. I fucking slid. Yeah, yeah. I, I fishtailed and I slid. Uh, and I just couldn't get away from the tree. Bent around the tree. It was bad. Fuck. That was my first car, dude. That thing was... I love that thing. Dude, that was the it? one I lived in. Um, that was the one I lived in. <laughs> yeah, I had it... Um. <sighs> Bumper sticker. I live in here. I had it a oh. long time, dude. I had it like over a year, like a year and a half. Not oh, I thought you were gonna say not like su- not super long, but like long for for me at the time. Yeah, because I crashed a lot of cars. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You safe? Yeah, I am now. I haven't gotten in a car accident in like four years, five okay. years. Um, but when I was younger and I did a lot of drugs, I would drive fucked up like a dumbass. So. I would get in a lot of accidents. Um, so I totaled um, a Mazda. Mazda How? 3. Uh, I rear-ended someone. Falling asleep? It, so the car, I don't really think it was like super totaled. Um, but it, the, I, I fucked up the front like wheel well the way I hit the person. Um, because they cut into the lane in front of me and I was really tired, kind of falling asleep. Yeah. Um, I hadn't slept the night before I was super slump and I just smoked a blunt and I was driving back to my house to go to sleep. Um, but I, I just couldn't fucking like keep myself awake enough. And this guy got in the lane in front of me and I noticed too late and rear-ended him. Um, and I fucked up my car. It was actually a guy on a motorcycle 
It was bad. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. He was okay. He was okay. He didn't have any like permanent damage. He was fine. I, but I hit him. him. It's, it's not the speed I hit him that was bad. It was the angle. As you get low, the angle. He's on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I felt I feel a little I bad about that him. one. <laughs> I, I didn't almost kill him. He was fine. Um, but his bike was not. His bike was Did not. Did he fly off? A little bit. You had Ooh. unless you just barely fucking little tapped bit, him. Little bit, little bit, little yeah. fling, but <laughs> you play enough GTA to know what a motherfucker yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, you hit that back wheel. That I, I, did that, I felt GTA. really bad about that, but um, yeah, I um, that happened, and that's how I, I totaled my other car. It wasn't like I hit him going like I'd braked a good bit before, but I still hit him going like probably twenty. That's which terrible. like yeah, that's like enough to definitely yeah. fuck up the bike. Twenty like, is so good. fast. Yeah, like fifty. Yeah, I had, I had a yeah. You ever try to run a, a alongside a car? Twenty's fast for you for getting hit on. Twenty's fast, grass. yeah, that is. But no, the guy was like pretty surprisingly actually okay. But the nice. the uh, what he was the bike he was on was fucked. Did he freak out or? He was cooler than he probably could have been. Honestly. Um I mean, I was also, I was just saying sorry. I mean, I was like, yo, I'm so, so like, mm. holy. Because when, when it first happened, I was sitting there and I was like, yo, holy fuck. Because, like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, bro, did I just, like, kill this dude? Like, obviously, oh. looking back at it, like, that didn't, like, that wouldn't fucking really kill anyone. He didn't, like, fly off. He just kind of, like, you know, he, he, like, got flung forward a little bit. But he didn't, like, do a fucking, you know, he didn't go, like, 20 feet up. Um But I was sitting there and I was like, oh, my God, bro. Like, I I really just hurt somebody, you know? Um he got up and walked fine. Like, he was okay. Oh. But I was sitting there, and I was like, holy fuck. Um, and I felt terrible about that one. I, I remember for a while, I didn't drive after that one. A, because I didn't have a car. But B, like, because I, I was like, fuck, bro. Like, I was tweaking about that shit. Um, you lucked out, sir. Yeah. <laughs> after that, I didn't drive for a while. Uh, I didn't lose my license or anything, but I didn't drive for a while. Um because the thing that saved me Ooh. was they had a witness, and the cop asked the guy, he was like, did he try to break? And he's like, yeah, because like, I pulled my e-brake and shit. I was like, you know, oh, shit. That's the only reason he was, like, probably okay, because I noticed, like, before it happened, I was like, oh, shit, you know? Uh, that was bad. That was a fucked <sighs> one. That was a fucked one. We've got a lot of car accident stories on this fucking episode. I mean, this episode on this show. Really? He, he's yeah. talked about multiple. Have you been in some real bad ones? Yeah, I've been in some fucking horrible accidents. Not oh. in a super long time. I had a stretch of them kind of back to back. Really? Yeah. Slamming into medians mainly. That was kind of the thing. Oh, man. Slamming into people with other accidents. Not always like me driving. Yeah. People hitting us. Shit like that. I don't know what it was. It's just Dude, last year, fucking my cousin Adrian. I don't know how he had such a crazy year. First, he's backing in. It's a crazy story. I don't think I told really? you. Really? My cousin Adrian's backing his truck up into his driveway, and on this road, it's a straight road in Merced. You have to look. Unless you're doing this, you're not going to not see a car in the way. Okay. And my cousin's got his friend outside, like, guiding him back, and shit like that. And this fool on a motorcycle just goes, like, 65, never stops. Oh. It just goes right to the side of my cousin Adrian's oh. truck. Oh. Fucking just flies into pieces and shit. Oh my god! And my cousin's just sitting there like, "What they the die? fuck? Yeah. The guy died. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine at that speed. The guy oh. fucking died. Yeah. Oh my, my cousin's god. just sitting there with a the fucking right away, and not even the right away, just completely thinking everything's fine. His friend is like looking at the motorcycle guy, like, "No, he's gonna stop. It's traffic. You have to stop." Yeah. And when he said he saw him, yeah. he, was like, he was like at least two hundred yards away. But the guy was just fucking taking off and whipping like, like he never even it was in the day. Like he never even saw the truck. The, that's fucked, dude. Fucking crazy. That's man. fucked, man. My cousin found hella like fucking parts and shit all over his oh. car and shit. It was sad, man. Yeah, that's terrible, it dude. It was awful. Then fucking what, two weeks later, I get a call. He's doing my cousin Adrian that does the moves. My brother is doing a move with him and he's behind my cousin just happens to be recording because it's such bad weather. Yep. And my fucking cousin lose traction on the snow on the mountain oh. and just hits a ramp of snow and you just see him fly off a cliff. Just fly. It just disappears off a cliff. And they look down and he's like 40 yards down in a tree just perfectly oh. fine. All in like a month. Damn. He was fine? He was fine. How was the car? Totaled. But fine. 
Nothing like, wrong. Like he got out on his own. He was fine. I remember there was my my brother. What said, kind of I car got, was this? That's was an advertisement. Truck. It was a F one fifty. Oh wow! But even my brother, he's like, I got out thinking like, holy fuck, Adrian just died in front of me, and he's like, yo, from down there. <laughs> that must have been the most on relieving fucking, moment on, ever on video. He uh, has this. Just happened to record. He's like, yo, this is crazy. Oh fuck! And he goes off a cliff. It's crazy, bro. Oh my god! It's pretty wild. But all that shit happened with you guys are talking about all these crazy. Oh my fuck! Dude. No, that's the motorcycle insane. Shit, yeah. Like, oh shit! Yeah, dude. It's so. As we say every episode, be safe, drive safe, be careful. For real, I learned that oh. eventually the hard way because I used to be a dumbass and I drive on all sorts of shit. But as I got older, I like especially after my DUI, I was like, yeah, like. It's not worth. It. I don't. Like, I for I've never driven drunk since then. I don't really even drive when I'm super stoned. Like I just DoorDash shit, bro. Yeah. Like why? Why, why even leave your show. house? You get Instacart lick. Like why? Why do you even need to leave? Everything. If you need to leave, you have an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the gas stations within walking distance of my house. I don't even need to do Uber. I just walk there. I don't know, dude. We talk about it every fucking episode because we get so many DMs. Like, yo, I told my car. Listen to the episode. Gotten like thirty. Really. Years. A lot of people crash every day. It's crazy. Yeah. No, it is, dude. It's crazy. I've been as in fuck. so many accidents where like I didn't even get total. Like I got T Bone coming out of work one time. I've been re rented. I've done the re renting and fled. Um and fled. You know, I mean oh, fuck. It's like the I, fucking liar liar scene. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, running a red light and speeding. <laughs> there was one where I, I like love tap some like lady at a light and she like kind of waved me on to like follow her, so I did and she went to this parking lot and I just gunned it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I'm gone, dude. I'm You're just a fucker. <clears throat> Out there, some lady's like, that's him. Yeah. That's the well, innocent oh, boy. She's going to see this someday <laughs> like this. Fuck, dude. She might oh, know. Man. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know how we got onto that, but you ready? I got one more. All right. Let's hear it. I will just say getting suspended because the second part is fucking hilarious. Yeah. So... Uh, I've talked about this one on a few streams, I think, but uh, I got caught. Well, all right, we got caught. I had a friend who used to pick me up in the mornings and drive me to school instead of taking the bus because when this girl would pick me up, it was like a free Uber, and she'd take me to Walgreens to go steal liquor because Walgreens used to have Hennessy. Yeah, Walgreens would open at 7 a.m., and they'd have Hennessy bottles with no alarm on them. So you could take that shit and just leave. And I, I would just take it and just walk out as fast as I could. Because normally they'd have, like, some old-ass man behind the register. What's he going to do, chase me? You know, like, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I, you know, I, I never got, like, physical with it. Like, if someone got in my way, I'm like, okay, you got me. But uh, I had friends who, like, push people out of the way and shit. That, I, I drew the line at that, though. But I, that would never happen at Walgreens. So I would go in and grab a bottle and just fucking leave. And I did that this morning. And we were drinking a little bit of Hennessy. I was drinking quite a bit. And this girl named Tiffany hit us up and asked us to pick her up. Uh, so we went over to her house. I call her Tina in my videos because she, she liked to tweak uh, sometimes on some hard shit. Gotcha. Um, not necessarily meth, but anything else under the sun. Um, but she was a fun time. She's a, she was a fun person. So we went and picked her up. And she brought... We didn't realize she had this. She had like a crack pipe that she was taking dabs out of. But Wait, she... Of Hash? No, I'm just like 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 shatter. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. She was like heating the bottom of it and like dropping dabs and shit. Gotcha. Um, are, are those little little pipes at the circle at the end? Are those crack or meth? That's just that's a meth pipe. Meth pipe. My bad. Uh, either way, yeah, 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 yeah. Little meth pipe. But she had that right. Um, and she she had brought that. We didn't realize she had that because she just brought a couple Zans with her, and that's all we thought she had. You, you know? guys are going to school? Yeah, like seven a.m. We go to. I I would go to school off acid, Molly. I'd take no, terrible no, seats I'm in the saying, bathroom. You guys have that much time between. I pick you up. Let's go to the. Well, store. we'd she miss our first period up. quite often. Thank you. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm like, yeah, you guys yeah. left with that. We, much we would time. come in as late as we wanted because that's I went. Fine. So I went to this alternative school where they didn't assign homework. It was like a like a he, like a playground. You could go in there as fucked up as you wanted. We had a, a streak oh. during my uh, my junior year where we had about an overdose a week, where we'd have a nice ambulance come through. Uh, people wouldn't die. Uh, overdose they, of what? Uh, it depended. There was there was a lot of fake Zans going around my school. So oh, like you're there in was some, there was some kid who took too many and like passed out in gym class one day. Um, my friend had a cardiac arrest in history class. Um, 
like there's, there's been a lot of shit that happened at that school because it was it's so boring out there. People do hella drugs out there. In like, the Midwest, I hear, is so yes. boring, dude. People just do pills, and that's why uh, opiates are so the high, The sober right? activities you want you, you can do in suburban Midwest, if you're outside of Chicago or, or a big city in general, you go to a movie theater, you sit in a parking lot and smoke, or you maybe go to a restaurant. But that gets really old really fast, you know? Because that's all there is to fucking do, man. Maybe you find a goddamn Top Golf. You know, that's like the extent of your fun. There's like a six flags nearby, maybe. Yeah. But even then, when you're young, you don't got the kind of money to go there a lot, you know? So, I mean, you, everyone does drugs out there, especially at the school I went to, because I, I grew up in a pretty good school district, right? So they would try to pad the graduation rate by sending all the kids who were going to flunk out to a school where they had no homework and they couldn't fail. It was it was a clever little system. Yeah, it's you called know? Valley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every district has one, I feel like, yeah, you know? One. Yeah. Um, but at that school, I just did hella shit. And on this day, we, we took a couple Zans and I drank, so I was fucked up. And I guess uh, they, they found out because one of my friends, the girl who drove us, she was way too fucked up by the time we got there. And... This school, like, everyone did drugs at this school, so they were pretty, like, hip to it. Like, they knew how to spot when someone was fucked up. And because it was a much smaller school, total of maybe 100 kids, whole building, right? So it was a much smaller school, so they'd pick up on that way easier. So one of the girl who drove us to school was, like, too fucked up, and they have cameras everywhere, and they knew that, like, I always came to school with her and shit. So they searched her car. They, like, called her to the office and searched her car, and they found the crack pipe, the meth pipe, pardon me, um, in in the girl's bag, in Tiffany's bag, right? So they bring all of us to the office. They, like, look at the camera, see us come in together. They bring all of us to the office, and we all get suspended for it. And I'm fucked up at this point. I get called in, and I'm still so zooted. I'm absolutely blasted at this point. So they call me in, and I'm sitting there, and they're just like, we found the bottle and all that. Like, if you want, like, we can breathalyze you. And I'm like, no, you got me, dude. Like, you don't have to breathalyze me. I'm suited, oh. you know? <laughs> like, like, I promise you got me, you know? Oh. I, let's let's skip the fucking bullshit. What's going to happen? Such a defeat. They suspended me not that long for two days because the That's girl... It? So luckily, the girl who had the pipe confessed to it. So what happened to her... Go. Uh, good honor. You know, she was a cool person, like I said. So what happened is she got transferred to a school that was notorious in my district because you had to sign a waiver allowing the teachers to get physical with you. Yeah. Yeah. Like the teachers would beat your ass if you got in a fight, bro. They could scrap. Like if you swung on a teacher, they had like... You had to sign a waiver. It's just like, yeah... That teacher could fight back, you know? Like, they, you they were in the if 70s? you're fighting, they'd come tackle your ass. Like, that wasn't my school, but that was the school she got sent off to because of this incident. You guys are in the 70s in Illinois, apparently. I, I Dude, it know. was it was honestly so funny because that school was notorious. I knew another kid who, who went there. Uh, he was really fucked, though. That kid was crazy. He, like, I think he called in, like, a bomb threat or some shit, so they sent his ass there. <laughs> But yeah, it's all the bad Damn. kids. <laughs> no, it's all, all the, the level real, four yeah, yard all the kids. like yeah, exactly. max security bad kids, bro. All the really fucking. You just have a kids. girl that likes hash. Yeah, and then like some girl who like smokes every now and then. You know, she might smoke a little funky something, but I mean, whatever. Life is life. Uh, what are you gonna do? That's where, true. Where does a meth addict find one of those fucking meth pipes? The fucking head Dude. shops. Oh. Gas station. Head shop in yeah. Illinois. Yeah. Gas stations. Yeah, they sell them everywhere. You can get them at a gas station. They're not right called Illinois. meth pipe, but yeah. I mean, I know they sell like the little trick things, like the little crack pipes, like in the fucking yeah. little rose things or whatever. But I'm saying, like a meth pipe seems like it's a fucking meth pipe. What else is it? Like, uh, no, they're called oil burners. I mean, the thing is, you you, you can, can smoke hash out of them. Yeah, you can uh, you can dab out of those fuckers. That's for what sure. I told you. The first time I saw uh, dabbing, I walked in and Jeebus was hitting a fucking torch lighter and twisting this pipe, and I fucking started screaming <laughs> at him. I thought my homie was doing fucking meth when I walked in. Yeah, I was so fucking mad. It was what? And then I was, oh, it's, oh, it's that. Oh, this is cool, Daddy. Yeah, now it's now it's dope. <laughs> yeah, now it's like, dope. That's cool. <laughs> but I was pissed. Yeah, it's a meth pipe called Oil gotcha. Burners. Justin from Texas, he sells a million a day. Oh, I gotcha. That's and crazy. People smoke meth. People you tweak, the, dude. In, in, in my like town, you yes. go to smoke shops, oh. and at this, are whippets big out here? 
balloons. Oh yes, sir. I People don't like them. I don't like that. Shit. I don't. I don't do that shit. But Makes at all stupid. the smoke shops in in anywhere like rural Illinois or like central Illinois, something like that, you go in these smoke shops and they have a whole shelf that's just dedicated to whippets. Oh, for sure. Like there's nothing to do. Yes, it's crazy to me though because people buy that shit. Uh, I have a friend actually, uh, my roommate Cody. He works at a smoke shop, and he tells me he's like, dude, one of the top sellers in our store is fucking whippets. It's because people are like, bored, man. They sell like damn near more whippets than vapes. Sad. Yeah, I get oh, I get a lot of comments about it too. Like people always ask me, they're like, "Oh God, what do you think of that shit?" I'm like, "Dude, it's so fucked. Like, that's not do, fun, dude." When I was a kid, there's nothing to do. We made our homemade whippets. Have you ever done like? All right. You ever done it out of a whipped cream can? No. So what my friend used to do his version of that because who can afford whipped cream? Who yeah, has that in their you house? can steal it. I never. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. We, anyway, we're at his house. Yeah. We're at his house. <laughs> and my friend got a towel and then doubled the towel over. Okay. And then sprayed. Remember those Glade fucking powerful air fresheners? Yes. Crazy ones. I use those bathroom? in my house, bro. And he just <laughs> hit it for like ten seconds. I would just get so fucking <laughs> fucked up for fifteen seconds, and I'd come back like, I no, Yo, I can't huff what? some weed, bro. No, I, I can't. we would do that shit. I've done it like thirty times. Oh, no lie. It's the go? dumbest shit. I mean, the worst thing is when you forget and then it, to move it off the wet spot and it just peeks through. I've gotten so much floral taste in my mouth. Oh, I'm like, oh, go to this dry How spot. How long does that dude? last in your mouth, dude? So probably, probably forever. So oh, but I smoke no. some weed. Like, oh, what else can I do? So being Huff a kid a is like glade. living in the, in the Midwest. Mm. Being a kid with no money is like fucking having nothing yes. to do. Yes. Where this, no matter where you're from, there's always that town or that county of like, there's nothing yes. to fucking yes. do but drugs. You get fucked up or you do nothing. Or you do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, for real. So we're all like, <laughs> yeah. We've come full circle. Yeah, we've come full circle <laughs> from Buffalo to <laughs> Illinois to LA or to Merced. Fuck. So, real quick, one more thing. Yeah. When you left here last time, we were talking about your merch. And since yeah. you've left, You've been dropping the fuck out of some shit. I have been, yeah. I uh, so I finally got my own domain and my own like website and everything. Um, I'm working with a new company now because the one I was working with before, I had some like shipping issues with where a lot of people just weren't getting their shit on time, um, and also just like some quality control stuff. Yeah, and I got uh, before I I lost a cut like of the income from the merch. They took a cut of the profit. But now I work with a company that produces it themselves. So I just, you know, cover production cost and that's it, um, which is way better. Yeah. And I'm able to price my merch at cheaper now, too, because of that. Like, I do $20 T-shirts and shit now, you know, that kind of shit, um, which is pretty dope. Yeah. But, yeah, I've been dropping a lot of crazy shit. I'm getting ready to do glass, actually. Uh, what are you doing? I've been working on that. So I, I haven't really locked anything in, like, all the way yet. But in mind, I, like, so... I've been looking at doing some bongs that have, like, my logos kind of in the bottom. So when you clear it, you see, like, the Goblin logo. And I want to do some real thick shit, like some 9 millimeter shit, some really, like, quality, like, beakers and, and dab rigs and shit like that, you know? Um, but I'm still in the phase where, like, I have to, like, get samples and test shit and, like, decide. Are you trying to stay in America? Um, preferably, yeah, but... I'm pricing accordingly, so stuff that's not from America is not going to cost as much, you know. But I'm it's trying to stay in America. Really it's really hard to stay in the U.S. Battery. because yeah. glass blowers here they're they're doing their own thing. The real good ones they don't do that shit. Like yeah. it's it's really hard to find someone who's talented and willing to take that on, you know. And production, that, yeah, and that it's really tough. Production. I'm working with a few people. I mean, I'm not going to name any names or anything because it's so early. Yeah, but um, I plan on doing a mix of both. You know, I mean, obviously it's going to be like clear whether it's import or whether it's American. Um, but yeah, that's Good. that's kind of what I've been working on lately. You know, OK, I'm just going to just drop hell of stuff. Yeah, I've been dropping a lot of a lot of new merch because the, the new company I'm working with, they can make fucking anything, dude. So I'm like, yo, I see some funny shit. I made aprons, like these little only gas cooking aprons. I saw that. Yeah. Um, I've only sold like five or six of them, but that, that's like a niche item. Yeah, yeah. So like, I don't care. You know, it's like they're cool. I saw the. Like you as a soldier was fucking. Yes, great. the war on drugs shit. So I have a I have that a designer good, I man. work with on a on a lot of my designs like and a like Disney like Disney character. Yeah, I yeah. Like it. No, it's fucking dope. That's one of my favorites, honestly. Yeah. That's one of my favorite ones. But yeah, I've been I've been grinding the merch a lot. Now that I got demonetized this morning, 
This morning. That merch. Not this morning. Yesterday morning, actually. Oh. Like a day or two ago. It was a nice birthday gift for me. Fuck it. It was like, yeah, happy birthday. Get Fuck fucked. you. Yeah. <laughs> Get fucked. How old are you? How old um, you? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Susan comes through for me, man. The first Shoot. podcast we did, I just got demonetized. We were talking about this then, too. Yep. And then you got it right back. Yep. So here we go. But we'll see this time. I mean... It's like they know you're coming on the show or something. Yeah, yeah. They know. They're like, yeah, we got to we gotta make them bring this up again, dude. Something. Gotta, that's the whole reason I came to L.A. Because I was just in Vegas for fucking nine days. And oh, I sleezed no. it out. I got so drunk, I face planted in the elevator going back up to my room. <laughs> I got fucked up. But um, <laughs> I, I woke up one morning, and I realized I got demonetized. And I was like, dude. Wait, what do you do for nine days? Get wasted and lose money. You gamble. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Of course, dude. I'm gambling. in Vegas. I don't uh, see. So I wanted to go when I was 21, but COVID just hit. Um, so I, I couldn't go. In 20 seconds, same thing. At this point, I'm like, some places are in that weird limbo where they're like in between restrictions right now. So I'm going to go while I can. So I went, got ransacked, absolutely ruined at the casinos. But it was fun. It was fun, actually. Uh, I had a good time. I just think I stayed for too long, but I woke up. Nine days. Yeah. Seven days too long. I woke up the uh, the other morning and I, I literally had like a like a sixth sense moment, you know, where like I, I snapped out of my sleep at like 1 a.m. And I checked my fucking <laughs> Gmail and I just saw the demonetization. And I was like, God damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God fucking Your damn birthday? It. No, yeah, dude. It was like the day after my birthday. I was like, Fuck off, you wow. know? I was so mad. So I stayed, I was like so upset about it. I stayed up for a little bit. I was like just pacing around the room. I was like, God damn it, you know? Um, and that's what drove me to come here because I was like, you know what? I'm going to fly to LA for a couple days. I'm, yeah. I want to come get stoned, have some fun, whatever. I mean, I leave tomorrow at like 3 p.m., so. Fuck. Still a bummer. Yeah, yeah, it is, for real. It is a bummer, but it's all right. You know, I mean, back. since the last time I've, I've kind of worked a lot more on like making income from other sources. Like I've, I've tried to, the reason I'm making better merch and shit and like dropping more is obviously to like offset the YouTube stuff. Cause I mean, I can't rely on the monetization for income. Not I, gonna be YouTube is you. so inconsistent with it, you know? Yeah. And getting demonetized the first time kind of taught me that, you know, you can't rely on that shit. Like, have you ever been monetized? I was, I've, yeah, I was monetized for like a year, um, but they never gave me money. Really? Yeah. Why? It's my little bar was just gray. Oh, you could see the money. I never got to get it. And you still to this day haven't gotten any? Oh, I'm completely demonetized. It's for life basically on there. Really? You can't even reapply? No. Oh, wow. Wow. No, for a long time, it would say the number. That's brutal. I wasn't allowed to touch it. And then it started saying like, Four cents on seven, eight million views. Yeah, dude, month. that happened to me. So my Zoom video, I got four and a half million views on that. I made about $200 off that video. Should have got like 30 bands. Yeah, exactly. Dude, nowadays a million views are worth more than ever. A million views is like fucking $6,000. Oh, damn. Yeah. But like with that shit, especially like holiday season ads, dude. Holiday season ads are stupid. They're crazy. I don't, I'm not monetized. I don't see shit no more. Yeah, no, it... It, it sucks when you're not monetized because you just watch these banger videos. Just They put ads on them and you don't see a penny because I feel it's so dumb that they'll demonetize it, but just for you. Like They still feel it's okay for ads, just not for you to profit from. Yes, that's exactly what happens. That's so fucked. It's fucked up. Like If you're going to demonetize it, take all the ads off. Yeah. You know, Don't run ads for on it. For six months, it was only Donald Trump ads. Yeah, that's dude. Yeah. It's crazy. And you can't even choose what kind of ads. You can't choose shit. You can't even choose what kind of ads run. They're like, fuck you, dude. We're just going to put anything we yep. fucking want on here. I got a fucking weed company ad on my video while oh, not being gotta, monetized. That's got to piss you off so much to have another company just run in their like 10 cent ad that on you. That shit pissed me off. I, dude, you know what I get a lot of that's really funny? I get a lot of rehab ads. <laughs> it's actually super. It's, it's super keywords. Perfect. No, it's it's fire. It's super perfect. It's keywords. I get I get a lot of rehab ads, dude. I get a lot of comments like, dude, I got an ad for a rehab facility. And like when I watch my videos on my laptop or on my phone, yeah. Yeah, I be getting those rehab oh ads. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Hilarious. Yeah, it's fire, actually. I hope they work. 
I hope they work. Yeah, I hope people go to rehab. For real, drugs are not good. They're not, drugs and that's why cool. you're drug free. Yeah, yeah. Smoking weed, drinking. Too. Where can everybody get your merch at? I, I, oh, goblin420.com. Goblin spelled normal? Yep, just goblin420.com. All right, we'll yeah. pop it up on the screen. Goblin420.com. Yep, goblin420.com. Because I saw com. you have so much shit on there. I have a lot. It's pretty. Are they drop shipping for you? Yeah, yeah, okay. they take care of it. They do the customer service. We have a dedicated email for that. They have a fucking phone number you can call. Uh, yeah, it's sick. And don't call that just to call it motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, call it with a purpose. Yeah, you know? I hate when people do that shit, yeah. dude. That's but, we took our number off. So I promise people, I, you know, it's cool, but I call it a mistake. Because I promised every purchase a thank you message. Because that's the first year. So there's, yeah, there's this little app that comes with my website, right? Handwriting. That like... Oh, I do audio ones. We're like, I like, That's cool. yeah, I like say, so, like, I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, whoever it is, like, thank you for copying. Like, I talk to them because they, they can write a message to me and then I respond to it. So I can like ask me something and like shit like that. So I like, I made the promise my videos of everyone gets a message and then I did more sales than I've ever done in a month. And now I'm like way behind on messages every day. Like Oof, that's a I have so yeah I have so fucking many. We to should do. do handwritten notes for everyone, and, and it's not like I can de done. just delete the videos that that's in anymore. You know, so yeah. I'm like I'm like fuck. Man. What you do is update it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna, nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be like, listen, guys, I'm losing control. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> for but no, yeah, it's it's been dope getting that's the new domains been been fire. That's a fucking crazy promise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm like I think I'm like a good. Oh fuck, bro. I probably have like over a thousand to do. To do? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Cause so I funny. so I the other day I put out a Christmas discount code of like twenty percent. And like people just kinda went ape shit for that. Cause like I had some items where like I don't know, I try to sell myself for like a good price. So I had some items where like twenty percent was like my profit margin. Yeah. You know? So like I, I had some items where like people were buying T shirts, for example, bro, I made like a dollar. Like a t-shirt at that point, you know? But, like, I got so many fucking t-shirt cops that day that, like, I'm just more behind now, dude. Yeah. I, gotta, I guess this serves as my disclaimer, dude. I'm lagging on them. <laughs> like, it's okay. You can say it right now. I'm going to stop. Because I haven't you can't decided do that on forever. that yet. No, I'm, I'm going to catch up one day. I'm going to sit down one day. I'm going to drink, like, eight coffees. I'm going to go nuts. That sounds cool. Yeah. Also, don't hold them to that shit. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? like, yeah, yeah, you know. But don't hold me to it completely. <laughs> Just hope for it. There you go. Optimistically. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, fucking one day. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. That's a, day. that's a whole job. Yeah, for real. No, it's, no, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. That's community service. Yeah, that, that's the, how much time you're. Gonna I put wish in I could, service. dude. I'm going to be sitting at community service recording that shit. You sh that'd be tight. That'd a two be for tight. one. A two and for one. It. A two for one. And recording get paid off of a YouTube channel. Fucking monetized. That's fire. That'd be funny. So just jump cutting crazy. through all the different takes. I just sweep it. Dude, my <laughs> second channel, I don't even know why. They approved my vlog channel for monetization. Uh, and then all my videos are age-restricted demonetized. Every single one. They demonetize all of them at this point. Do you cuss them? Hell yeah. That's probably why. It's yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really try to go too far out of my way to get monetized on that channel. Because it's just like my experimental, like, fuck around channel. You know? But. I get it. But yeah, I have the other channel. I just try to keep it as completely clean as yeah, possible. Yeah, I feel that. I need to, I need to do that, especially now that Susan's on my fucking nuts about my first channel. It's just another job. It's a whole other like dedication. It's so it much. is, dude. And I just hate how YouTube is so unstable. Like they don't give you a warning, like, "Hey, we're gonna demonetize you in this amount of time." It's just like, "Yo, effective today, fuck you." Yeah, you know. And there's a lot of people. Like I'm lucky enough to have sponsorships, so, like I'm okay. But there's a lot of people who that's like their income, like. That's their primary income. And, like, that could happen to anyone, you know? Yeah. That's fucked. Dude. That's fucked. Yeah, that's why I never got paid. I was like, I got to do something else. Yeah, for real. You have to figure something else yeah. out. You have to make it, like, a business. You can't rely on ad revenue. No, I've it's never not gonna had cut it. Yeah. so fucking yeah. insane. Like, damn, yeah, they never pay me. Yeah, any Bastards. day they'll just yoink it from you. Yeah, or your fucking channel. Yeah, like, exactly. So it's like, whack. For real. YouTube for real. is very unstable. Uh, I don't know what else to do. They're the biggest fucking platform on the planet. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully one day they s turn it around. And start some competition would be nice or some improvements to YouTube would also Improvement be nice. Improvements just like 18 and over? I get it. Weed isn't federally legal, whatever, but 
it's internet culture, and they're very they're not consistent with who's allowed to smoke weed and who's not. Yeah, you know, that's one thing that just pisses me. I see like so many celebrities smoking. Yes, and grinding you go, up weed. You got Snoop Dogg, Seth Rogen on there. Of course, no hate, love them, but like, but on TikTok grinding up. House, yeah, like, they're on TikTok what? smoking giant joints and shit. But we post that and we get banned. I instantly. got banned off TikTok instantly. My I got banned get taken off TikTok. I, I posted one TikTok. I got a jar. I got like an ounce and a half of some some honey from a buddy of mine, and I posted a TikTok. Like I didn't even say the word wax or weed or anything. It got like almost a million loops, and like I got a bunch of followers off it, and then they deleted me my so whole account not just the tiktok my whole account that, I, me. I don't even post weed shit i just say the words that i'm talking and, and then you're f- and you won't hit anyone's for you page on no there. no they take the video down oh yeah i, I imagine videos take it down all you can't the even time. say weed I can't say it you have to spell it different if you're gonna spell yeah it. you yeah for real you have to spell it like with an o it's so fucking stupid it's dumb as fuck fucking annoying Sorry. <laughs> time we at? 320. Hey. Wow. Wow. We did good. Wow. I didn't think we'd do three hours. Yeah, we we were well past three hours, actually. Good shit. Oh, yeah. Epic. First running, cast running of the on, year. Running on no food over here. Yeah, just Miller dude, Light. Just Miller Light just and Miller weed. Just Miller Light and gummy sharks and weed. Uh-huh. That's a fucking combo, though. That's a diet. Like, that's good. <laughs> that's a diet. <laughs> you ever met those older ladies that only smoke cigs and drink Pepsi but don't eat? A lot of those at casinos. Oh yeah, that is a casino. Yeah. That's what keeps I've them seen alive. them in the wild. Yeah, in the wild, <laughs> dude. I'm ground. telling you, Vegas got me so bad with those fucking free drinks at the slots, man. Oh, you just sit there forever. You just sit there, and they just keep bringing them to you. And I had one night where I turned 200 bucks into 1100, and I was Ooh. hooked. I know, good win, right? But so I did this strategy where I was wasted. And I was like, when I feel it, I was doing minimum bets, and then when I felt it in my heart and my gullet, I would do a five dollar bet. And I kept hitting the bonus on the $5 bet. So I was like, yo, this is it. I'm doing this shit. But I kept getting really wasted all the other nights and losing a bunch of money. So it wasn't really profit. Like the one night I fell into the elevator I was telling you about. I I drank like, so I didn't, I forgot to close my tab because I was so drunk. I just got up and left. Ugh. So I had my card though. They let me take my card back. But they, they already had my card info. So they ran it and I checked my bank statement the next day. I, they ran it for like nine or 10 drinks. So like maybe they threw in a few extra for a tip because my bad, I left early. But um, I was like walking back to my room and I couldn't walk straight. Ugh. And I forgot to like present my room key because I had a guy who's like standing by the elevator and you have to scan your key to like walk yeah, past the Vegas I just fucking... Went right past him, dude. And, like, I guess I was so... Like, I don't remember him trying to stop me, really. I was so drunk. Maybe he did. I don't know. But I got away. Who fucking knows? All I know is I made it to the elevator. And I I know I didn't see him on damn key, bro. I didn't pull out shit out of my pockets. So... I got to the elevator and like as I was I was kind of leaning up like on the door, right? I would love to see this in person. And when it opened, I just like fell the fuck in face first and like I bent my glasses all out of shape kind of. They're like wide now. I see it. Yeah, they're like wide <laughs> body Yeah, they're like wide body glasses now. They're, I see it. No, they're fucked actually. I I bent them all out of shape really bad. Uh because I just face planted right into the fucking railing in the elevator. And like I got back up. What was nice though is they had a room on the top floor. Because originally I had a room in like the middle floors, but we opened the drawer and found a bloody pillowcase. Ew. Yeah, really ew. So we called the front desk and we're like, yo, can we get a new room? And they put us on the top. Vegas is despicable. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. But then they, they added the smoking fee because they caught us smoking a blunt there. <laughs> that was brutal. I'll get 250. It was 500. <gasps> Five? Yeah. But the whole lower level's full of smoke. Yeah, they had so we asked for, for sure. a smoking room initially, and they're like, "Well, if you're down for a non-smoking room, we'll upgrade you for free because it's your first time staying here." And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'll still smoke in there," you know. Yeah. Uh, so we go there. That's where we found the pillowcase, and they put us on the top floor. I smoke in there. Our privacy light was on for like two or three days straight. So in Vegas, they come check on you for that, but we didn't know that at first, you know. Mm. But they like go around and check for the rooms who have had their do not disturbs on for like days straight. So two managers knock at our door and open the door, and we just smoked a blunt 10 minutes prior, not even. Like, we just put this shit out. Uh, so, that, yeah, they were like, oh, it smells like weed. And I was like, well, I never smoked. I don't have any weed. And they, they just said they were applying the charge and, like, dipped. They were like, we can inspect the room. And they were like, can we? And I closed the door, and I was stuffing weed in my bag because I told them, I was like, yeah, let me get dressed first because I was shirtless. So I closed the door, stuffing weed in my bag. Fucking Emily and I are packing everything we can away, hiding it. They come in the room. They're just like, yeah, it stinks in here. Like, we're going to add a charge. Um, it was 500 fucking dollars. 
So I had to smoke more at that point. Fuck like, yeah, yeah. Make it worth I have it. To get my, mm. See, they shouldn't tell you that until the end. Like, if they really don't want you to smoke in there, why would you tell me you're adding that? I've only got you kicked know? out one time of a hotel. I, we hotboxed it so, with Charles. We have it on tape. We hotboxed really? it so severely. And they kicked us the fuck out of the hotel. And my friend had another floor, in the, another room on the floor below. And we just went downstairs. How many nights did you have booked? My friend had it for like three nights. Yeah, but what about the room you got kicked out of? Same. Oh, that's still fucked though. I almost got kicked out of one when I was on acid. Uh, we were smoking. Uh, we weren't even smoking blunts. We were smoking bowls. But I guess someone near us complained. And the security guy came to our room and he was super cool. He was like actually chill as fuck. I went through and he's like, ooh, is that some lemon? And like, I was like, oh, like this guy's cool. He's like, listen, you guys can't like smoke that much in here. Like you got to take it outside. And I was like, oh, for sure. And I was tripping balls, dude. I was fucked up. And I was like, oh, yeah. For sure, you know, and he was he was really cool about it. Like he like he like thanked us and everything. He was like, Thank you guys. You know, I was like, Oh, thank you, dude. And he was like, That shit smells good, by the way. And he was like talking to me. He was like, I used to smoke a lot when I was younger. I, I still smoke sometimes. I've got some shit in my car. And like I'm like, Oh, hell yeah, you know, like this dude's fucking awesome. But it scared the shit out of me because I thought we were about to get booted out. Cause I'm yeah. looking through my peephole and I see this dude with a fucking security badge, big ass bald guy, and I'm like, Oh, dude. He looks like Steve Austin, bro. I'm so fucked. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> that's when you know it's gonna be. Yeah, no. Bad. I, I was sitting there and I was like, I was just, I was like, fuck. I turned around and I told my friends, I was like, yeah, get rid of everything. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I was fuck. My brain just let things go. I had something I was about to say about you. It happens, dude. Fuck! It was right here. It happens. I feel so dumb now. Uh, I can't remember. It's all right, dude. Fuck. There was something about your damn story. Oh, I just forgot. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, the guy smoked. Um, no, I fucking lost it. I lost <laughs> it. I lost it. I'll leave it at that. It'll come to you at some point. I'll text you in four yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was about yo, to say. This is what I was thinking. Yeah, you'll probably end up texting it to me. Fuck. I'd imagine. What time is it? 3.30. No, what, like oh, the actual shit. time. 3.30, nah. 10.15. Oh, oh, nice. That's how you're doing. Good. Yeah. We're doing all right. That's like, well, good time. I think that's everything I got right now because I feel like every time you come to LA, just fucking come back. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just, just come yeah. back. Dude. I mean, I we'll just keep talking about I, some I like to come shit. out here, dude. It's always a fun time when I'm out here because the weed is so fucking different. Like, when I was yes. smoking that half gram joint with the till earlier, I was stuck off that little thing, dude. Dude, the ice ash rosin out here is so fucking fire. It's crazy. Every time I'm out here, this sh like I don't think I've had bad weed out here. It's, it's hard to find super, super, super fire right now, but good weed is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like the crazy shit is hard to find right now. Yeah, really. But good weed's fine. I mean, when I went to that dispensary, I mean, Attila did warn me that it was a pretty expensive one, but when I went there, dude, they had like $85 AIDS. Oh. Eighty dollar eights, yeah. All branded weed though. Yeah, backpack boy shit, can of teak, uh, can of biotics, that kind of shit. Yeah, all sorts it's of all shit. Super expensive. Yeah, I fuck with can of biotics. Yeah, they're no, they're fire to the max. Fire. I really like, dude. Brand. That blueberry cruffin shit I got that I was telling you about, so yeah, fantastic. Look like a biscotti. It, it's fan. I don't know. I think fire. that might honestly be in it. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but. All I know is I had a I had a friend who brought a bunch of a bunch of shit back from Cali. He brought like a bunch of backpack boys, um, some like blueberry cruff and some other shit. Um, and it was all fire. But the main thing that I liked the most was that blueberry cruff. And so when I saw that shit today, I paid eighty and eighth for that shit, bro. Yeah. Eighty eighth. Eighty dollars at the dispensary. Tax. Yeah. Um without tax. So I more believe. Than 80? Yes. But I, I had a first time twenty five percent discount. So it was okay. It wasn't so terrible. Like $92 an eighth. What's a tax percent of So here? fucking excessive. 35 or 45 percent? Really? Yeah. Is that for out-of-staters only? No. It's for everybody. Do they accept out-of-state med cards here? I don't know. Okay. You don't need a med card. Yeah, it's just completely recreational here. No, I know, but I'm saying if you have a med you card, do you discount. don't pay tax. Yes, yeah, you yes, yes pay you get a discount. Oh, if you have a card, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in Illinois, med card's a big thing. I need to renew mine still. I already paid for it. I just haven't called my doctor yet and got my fucking renewal. Damn, I haven't been to a um, doctor in a minute, dude. Fucking um, 
the tax in Illinois is about the same for concentrate. A gram of concentrate in Illinois is about 95 bucks. Yeah, you told me about this. Terrible. But even the black market here, the ice hash rods, the fucking fire. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, the, the real crazy shit out here is just as tax. But I it's feel like bomb. you get more of a value out here than you do it's almost anywhere else, bomb. you know? It's like buying from a farmer. Like, yeah. Like, I feel okay about paying 80 for that aid. Because yep. I know I'm going to fucking love it. Oh, for the wheat. Yeah, I got you. I got yeah, you. I like I feel totally okay paying for that shit. I don't mind, you know? No, I get it. I I mean, I buy hash and it's expensive as shit. Yeah. I remember when Rosie came out and saw 50 a gram, you're fucking tripping. And I was like, 50 a gram, I, you're tripping. I ain't buying that bullshit. I have a buddy I met back in Illinois who used to be one of the, the head growers for one of the like like big companies at the dispensaries in Illinois. And he got fired because I guess some, from what I was told uh, by the guy, he got fired because like someone he worked with found out he was making DMT, like DMT in his basement. <coughs> so. Pardon me. But um, he got fired for doing some other shit too. Like he was like growing a shitload of their strains in his house and like selling them. Fuck so it. he got fired. And because he was one of their head growers, he had like contractual rights to the strains along with them. So they can keep growing them. But he had the rights too. So he just started growing that shit in his basement and selling it. And he started making his own concentrates too. So I have a buddy who serves me some of that shit. And the last time I bought from him, I got like an ounce and a half of just this jar, bro. Just this jar full of straight sauce. And I paid like probably for, I got like close to 40 grams and I paid like 500 bucks. What? Yeah. Just a jar full of this That's shit, dude. Shit. It was, I was dabbing on this for so long, dude. This shit lasted me forever, bro. I was dabbing on this shit for like months because I would still smoke other shit. It would just be like on a rainy day, like, oh, let's, let's crack that's the like fucking jar bands. open. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was, it wasn't like some crazy like hash rosin or anything, but it was still fire and it got me stoned that it tasted great, you know? That's the only time I'll really buy street shit from that guy. Other than that, I try to stick to Dispo. Because in Illinois, it's not like out here we can find that fire, like, yeah, homegrown no, 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 shit. No, no, no. In Illinois, it's different. Like, if you want fire, grow your own in Illinois is kind of how I mean, it goes. It's, it's, it's legal there now. Yeah, if you have a medical card, it's yeah. legal. Medical card ain't shit. Yeah, it's so easy to get, dude. My doctor, so it's actually kind of funny. Um, I don't know if I should say this, but when my doctor called me. Be cautious. He, um, he said, he asked me, he was like, what's your condition again? He, like, didn't remember my condition. Oh, yeah, a lot of patients. Like, yeah, yeah, but it was it Don't was pretty fucking that. funny. It was pretty fucking funny because I had to remind him. I just said, yo, I can't sleep I lot, told him. I told I him what I did for a living, and he was like, oh, let me save your number. I'll call you. Um, like, I need a social media manager. And I was like, dude. You if this, told me about I was like, guy. dude, if this guy pays me, like, enough to do it from home, I'll fucking do it. Yeah, you, know? you like, told hell me about yeah. this. That'd be so lit. Like, fuck yeah. Fuck Your yeah. doctor like, hires like, you. I'm on Twitter like, yo, dude, hit the dock. You know? Like, fuck uh, yeah. Probably dude. help. You know, a lot of people just don't know where to go. For real. Yeah, that's For real. really what it is. And on top of that, also, it's like, I feel like I could do that shit so easily, you know? Because, like, I feel like being in that shit, that's something you could do so easily for a company just as a side hustle. Yeah. You know? I used to do this shit all the time. Attila was telling me that today. He told me you used to do it for Raw. Yeah, I did uh, I did all their shit. I did all the cookie shit. All the connected shit before they started all that. That's fire. Yeah, we did all of it. That's we, fire. Yeah, we did all their social media. Grew everything. That's sick. Yeah, and then just stopped one day and just... You just decided to fucking do it on your own? No, I was always doing my own shit. This is when I was doing... You just had to stop doing both one day and, like, stick to your own shit? Is that what you're saying? No, I just stopped doing it. Stopped working for them one day separately. Like, I was like, oh, I'm done with this, and I'm fucking done with that. That's so much. It, it's a long fucking story. But what am I really fucking doing here? I was yeah. doing it for free. For, really? For Raw, just to show them I could do it. And then it just, it's a big old deal. Me and Josh, we we worked it out. It's, a, it's fucking dumb. Anyway, stop working for them. And the cookie shit, they got deleted. And they're just like, we're going to let, we're going to stop paying. And I go, okay. And they get back the next day. It's like, I'm fucking over it. That's fucked, dude. <laughs> I'm done. That's fucked. But this is like six years ago. When so you were like early, and, early in the. Well, because cookies and connected, you know, connected, the brand connected. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of them. They were cookies. Okay. And when they separated, they were like, fuck that. We're still keeping our identity. We're the C, connected with blue. Okay. That's why they look so similar. Yeah. Because cookies did their own thing and connected was like, no, no, no. We're going to do our own thing, too. Okay. So that's why Connected and Cookies look so similar. But I used to run the brand for the owners of Connected that are no longer Cookies. 
That's nice. how I. That's how I knew all those dudes. Nice. Uh, but yeah, the owner connected. Uh, fucking Luke is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my fucking life. I even said he's like he's like fucking goblin, but like an older man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's not old. I'm saying that he's older. Like he's not fucking in his twenties. Like yeah, forty. But yeah, this shit he's talking. About. I woke up on the beach in my ass class and just. I don't know how the fuck I got there, but I was doing fucking drugs all night. <laughs> but this is like when he was young, he was telling us like one time when I was a kid. But dude, he it might be one of the funniest people on the fucking planet. Shout out to Luke. He's just sounds like a fun guy. You know what I mean? Like it sounds like the shit I used to do, but like, oh, you're rich when you're young. Mm -hmm. So you did shit like <laughs> absurd. Yeah. Like, yeah. The shit you talk about, he told me shit like that, but it's like you the cops, he's like, yeah, SFPD called me one time. He's like, we found your Mercedes uh, here <laughs> submerged slightly into the into the water. He's like, I was at home. Oh, my, my fucking car got to the beach. I have no idea. <laughs> Did it still run? It was fine. It was just like oh, into the nice. beach shore. Nice. And it was just splashing on his car. But it's like an SAM. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> but this is when he was way younger. Now he's like an actual human. Like, yeah, yeah. Adult. Now, now he functions at a Yeah, at now he holds a week up and he bumps in. Like, <laughs> the shit he was talking to me, like, wow. He's the fucking funniest dude ever, dude. I love that guy. People like that are a trip, dude. I love it. Got any more Miller Lights? I think we do. Fuck yeah. Shout out Miller Light. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Pop that open. And uh, so we talked about it. Goblin420.com. Yes. And that's where you can get everything. Yep, everything I got right now. Okay. Instagram is... Did you get it back? No, not my old one yet. Oh, I got deleted, dude. I saw that. I got deleted. Um, a new one's GBLN420, though. GBLN420. Yes. That's why yes. I think I mixed up the fucking website. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I got my old Instagram back because I was so close to 100K, man. I was at like 85. They deleted me the other week again, too. They're deleting everyone, dude. They get Eric every other fucking week, dude. I always he see always him posting. Gets it back. Yeah, he I don't know how he does it, bro. He gets his I need back him to give me some info, time. dude. If Eric sees this, please help. Bro, I don't know what he I think he's just doing the same thing everybody does. They just the give me back. That method? I mean, I've just hit up so It's many not even times. a method. You just hit up support. Like, sorry, I have sorry. a link and everybody I give the link to, it works. It's dude, not me. I used that fucking link and it didn't work for me either. It didn't work for me. They don't, they don't want me. You're on that list. I'm on it. Dude. You're on that too fucking. Facebook doesn't want me, bro. You're too explicit. Should I say meta now? Their new I company didn't even know that name. was real. Yeah. You're too yeah. explicit, man. That's what it is. That's what they do for me. It's, it's fucked, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's fucked. <sighs> but it's okay. It feels like most other other platforms are kind of loosening up on that, except for Instagram and Facebook. Like yes. Snapchat, I don't get, I don't have any problems. I barely get to have problems with Snapchat. Yeah, anymore. like once in a blue moon, and they don't delete you. you yeah, know? no, they leave you alone. Uh, YouTube has gotten even a lot better. Like they they might demonetize you, but they're not going to strike you for smoking. Back I in the day, strikes, really. Yeah, same here. Back in the day, you could get striked down just for smoking some weed, like. There was a period back in like 2016, 2017 where a lot of weed YouTubers I watched got a bunch of strikes and had to take down their videos. I deleted over 100 of my old videos during that time. Yeah. Yeah. I had to oh, delete like... And back then, that was like half of my fucking catalog, dude. I'd be so fucking mad. Yeah, I was, bro. I was super pissed because like... I, I've gotten to the point where like now I'm remaking some of those. So like, you know, going back and being like, yo, the OGs have seen this, but the new heads haven't. Um... But still, I've got so many, like, classic fucking videos that, like, some of them just, you can't remake the same way, no. you know? Like, some of them are just, they're that fucking you banger, you know? There's some I wish I could You remake. can't recapture that. Like, nah. when you made it, you had that. You don't you know, want you had to. It. Yeah. You almost don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to interfere with the original. No, like the 40 gram joint, I would love to do it again. Because there's a better quality. Was that the cameras. that big raw challenge cone, or did you, like, hand roll it? No, I hand rolled it. Nice. Like the big one. Nice. And, uh, I would never want to do it again because that shit hurt first. I feel you. But two, like, I can't capture that again. On 420, I, I think I told you about this. When we smoked that joint that was like three ounces or some shit. Yeah, that thing, we had to, like, break it into parts because it wouldn't smoke. It's hard. You have, to, yeah. you have to roll it where you can still squish it. It took us hours to roll and hours to smoke. And even though it, it was it was a cone, hours. but so we didn't have to do any rolling, but just the grinding. We're sitting there with two grinders in a garage, like, grinding all this two fucking weed. You know? I had yeah. a grinder like this big, though. So yeah, we didn't know. We did not have that shit. We had yeah. two little smoke shop grinders oh. that were like all sticky and shit, you know? <sighs> Brutal. It almost gets aggravating. You yeah. Smoke it yeah, actually. we're sitting there grinding <laughs> weed forever, dude. I got a great hand workout that day. Dude, it does. I probably accelerated my arthritis, for real. 
<laughs> I don't have it yet, but I'm gonna. Every one of my family has it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, you fucking, you been gaming out? Yeah, and I'm gaming all day. I'm on the keyboard, mouse. I'm on the controller. Yeah, I'm fucked. Our whole generation's fucked. Yeah, I know. I, dude, I'm on that shit all day. Yeah. Like, I don't get off that shit. Oh, you're playing games all day? Yeah, dude. Like, when I'm not, when I'm not making videos and shit, I'm on, I'm on there. I said this to myself before I got here. Like, you know, I think I'm going to play PlayStation tonight. Because I'm not going to do anything tonight. It's fun, man. I might. I might. What are you going to play? Uh, my little brother got me the Spider-Man game. Nah, the, that's a good uh, game. Morales that's a good one. fucking game, dude. And Mortal Kombat. Both good games. So Spider-Man's fire. We might play, man. You have the PS5, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Dude, play Spider-Man. It looks so good. Yeah, I might play it. Spider-Man's so fire. I, Dude, I've, I started playing fucking Skyrim again. Oh, that is. Uh, really? You, I, I always, I don't always forget. Games. Yeah, I always forget. You don't game like that, dude. Ever. I, I, I ga- I've been gaming my whole fucking life, dude. Like ever since I was a young kid, I had like the PlayStation One and like. The, I mean, I had all that shit. I just played GTA. Yeah, yeah, Crash yeah. Oh, Bandicoot. fuck yeah, dude! I love just driving around and running people over. That's all I ever do now. Yep. Still, yeah, I get on GTA Five, dude. Some yeah. of my gameplays in my videos is just me fucking around on GTA still to this oh, day. Since we're talking about GTA, real quick, uh huh. Oh, we'll just say it now. I've told you the story. Okay, we're going to have a guest come soon. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. We're talking about GTA. We're going to have Franklin GTA come on the show soon. Really? Yeah, That's uh, sick. He's a real person. Yeah. No, I've seen like interviews with yeah, him. So shit. That's cool. Sick. He's a cool motherfucker, man. That's dope. But yeah, he's going to come on the show this month, I think. That's so raw, Hopefully actually. Hopefully this month. Hope. If not, it's going to be early next. Month, that's but, that's fucking. But speaking dope. of GTA, like I don't really game. That's the only game. Does I, he I smoke? Like, are you gonna are you gonna like smoke a joint? Smokes. Him? Fuck yeah, he smokes. That's he's dope. really that dude. Yeah, that's so yeah. dope. Yeah, he's cool. That's so dope. He's a cool motherfucker. That's man. fucking awesome. I, I'm excited to see that one. It's gonna be dope. I can't no, wait that's... to go. Hey, and then this one time, you know that part of the game? Yeah, I tell me about. How that. do you handle <laughs> like how, like how do you handle interviewing all these fucking people, bro? Like Just I talk man, to him. like bro. I feel like if I'm sitting across from Steve-O, dude, I I'd, I'd want to ask that motherfucker a million questions. You know? Well, if you watch, if you I don't know if you watch, he talks a lot. So I had like a I watched, list of questions. I watched some of it, And yeah. at the end, he's like, yo, I know I didn't ask you to answer any of these questions. <laughs> he's like, I just talk a lot. I'm like, it's fine. That was exactly perfect. Everything yeah. we got me was perfect. Fuck these questions. So that's how I felt about that. Um, the only person I, like, he knows, like, yo, if Adam Sandler's here, I'm like, uh, all right, get prepared, motherfucker, to sit up, talk. Because that's the only person. I'm like, fuck, this motherfucker's really here, huh? You're a big Shit. Adam Sandler guy? Yeah, he's my favorite guy. He's a, He has some really good movies. I just like them. I just like that motherfucker. He's so funny. And yeah. as a kid, I just grew up on Chris Farley and Adam Sandler. Oh, yeah, for sure. So for it's sure. just, you know, it's like if Jay-Z, we interview Jay-Z, Marty be over here fucking fake dribbling and shit. <laughs> just just getting, trying to figure out his brain. You know what I mean? For sure. It's just those times. Yeah. Like Rosie's, real quick, Rosie's favorite person ever is Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. Really? Did we tell you about the story? Uh-huh. Yeah. And Rosie was at the spa, we, this one in West Hollywood, and there's like always a bunch of celebrities, so when they're in there, like, they shut off the fucking spa, you can't go, nobody else come in. Yeah. But Rosie was already in there, she goes there a lot. So Rosie is sitting in the fucking sauna, and then she notices all these people are coming in, and they start kicking people out. And it's fucking P. Diddy, That's and they so kick them, everybody out, and they're like, ah, she can stay, she comes here a lot. So it's just Rosie having a conversation with him and his wife for a fucking hour, because he's trying to be in, starting to get into veganism, and Rosie just became vegan back then. That's dope. So Rosie gets to have a whole fucking hour conversation with this motherfucker about nothing. It's when she, I couldn't fucking just talking the shit with. That's P. her Diddy. favorite dude. She's like, wait, that's so sick. Who did you just get stuck in a fucking <laughs> sauna with? And his wife? Holy shit! That's so sick. That's pretty cool, dude. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's pretty fucking awesome. I don't think I've ever had a celebrity encounter like that. Well, you know, like your favorite person, everybody. Yeah, what? yeah. So but I don't. I don't even think I've ever had a moment where, like, I was in person, like I recognized someone, like as a celebrity. Oh, you're in fucking Illinois. Though. Yeah, I know. But like, even you know, I feel like I travel enough. Like I, I figure that would maybe happen at the airport at some point or something. Oh, I you don't know? know. But I know what you're saying. Yeah, you know, but it just hasn't happened to me. Yeah, I just thought it was really fun. Like your favorite. No, that's fun. fucking sick. It's dude. like we're at a restaurant. I'm like, yo, Brett Favre just walked in. Get the fuck. <laughs> should I? Should I chest bump him or say, hey, I love you? I love you, but I also want to slap the shit out of you, Brett Favre. 
Uh-huh. Not for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you know what I mean. I feel you. I'm you a Bears that. fan, so. Are you a Bears fan? Oh, yeah. you're from Packer. Oh, I see your hat. Yeah, I I noticed that. Uh-huh. I forgot. I'm, from I am so. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna say right now, I'm not a current Bears fan. They're brutal to watch and have been for years. It's, bad. it's really bad, and it fan. and it has been for a long time. But it's been bad forever. Yes, since Brian Urlacher. It's been yes bad. Yes, exactly. But. Even back then, we couldn't catch a, a ring. We couldn't get a Super Bowl. It was just we, we went against the Patriots with Rex fucking Grossman. Like, no shit we got destroyed. No disrespect to that guy. I think he went to the Redskins and retired or some shit. But, oh, my God. Dude, that sucks you're a bear. I mean, that sucks that you had to sit through this. <laughs> no, you could say it no, sucks that you're a bear. No, because my mom's a Bears fan, fan and she, we've been sitting through it my whole life just watching the Bears. No, she just, I, and other, other she Bears. watching football. Other Bears viewers out there are going to understand for sure. It's heartbreaking. I will say it's nice that the Bulls are having their time right now. I don't even watch basketball too much. Oh, Bulls are doing great right now. Bulls are very good right now. Okay. Which is which is great because I'm not a big hockey guy and the only other like I'm not a big baseball guy either. So like the Cubs, Blackhawks really don't. Yeah, I can't sit through a whole baseball game. I can't. I can mm. if I have nothing to do <clears throat> and I can't go anywhere. Maybe. Even then, I can always think of something to do because my ADHD is so off the fucking wall. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. It's so fucking boring. Yes, it's I can't. Like even boring. when I'm drunk, I almost get more impatient with it. I'm like, yeah, oh, big get time. Me. yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, he's a fucking Bills fan. He's only had like, what two years of his life uh, oh, of, of okayness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And one of them, they lost the Super Bowl. One or two of them. Uh, yeah. Probably four of them in a row. Four since you've been alive. Yeah. Oh god. I was right. like five, six, seven, eight. Oh, years what old. a terrible we lost four in a row. What a brutal upbringing there. But hold and on, we just had also a got stretch. to the Super Bowl four years. In a row. I know, but I yeah. just thought good. it was fucking normal. <clears throat> I didn't realize it was amazing yet. Dude, I've been betting on sports a lot lately, man. You should use FanDuel. <laughs> Sorry, that's one of our sponsors. I actually do have a MyBookie sponsor. Oh, MyBookie. We just yeah. did, uh, did an ad read for them. Yeah, the dude, I love those guys, ago. bro. MyBookie's great. Yeah, They're so easy to work usually. with. I love them. All right, all right. I love we, them. We worked with them last month, and we're with FanDuel this month. We were just like, you know what? We don't, we're don't. we not into like betting. I've never done that in my fucking I life. I love betting. So when they hit me up, I was like, fuck, Yo, My yeah, friend Justin Boyd, dude. I told him, he goes, I have both of those fucking apps. He's like, I use them every fucking day. I didn't know you could win actual money yeah, from bro. your phone. Yeah. I didn't realize that people could actually do that. Oh, absolutely, dude. It's fun. It's it's fun. You got to be responsible. It's a slippery slope, but it's fun. Yeah, I know. But we're, uh, well, our code gets you into the chance for to win the Super Bowl. I mean, to go to the Super Bowl. Really? Which is fucking cool. That's sick. And I just really recently learned about the risk-free betting <clears throat> really yeah that's dude this shit's complicated until you actually just sit down and look at it and go oh it's a video game it's like a video game just pick the teams you like it's really interesting i feel like as people in like the kind of industry we are we work with the broadest range of fucking companies you know i think they're just like who's our demographic yeah for real like we have a very niche demographic we are like anyone who's trying to advertise to college kids we are it you know it's funny he just brought something up about colleges the other day. About like, about that. About yeah, our, like my, my average age demographic is like 21 to 24. Like Oh, really? Yeah, like vast majority. And then the second highest is like 25 to 30. Mine always says like 35 and down. Really? Yeah. I, I get some that are in that range, but like probably a solid 70% of mine are those two age ranges. Yeah, no. I oddly have like 5%, 65 and up. Yeah. Uh, I have a little spike at the top too. Yeah. yeah. Weird. It's weird. Dude, it's really, so there's this one guy. So I have like a fan made like subreddit, right? They made, they made a Reddit for me uh, and they just post some funny ass shit. They, so they, I don't know how they did this, but they got the, the Reddit goblin. Like it's just r slash goblin. It's pretty sick, but I don't like moderate or anything. It's all like fan ran and stuff, but there's this guy on there <clears throat> who he like gets fucked. He's like a truck driver, I guess. And he, like, all caps post trying to get me to do PCP, like, usually every week. Like, he's like, Goblin, you got to try PCP. Don't be a coward. Like, this shit is my, And I'm like, dude, he's my favorite poster on my subreddit, honestly. Don't be a coward. I lo- he is, he, when I think of my, <laughs> when I think of my 65 and up demographic, I think of this guy. I'm like, yo, this dude's fucking great. This dude's fucking great. He might hear this, dude, while he's, like, trucking at some point. Is he that might- how you got your fucking accent for fucking GTA? 
No, dude. So right. on GTA, oh, man, I got to get back into that shit. I, I haven't streamed my GTA shit in a while. I was trying to explain it to Marty the other day. It's fucking mind-blowing that people just get in there and do a whole movie. No, it's crazy. Like, it's it's free. Like, it really makes for such an entertaining, like, watch because, you like, so much shit happens. I've There's no other seconds. game you can stream. It's insane. <clears throat> There's no other game you can stream where shit like that happens. You know? It's unfucking real. Yeah. You actually arrest motherfuckers? Yeah, like it's, re real. it's real life. You go to work. It's weird. You go to work, you buy a house and shit. Like it's crazy. It's weird. It's but, crazy. But and you can shoot somebody if you want. Yeah, you can kill someone, but you you might get caught. The detectives might pull up. Isn't they can that crazy? they can raid your house, bro. If they find evidence, they can like oh, cops can that. raid your house. Yeah. So you have a house like on these GTRP servers, cops can like get a warrant for you and raid it and shit. Like can you just like shoot the cops in the face? If you want to, yeah, but you're just going to get more jail time. That's fine. Yeah, there was, there was one time I robbed a bank. I, I used to, like, you know, rob banks on there with my friends for fun, uh, and we got caught. And, like, you do real jail time. Like, you get teleported to a jail, and you're, like, in, like, you know, a jumper, and you fucking, like, <laughs> you, you serve, like, dude, I got sentenced for three real hours. I was in that bitch for three hours fucking doing like push ups and like I was doing labor to reduce my sentence. I was doing labor to reduce my sentence. I swear that to God. It's like a horrible piece of the game. But it, no, but the thing is, it's so fun because like other people are in there and they're fucking around too. They have nothing better to do. So they're like forming gangs and shit and like making fights on the yard. It's so goddamn fun. You're like meeting people there. I'm like, yo, when I get out, I want to buy a pound of meth. And they're like, dude. Write down my number. I got you, you know? And, like, you, like, take note of their number. Get out of jail. Fucking buy some tweak. Like, you can buy drugs on the GTA? Yeah, bro. You can make drugs. That's how I made a lot of money on there. On those yeah, I got to I gotta get more. I got to see this. No, more. bro. You can make drugs on there and sell them to people. I got to see this. Like, I got to see more of this. I've only seen My whole shtick was, like, I was a country dude and I'd smoke meth. So if I ever got meth, I'd use it. Like, I'd always smoke it. Does it fuck you up in the game? Yeah, bro. It, like, affects you. No, it's fire. Jesus Christ. I would, like, get really drunk and I'd drunk drive. Like I got a DUI. Oh, that shit's crazy. I've done the yeah. drunk drive cheap Yeah. Code. It's hard. Yep. Yep. You could do it on the servers. You go to the whiskey store. You go to the liquor store and buy whiskey. Drink that shit. I, I would get drunk and go rob banks and shit and like drive around. I love this game so much. GTA is amazing. I love it so G much. It's such like a like a marvel. Like there's no other game that will ever. ever be like GTA. So it's my like, favorite game. It for real. It's no. Yeah. And it's it's a very respectable favorite game. Like it's it. so fire. It's so fire. My favorite game is one I played when I was a kid. Uh, it's the one that came before Skyrim. It's called Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I've heard of Elder Scrolls before. Yeah. I, just, I never got into this shit. I'm telling you, I, I grew up playing this game, and I still go back and play it sometimes. And RuneScape. I play hella RuneScape. I never played it. RuneScape's fire. Yeah, my cousin Memphis is in all this shit. All these dooms and fucking Skyrim. Yeah. Crazy yep. dope shit. But when I'm playing, it's like when he's playing, I watch it like, yo, this is amazing. But I don't want to do all that. No, shit. it's so cool, dude. And gaming's at the point where everything looks real. It looks real. The Doom, the like, new Doom is fucking insane. We're at the point we're at right now, imagine where we're gonna be at in five more years. VR that. Oh man, VR is getting crazy with the Valve it's Index like and all that. that. Like the finger tracing, it's getting crazy. You're dude. gonna be able to do all that shit. You see the one uh, they they have this little suit that it has sensors, so it touches you. So if you're getting punched. You just, I haven't seen that, but I saw you, one like that was getting touched. I saw one where you get strapped into this little machine where it's a circle and it's got a treadmill on the bottom, so it tracks oh, while I've you're running. That. Yeah, you've seen that. Whoa. That shit's it's crazy. It's a circle like treadmill, so you can run in any yeah, direction. Yeah, you turn it detects all your so it movements. Pulls are like fucking doing army shit, running, sprinting, full speed. You're crouching and it's like you know, crazy. It's, yeah, yeah. That was fun. Like, technology's at such a crazy point, because I feel like we're the age where we watch this shit all happen, yeah. you know? Like, honestly, I feel like we were born at a really cool time, you know? The coolest of the worst. Yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah. Cool technologically, but pretty terrible in most other aspects, but... Yeah, but we do have medicines. Yeah, we have medicines, and, like, just seeing technology be what it is. Like, I remember being a kid playing these games, I thought, wow, these graphics are incredible. Being on the Nintendo 64 and being like, this is it, dude. Yeah. This is it. Like, Game this is the fucking one, you know? Super Mario 64. I'm like, wow, this is the pinnacle of graphics, you know? Remember Old Madden? It, it will, what was that? Old Madden's, where it's just you throw the ball and goes... Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you catch it if if it, the computer says yes. When I was a kid, my family had the, the original Nintendo, the NES, and I remember I would play Mario and Duck Hunt on that thing. I had the Duck little gun. Ball. I had the gun. Orange. Yeah, I still have it, actually. Orange. In my closet at my house, I still have this thing. Yeah. Um, I'll never fucking get rid of it. I love this thing. But I used to play Mario and Duck Hunt on summer vacation uh, when I'd be home from, like, school and shit. 
Because I'd have like fuck all else to do. So I'd be playing. Dude, I, I could never beat the OG Mario when I was it's a kid. It's hard. It's, it is, bro. It is. So it's Crash Bandicoot. Oh, Crash Bandicoot makes me so angry, bro. You can never find all uh, the They recently gems. remastered it and put it out on PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Me and Rosie got it. Yeah. And we're pissed in two yeah. fucking days. Dude, I'm telling you, same shit with Done. me. It, the game makes me sick. Aggravated. It Like, oh, double jump up there off the apples. Like, ready it's to impossible. throw it. Yeah. It, no, I'm sitting there talking to my TV. I'm like, that's not fucking not possible. possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm mad as fuck. I'm like, come like, the oh, fuck Oh, jump on. off the wall. Oh, jump off the Nope. It's just, you're like halfway up a cliff and you fall and you start at the beginning. But I can't it, do it. It already took you eight retries to get there. So, like, you just give up. I, that game has me ready to throw a controller. Thank you. I stopped playing it. Yeah, oh, me you know too. I haven't beat it. Done. I haven't beat it. Even as a fucking adult, I can't beat that shit. No, I feel that. I'm done. <laughs> you ever play uh, any of the uh, NBA 2K games? Fuck yeah. Those, make, the me, older those ones. make me the same way. Oh, the older watched, ones were great. I haven't, watched, I haven't played the newer ones. The older ones are good. The newer ones... I mean, I walked to my homies, and I thought that was the fucking NBA game on TV. See, I just make, like, fun characters at this point. I made, like, a... So I made the shortest possible, like, like shooting guard so I can, like, dunk, but he's 5'2". So, like... You still dunk? I put, yeah, I put all my points into vertical. You can dunk. That must look hilarious. I dunked on KD, like, three times one game, dude. It was actually so fun. But I go online, and I get clapped, bro, because it's all these kids that spend real money on the game. Yeah. And it makes me so mad, dude. Like, it makes you want to throw my goddamn controller, bro, because, like... I just want to be this little like five two motherfucker just killing it, but I have to spend money to do that, and I'm not willing to. No, shit pisses me off, it's bro. All the all these online games are like that now. You, you got you to spend money, money to get. Yes, dude, it makes me so mad. I don't like, play it. I mean, like, it's like I never get into it, so I'm like, I don't give yeah, fuck. yeah. There's very few games that can get that kind of money out of me. Like, where I'll I'll spend more than the cost of the game. See, I didn't even know that was possible until like two years ago. Yeah. We can spend money and get upgrades. Dude, pretty much every game that comes out nowadays, you could probably spend the cost of the game just on additions, Fuck like add ons and shit. It's fucked. Like for every $6 game, you got another 60 bucks in add ons to buy. Yeah. That's true. It's fucked. Like, Bro, how the fuck did we get into this? <laughs> I don't know. We just talked about games for half an hour, I think. Nice. What time are we at? About four. For half an hour. That's pretty fire. I like that. It's pretty fire. I like that. It's pretty fire. That was pretty good. I oh, like yeah. this game talk. Now some of that shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, I just. I'll play it's games. It's just how I spend all games. my time, like free time. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm from Illinois, so there's not as much shit to do. But like, I mean, you're not wrong. There's nothing more fun than just getting baked out of your mind in gaming. You know. I'll try Spider Man tonight. Yeah, I'll try that in Mortal Kombat. No, Spider Man banks. I think you're gonna like. Spider-Man. I'll try it. I'll try it. It's you could swing around the whole city. It's That's like to I'll scale. Do. Yes, That's all I do. And the graphics are crazy. Sounds and there's cool. like hidden items at the top of the buildings and shit. Oh fuck! <laughs> See if you can just shoot motherfuckers. That'd be the ultimate game. Or if you can swing around you could in GTA. Still do, no, you. Hey, there, you could download mods and do that. Yeah, but I'm talking about the game. Yeah. <sighs> so I don't know how to do the modification shit. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. I just play the fucking game in Madden. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah. You're big into Madden, aren't you? I don't really play. You used to play it a lot, though, didn't you? Uh, I feel like I feel like I remember you telling me that was like one of the only games you really got into. I mean, it's the only, the only games I have. Yeah. I, play. I probably played the PS5 twice. Madden's fun. I like Madden a lot. Yeah, it's fun as fuck. Madden's a good time. I fucking love I hate shit. the online modes now. They milked them, dude. I know you probably haven't played them, but uh-huh. like, yeah, they... You got to spend a lot of money to be competitive. Oh yeah, in those no, modes I, never, now. I never do that. Shit. Yeah, I just play fucking yeah. computer. My I just friend. like to, yeah, I just like to play with my friends and shit. I'm done. Like when I was in high school, we do like Madden tournaments and throw like you know ten bucks each on them. So never done that. That sounds fun. As fuck. It's really fun, dude. You get like you know five or six people together. You make them all one v one. Throw it down on like a bracket tournament. It's fun. So I don't even know how to do any of that. I would get lost as fuck and just FaceTime. All right, start. No, you just like write it. No, well, I'd be with my friends like at my house and shit. Oh, that's different. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. I've done that before. Like we'd all be over and like, you know, throw some money on some Madden games and shit. Never It'd be fun. That. We'd just smoke bongs. I'd never bet oh, that, money. That would be involved too. But yeah, like, no, I've never bet money on it. That sounds bomb. I mean, my friends all like to gamble a lot. Like uh, back in high school, a few of my friends got this like, they built this like poker table. Like they made it. Like and you guys are bored um, out there. Oh, just getting into the gambling. Yeah, rings so we used to we used to like go to my friend's house and go to his basement and play poker at this table. Really nice. Uh, and we we'd have like twenty dollar buy ins and shit. And we'd play like all sorts of different kinds of poker. Sometimes blackjack. Um, so like, I don't know. We we always bet on shit. 
Like I just always had no money. I'd just buy more weed. I'd never bet on shit. See, I'd go in with my last twenty dollars hoping to come out. And I yeah, mean I sometimes could never do I would. Yeah. I could sometimes never do I could, it. sometimes I I couldn't, you know. I mean it just that's I the way. Risk that. Yeah. I mean, there was one time I, I was shooting dice with my friends, um, and we were at my friend's mom's house. And so it's kind of funny, this this woman, my friend's mom, we all learned not to sell her weed because she'd ask for a front and then not pay you back. <sighs> You know, so like it sucked, but we also had to go to her house, but she got really mean to us when we stopped selling her weed. So we stopped going over there, but we went over there and we were shooting dice and I ended up making like a hundred bucks damn near. And that was a great day. That was one of my most Oh, I thought there was going to go something way crazy. No, 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 no. Not that bad. No, not that bad. I was just talking about gambling. No, the guy's mom, I don't know, fuck her. She, she owed everyone money. That's wow. She owed everyone money. Yeah, That's pretty sweet. sure she owes it's my me mom. money. Well, you got a fucking friend. Yeah, for real. And like, she brought she, you guys over on purpose. And no, yeah, she would be an asshole about it too. Like, she'd be really entitled about it. Like, oh, like give me some weed and shit. And yeah, it would be bad. What a loser. Oh, hey, man. kids, give me your weed. Yeah, hey, what? Kids, give me your fucking mid. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, lady. For real? No, hell no. She's gross. She could have gotten medical. Medical was around back then. Fuck no. You just got to call the right guy. You know. Were you in high school? Oh, she's a dick. For sure. Taking high school. For sure. That's fucked up. For sure. Whack. Yeah. Marty. Nah. We have four hours? Mm-hmm. Damn. <laughs> wow. Damn. It didn't seem like it. No, no. It really all. didn't. It really didn't. kind of fucking flew by, honestly. What's the longest podcast you've done? I think four hours. Yeah. Wow. I think it's the longest We did one. it. Yeah, we did it. We caught the new year record. Got so. it. Started the year off fucking strong. Hell wow. Yeah. yeah, that's a start. Good shit. That was fantastic. So before we stop, yep. your Instagram is GBLN420. Yes. What's your yes. Twitter? Uh, the Goblin with three N's on the oh, end. Oh, shit. The yeah. Goblin? Yeah. T-H-E-G-O-B-L-I-N-N-N. Oh, damn. So yeah. So, yeah, li- yeah. Nah, it's, Twitter's been around for a long time. It's life, man. I can't get my... The guy who has like just the at Goblin fucking uses it. He like retweet shit once a year, so I can't get. It. I've DM'd him and I've been like, "Dude, I will buy this from you." Yeah, they have um, I don't know if you're into cryptocurrency at all, but they have like these these new kind of domains. They're called ENS domains, and I've been trying to get Goblin Eth for the longest time, but the guy won't respond to me. I just have bad luck with trying to get my accounts. <sighs> just add an extra N. Fuck it, like you did Twitter. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, but exactly. Uh, YouTube is just Goblin. Yep, just Goblin. Do you do Twitch? I do, yeah. Which Twitch? Uh, GBLN420 also. Same, same, as, same as my Instagram. Okay, yeah. cool. Fuck, dude. Let's go. Those drinks and the gummies and not. Yeah, no, the Miller Lights. The bit. Miller Lights That's have been getting me good. I haven't drank beer in a minute. so Me neither. I totally feel like. The I haven't drank beer in a hot. I could, I could go for like some wings right now. And it's crazy I'm saying that because I just had a fat bowl of ramen. <laughs> All right. But the Miller's got me ready. Dude, it's fucking campfire beer. I, I, I'm telling you, this reminds me just. Chill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it reminds me of high school, dude, being at bonfires. It's campfire. Like, my Uncle John, we used to have this fucking fire pit outside. Yeah. It's, it's just, it just reminds me of fucking fire. <laughs> my clothes smelling like smoke uh-huh. in the morning. You know what I'm talking about. It's always dude, a fun time. Getting drunk is enhanced when you're around of something on fire. It's Oddly just better. Enough, it's just better. It's the caveman shit. In us. Yeah, it really is. Our, like, primal instincts. Just like, this is dope. Like this, right. is, this is fucking great. That's why people have fire you know? pits. In their yeah, nice for real. No, I get it for sure. I had a friend in high school we, that that um wealthy friend of mine I talked about. She had a fire pit in her backyard, so we'd go over there and like just like throw logs in that bitch and light it up. And we go to like the grocery store and grab like meat and like grill it and shit. But we'd all be so drunk, we'd just fuck it up, dude. We'd burn the shit out of it. We bought steaks one time. Everyone was well done, dude. No one got a medium rare. You're not getting any pink in that bitch. She we went and bought you guys steaks. No, we we bought them. We bought them like, and came. She's really no, 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 no. We bought we bought the supplies and stuff like the That's logs cool. and the yeah. You know, like she just had the facilities for it. You know, was it a man? Was it a maid pit or she bought it? I don't know. It, she got I, it money was, when you buy a pit. I don't know. I don't know. It was it was big, but it wasn't like in ground or anything. It was like you know, she probably bought it. Probably, she got money. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, 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 that's money. money. That's big money shit right there for sure. Yeah. Um, God, dude, I feel like we could do seven fucking hours if I had more joints. Yeah, but I do. I still okay. have those pre rolls. No, it's 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 all good. There's more to come. You'll come to LA more, and I know motherfuckers are like, yo, it's been four hours. Fuck you guys. Like also. Hey, just split it up into two parts. Or yeah, something. I mean, you got a road trip. This ain't shit, yeah, you know. Dude, it's truly the best fucking shit. Podcast is the best for road trips. Yeah, drive for safe, real. 
Drive safe, please. Or flights, that kind of shit, too. Fly safe, all that. True. I, dude, I, I be watching the most random shit on planes because I get so damn anxious. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, I, I can't do it. I just fucking put my head down. I can't do it on airplanes, man. I get so, like, I literally, my knee, my legs will be, like, shaking the whole time. I'll close my eyes. Like, I try to put in noise-removing earbuds. I don't even listen to nothing, bro. I just don't want to hear the plane. You know, make it worse. Yeah, because that motherfucker's loud. You know, like, why is the engine like that? You know, and I make it worse for myself because before I have flights, I look up plane crash videos. Like, I look up, like, info on it because I'm like, I want to know what's going to happen. Are you going to die? Yeah, I want to know what it's like. So I look up, like, crash reports and then I tweak myself out. And when the plane makes a noise, I'm like, oh, this is it. You know, we're like, like when you were, you were telling me that story about the plane de-icing earlier, I'm like, bro, ice is like the number one cause of crashes. Like, fuck. Like, is it? It's up there, bro. Yeah, a lot of planes like crash because they didn't get the ice enough. It's like a, it's not common, but like in in terms of plane crashes, it's a common reason for them. You know, it's not like a common thing, bro. It's not like a plane's crashing every day because of that shit. It's gross. Yeah. So yeah, don't do that, man. (laughs) No, I I can't help myself sometimes. Don't do that. You're giving yourself anxiety. But then it helps me calm myself down. It's like watching OD I'm like, videos. I'm like, I'm like oh, I'm do dude, a line. dude, no, I, I know what happens if they have an engine failure. That's not happening. So I'm chilling, you know? You're uh, studying. I see for a while, I, I got this idea in my head when I was stoned one day. I wanted to learn, like, I wanted to learn how to fly to, like, conquer the field. Like, I wanted to get a pilot's license. But I'm like, dude, that's so much work. Like, that's so much. That's got, that's a lot of money, probably, too. <laughs> yeah, but. It's a shitload of money. Yo, could you imagine yourself one day? I'm a commercial fucking Yo, <laughs> like, a, that's that's what I'm thinking. Like, dude, I buy a little two-seater plane. I hit up my homie, like, yo, I'm about to fly in. Like, what are you on? Let's link. What are you on? I'm about to fly in. <laughs> I'm as a career, man. He's, he's like, oh, like, what, what airline? I'm like, Goblin. My <laughs> own. Goblin Airlines. You be a commercial pilot. My friend got his pilot license on ecstasy, three pills. Really? My friend, he took them. We were taking them together in class. And he's like, today's my last fucking pilot's test. I'm like, what the f-? He's a commercial pilot now. Really? Yep. I haven't seen him since high school. I don't want to ask who he flies for. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a long time. I, I, dude, I don't know if I could do that for a job, though, bro. I'd be, I don't know it's if I can handle it. Yeah, if every... Because those, those guys go on those shifts for like weeks at a time, bro. They just fly every day. Yeah. Like so many times a day. Like how do you how do you stay calm when it's turbulent like that? Like you're just like oh you're yeah, controlling it. Yeah, I mean I guess so. You're like you know it's it's chilling, but still it's like fuck. It's horrible. You gotta have balls of steel for that shit. Honestly, so scary. big ups to the pilots. Yeah, fuck that. For real, fuck that. I can't do that. No, I would never. I could never do that. Shout out Miller Lite, honestly, man. These. Dude, honestly, I was drinking a two or three. I feel, I feel. This it. is my fourth. I'm feeling great. Yeah, I feel for sure. I had some, I had uh, some drinks earlier too. You know, in the afternoon, hotel man. I'm telling you, hotel bar prices here made me feel so much better compared to Vegas. It's oh, Vegas is bro. Sad. It's like twenty five a drink in Vegas. Vegas is bad. Yes, and we went to the Gordon Ramsay fucking pub. Terrible. Beef Wellington. I love Gordon Ramsay, but when love I, is went, content. I was like, bro, this is yeah. What I'm that's getting? what I'm saying. I'm like, you're telling me this got him the TV shows? No shot. No way. I like. I want to eat Gordon's cooking. Yeah, dude. Someday. Honestly, like, I, we went like five years ago. Yeah, so and, and he has like four fucking restaurants out there, bro. I He's went got, to, like, the, the to the burger the fucking, one. But how was it? Was it was okay. Yeah, at best. But I ate duck bacon. No, it was like eight years ago, and it was pretty good. But I don't think I've ever had duck bacon. It was good from what I remember, but nah, hell no. That was a regular ass hamburger. Yeah. You pay like $30 for that bitch. Fuck that. No, hell no. Gordon we Ramsay paid like, ass it was like oh, 65 or 70 a person for the Beef Wellington like course. That's not, that's not too bad. It wasn't terrible, but it was trash. Like every part of it was bad. There was like nothing about it where I was like, oh, this is good. You know, oh, that's like, the shit I always see on the show. The ma- like, so they had the tight. mashed potato and like, I'm a big mashed potato guy. You know, I'm like, if I go to somewhere that serves like meat or something like that, I expect a good mashed potato with it. Shit they had there tasted like it came out of a box. And I was like, no way. Was it the one on the strip? It was at Caesar's Palace. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, was, that's the one we were going to go in and use the bathroom. Trash. Remember, Rosie? Well, yeah, I use the bathroom. I'm going to the Gordon Ramsay's restroom. <laughs> How was the restroom? I didn't, I didn't go in. I was like, fuck that. I was gonna you went to her. the bathroom, didn't you? How was the not? restroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I was disappointed. Um, I just went to Vegas like last month, actually. How cool. long did you say? Well, like, two days, man. I can't do more Where'd than that. Where'd you stay shit. at? The wind. 
Dude, we were just there too. The wind, yeah. The encore, yeah. It was cool. Oh, that's the same place? It's, it's, it's like the same. Yeah, it's like attached. Oh, like you can okay. walk to the wind. So, yeah, that's where we were at. Yeah, they're like connected. Yeah, it was cool. It was we chill. got a lot of fucking designer stores in there, dude. Yeah, we fucking smacked. We went all through it. It yeah, was pretty tight. It yeah. was pretty cool. I went, I went to Amiri. A lot of stores. I went man. to Amiri uh, for my birthday. I got myself a couple pairs of shoes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that whole strip is. I wanted to come out with something because I was getting fucked so hard at the tables and the and the slots and all that. I like the virtual tables that I was like, dude, I, I got to at least get a pair of shoes or something. Something tangible. You know? Yeah, like I got to come home with something. So I had to buy an extra duffel bag to like bring my shoes home because like I didn't have space in my bag. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. because the box. Well, I didn't bring the box. I bought three pairs. So oh. I didn't I didn't bring the box, but it's okay. I don't plan on reselling them, so I don't care about the box. Oh no, no, I'll just keep it then that shit so I know exactly yeah. what the fuck I have the are. bags though, like the little like zip up bag. It was baller. Yeah, they're so it's nice, so but they have these little leather straps. I'm little like, God, straps damn, for your shoes. Bro. These are beautiful. Dude, like, designer shoes are so wild. I know. They're really fucking I, wild. I don't buy much other designer shit, but shoes. Yeah, everything else I love sucks. designer Wait, shoes. Thirty two hundred dollars for a shirt. Yeah, like I, I saw this button down and they liked it was like nine hundred dollars and like it's not that bad. I honestly I was considering shit. buying it, but I was like, dude, I'm gonna wear this like once a once. fucking like once a year, bro. If you're not like, a millionaire. What the fuck you buy nine hundred yeah. shirt for? And even then, bro, I feel like even if I had that kind of money, like... It'd be dumb to buy it. I'd just buy more weed. That's how I feel. Like, I, I'd buy a bigger rosin press and just start fucking smashing shit. Yeah, dude, know? I don't care about the shoes. Different, but... Yeah, yeah. Shoes are dope. I'd buy a lot of shoes, but probably, a lot of, probably more weed. I'd buy weed over fucking everything. That's literally my whole life budget is just buying Yeah, weed. so much of my income just goes just go straight to ripped weed. Just, every day. Exactly. I Like, I wake up and I check my dispensary menu religiously. I'm like, <laughs> what do we have in store? Fuck. Yeah. That must be kind of cool, though. At least you know a place that always has something. No, it's nice. It's, I mean, I will say Illinois doesn't have the variety of a lot of other places. Like, even Vegas, honestly, had more variety than my, my Illinois dispensaries. I went to the Cookies on a, on the Strip in Vegas. They got some dry weed out there, man. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's in the desert, whatever, but, like, fuck. Dry. That sucks. Like, like you could take a nug and just press your fingers together, and it would just disintegrate. Type shit. Whack. Yeah, I bought, um, I think it was like some, um, oh, something cake. It was like, oh my God, I don't know, bro. Some sort of like, no, it was like cereal milk it's or expensive? something. Expensive? I don't know. Um, 60, 65 and 8th. It's pretty So expensive. pretty up there, yeah, but not quite as bad as the shit I bought today. Yeah. Um, but it like was not nearly worth the price. Like here, I feel like, yeah, I pay tax, but it's worth it. I'm going to get some fire. But like out there, it's not worth it. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, maybe I didn't grab the good shit. Obviously, I didn't buy everything on the fucking menu, but the shit I got was disappointing. That sucks. Yeah. I always bring weed. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I try not to fly with flour. Oh, you're in a different state. Yeah, Sorry. I try not to fly with flour because I, I mean, flying. Yeah, flying out of here. This is gonna go out by the time I flew out. So I mean, I mean, flying. You'd be home. Of, yeah, flying out of here is different. Like LAX. I mean, they you're allowed to fly out with a zip. Really? Is yeah. that fact? Yeah. LAX allowed to fly out with an ounce. So is San Francisco. Really? Yeah. I don't know if you're going... Oh, you're going to a medical state. You're fine. That's like a... That's like fact? I, I had a dude at LAX behind me pull out his weed. He's like, nah, bro, you could have like a fucking zip and then fucking this and that of the concentrate. Yeah, you're fine. And, and it's four I grams mean, of concentrates. But you do... I mean, I don't know. I, do you I, have to declare it? No, you just I don't have think it so. People you. do that shit all day. Google it. Google it. You're there's, fine. There's articles about LAX. Like LAX and SFO. Go on their website. I'm going to the dispensary it. again before I leave. Do it, man. Well, Google it before when we're off, just in case it changed. Yeah. yeah. But three years sure ago, they, they announced land, that shit on the news. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm about to zip it under. You're fine. I'm about to jump for joy. Yeah, you, you're fine. And you're I'm going about to actually do a little like heel clap. Metal, <laughs> medical <laughs> state, man. You'll be all right. Oh, wow. You bring some shit home. Oh, How you doing, buddy? some shit home. How you feeling? You done? Right, we done? Are, we, are you ready? You ready to wrap this up? Bad We're shit. at 420? Yeah. We at 420? Damn near. Wow. After these motherfucking ad reads, we will be. All right, all right, all right, cool, cool. Yo, we did a very long episode. Thank you for yeah, being here. Yeah, we just went crazy. Thank you for having me. It was these, I think. Just get, just yeah, the, the Millers get bit. you loose. Yeah, you know? I think the, so. the Millers get you loose. Honestly, dude, I think that's what it was. Yeah, you I know, don't really I, drink well, when often. you mentioned beer, I was like, I don't really drink beer anymore. I'll maybe crunch a couple, but here I am, fucking four deep. I mean, dude, I usually never really drink beer. And, I mean, I'm yeah. surprised I drink of two. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I sometimes I try to drink beer. I tell myself, like, oh, beer sounds nice, but I only end up drinking like one or two out of the case I bought, you know? But 
This is the most beer I've drank in a minute. Same. I don't drink. I just drink liquor. Yeah. But we'll see. It's a new year. I don't know. Maybe we'll Fuck drink yeah, a beer. Fuck yeah, dude. 2022 we'll resolution? See. Get drunk on Get drunk on camera. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. How you feel? It's a great start to the year. You're busting down drinks over there, too? All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, if if you leave with anything right now, goblin420.com. Yes. Right? Essential. Key. All Every the merch. product. Everything. Perfect. You still have your mugshot one? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that shit's tight. Yep. I got my mugshot one. I've got I've got a lot of new shit, too. Uh, I, when I moved to the new site, I took a lot of my old designs and, like, redid them. So, like, pretty much everything's pretty, like, new. Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody, goblin420.com. Hit it up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, man. I'm pretty fucked up. Yeah, I'm feeling fantastic. I'm yeah. stoned, and oh, yeah. I'm really crossed. Yeah, I feel, I feel great. I haven't drank beer in so long. It's yeah, just, no. It's familiar feeling of being for real. fucked up and drinking beer is so odd. For real. Uh, like, the taste of beer in my mouth yes. just drew me back. Yes, I feel that. In a good way. Absolutely. Yeah, in a good I way. I feel great. Yeah. Feel Thank great. you so much, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you Goblin. for having me, man. Goblin on YouTube. Marty, you got anything else? Man, this was the only proper way to bring this shit in. We're out of memory cards, by the way. I'm oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> but, That's okay. Yeah, yeah, no, but this was the We've only never done that way before. to bring this, Let's go. bring this year in. You know what I mean? This whole new vibes and shit. Also, like, you guys perfect. back there, Soldiers. thank you and sorry <laughs> for you guys having to sit here that long. I'm very, very sorry. I can see both of you guys just <laughs> tired. I'm sorry. There's so much smoke over there. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, oh, we yeah. smoked this room The whole out. fucking... I can just see a haze over the whole building. Yeah, there's a smog in here. Yes, <laughs> you guys were smoking too. That's why. All right. Well, Marty, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you, you, Marty. Thank you, Goblin. This was great. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thank you for having me. Guys, oh, yeah, I definitely feel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely feel the little. You really feel it when you stand up too. I know. Like, I just that's when it, it hits you like, oh, fuck. I was just thinking. I haven't moved my legs yep. yet. Yep. <laughs> so I know they're asleep. I know when I get up there. I'm going to be uh, brain blasted yeah. when I stand I up. I can feel it. I haven't yep. moved my feet for yeah. four hours. Yeah. There we go. I just road trip to Merced without moving my fucking knees. I've been trying to like rotate my ankles and I shit to like, oh no. I haven't done it once. I can feel the pressure in my legs when I just move. Oh, oh hit Sorry. that ankle rotation or something, man. Oh, they're so shitty stiff. Oh yeah, you're in trouble. It's okay. We'll be out. We'll be all right. Thank you so much for being here. I know we just said that shit, but <laughs> we'll fuck it up. Thank you for being here. Guys, this has been the Dope as Usual Podcast. We're here to talk about life, problems, drugs, accomplishments, and everything in between. Maybe a little K-holes. Of course. Maybe a little synthetic hair on. Little here Just and there. little stuff. Sprinkling the special stuff. A fear of flying. It's fine. We both agree. Flying sucks dick. I hate it. But drugs are all right. But don't do them. Yep. It's a contradicting show, yep. I should say. All right. Don't do drugs, but also they're fun. Yeah. Be safe, but don't do it. Get the fun part through us. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get the fun part and through the us. Bad. Yeah. And the bad. You can get the whole spectrum. The whole fucking... Just you guys listen. have seen my Coke stories. Snorting Coke with a bloody nose is just a bad sign. It's a red flag, literally. And your nose hurts for so long when you're done. Oh, shit, was covered with meth. Oh. It really hurt all of this behind my eye. You ever snorted Molly? No. Has the Coke ever made your eyes water like that? Where you're like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the it's the f the worst. Brutal, brutal. It's the worst. Don't drugs. do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, all right, YouTube. Thank you for demonetizing us. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate. It. Please just don't age restrict us. Thank you for being here. Of course, appreciate thank you for having it. me. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been another episode of the Dope as Usual podcast. Have a dope ass day. I am fucking high. perfect. I am fucking high. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Woo! I'm like kind of nervous to stand up, honestly. I